This is gross. Gross, 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 gross. And now another little habit of cleanliness and neatness. The question, how do I look, depends on good grooming habits. In short, that means a better appearance. Here, Give us here, a little here, blast here. right now. <laughs> Did you smell his ass? How are these gentlemen you like to lick, lick your taint from the dollar? You came in and vomited on him. Eat a hearty, balanced breakfast. There's nothing like wholesome food to help keep you in good health. Oh, 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 oh I don't eat the bulb. I don't want you to do that. You're going to do that in Jimmy's face while he eats the burgers? You eat the bug? Come to eat me out. Siobhan, that's more than any man could handle. Yes, indeed. Now for a cleansing morning shower. That's a good daily habit. Have That's it. called vaginosis. Rotten cheesy. Did you store. Did it stink? I might have. So should a guy not oh. come on? Oh. You think like chicks who vomit on each other are bad looking, but they're not bad looking. This is so gross. Hello, this is Johnny Knoxville, and welcome to Howard Stern's grossest week ever. Oh. <laughs> This week, we put together the nastiest... Your ass smells. It smells. Freakiest... Did you perform oral on these dogs? Yes, I did. Most disgusting moments in Howard Stern show history. <laughs> the guy went to the bathroom on the floor. And for good measure, we're throwing in a few sickening stunts. Would you like to be vomited on your chest? Disturbing stories. Do you have sex with your daughter oh. since she died? And some outrageous special talents. You say you can even say thank you and hello with your ass. Correct, correct. So put down that breakfast. You gotta realize how many meals this could potentially ruin. And get ready to be grossed out. Let freedom ring. With Howard Stern's grossest week ever. Oh, oops. Wow. So here's a guy whose name is Mize, M I Z E. Everybody has a M I Z E. Everybody has a weird name now. You know, like a rap name or something. What's your name? My name is Howard. That's about <laughs> as weird as it gets. I'm thinking of changing it to Fred. <laughs> just to be a little bit weirder. Just to be a little bit weirder. No. But Mize uh eats bugs. Here he is. This is Mize. Oh no. You see he looks like a normal guy. <laughs> really? Yeah, I mean, does he really look that odd? I mean, <laughs> what, what were you expecting? I don't know where you've been living. Mize, talk to me, buddy. Come here. How you doing, pal? Oh. Casey, you got to learn how to work these That's mics. Not on. What's up? What's up with you? All right, go ahead. Ready to rock there, sir. Hey, Mize. Now, Mize, are you guys loaded? Were you guys out there drinking Schmidt's beer? Uh, yes. Why uh, Schmidt's, though? Uh, uh, uh cheap. Cheap. Uh, okay, yeah. right. Exactly. Oh. <laughs> I see. Because I was looking at, like, who's out there in the morning drinking Schmidt's beer? Mize is on a budget. Right. <laughs> Yes. So, my, well, how did you get into this? You gonna you eat the bugs? Yeah, I just uh, cockroaches. I, yeah, roaches, crickets, locusts, lightning bugs, goldfish. We do it all. Oh. Why do you do this? Oh. Oh. Uh, why? Yeah, I just like to do stupid stuff. Do you enjoy the taste of them? Uh, no, it kind of tastes like uh, like a rotten like, potato. Oh, I thought it tastes everybody. like chicken. Nah, <laughs> everyone but, always says that. No, nah, actually, crickets taste best like most like lightning bugs, but most people never had to maybe like a rotten potatoes. Now I see you got a huge cut on your head and a big giant welt on your head. Yeah. Yeah, I just beat myself severely down there in the, on the street there. He was out on the street hitting himself in the head with cans. Why? Exactly. Look, I mean, you got a big, is that a that big bruise? Not on his head. You got it, a huge bruise on your head. I, I think it's birth defect, or other than the dark spot there. The, um, oh. look, what's that big ring? Is that is that from banging your head into the cans? Yeah, I, I wow. beat myself severely. You, you drink a couple of Schmitties, you do anything like that. There, <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's yeah. Beer. Exactly. Oh, my God, man. You really beat yourself up good. <laughs> So um, and you said he looked normal. <laughs> he did it first. So so um, what do you do? You, you you take the bugs and then you try to eat them off the ground like an anteater kind of uh, thing, or do you scoop them up in your hands? Do you? I do all that. I, I like it either way. I prefer like hot chick like Robin giving me the bugs, but right. Yeah, and how do you get that? <laughs> uh, it's very rare. I can usually you get, have to pay them a lot. Can you get laid doing this? You bring up hot chicks. I uh, haven't yet, but still trying. <laughs> right. All right. So. <laughs> So how long you been eating bugs since you were a little kid? Yeah, yeah, probably about uh, 13 or 14 was my first uh, insect. Uh, what did you eat first? 
Uh, I think it was either goldfish or lightning bugs. So really? one of those goldfish. There. And what are you yeah. gonna be eating right now? Is this a cockroach? I got I got three dozen crickets and a dozen cockroaches <sighs> there. I got them big uh, inch and a half uh, Philly cockroaches. So you're, not, you're not afraid of cockroaches or anything, are you? No, nah, I'm just a little bit larger than them, so I think right. I could take them. But I know where did what, he get these bugs? Uh, I don't know where you got. Them, I but. I got them out of my sink. Right. Oh, really? oh. Yeah. Is that true? No. Mm, yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> Your co cockroaches are in your sink? Yeah. They're, wow. I, I'm dirty. You are dirty. <laughs> <laughs> You're like a psycho Amish guy. That's what you look like. <laughs> and do you make a living? I mean, do you have a job? Uh, yeah, but I, I, I don't want to talk about that because I don't think they endorse my uh, stunts. Right, 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 in real life, he's a doctor. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> and your mom and dad have disowned you? Uh, yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> My dad let me use this van to drive one up here. I don't know what he's smoking, but... Uh, I see. He's proud of you. Exactly. Has he seen you do this? Yeah, actually, he talked to uh, one of your guys when they called, and he was trying to be my agent. Told wow. Me, oh, what I do there. <laughs> All right, well, I, I guess I'd like to see it at this point. Uh, what are you going to eat right oh, now? Man. I figure I'll start off with some crickets and then uh, work my way up to the roaches here. Oh, crickets right. are small. Right. Now, oh, do me a favor with the crickets. Just eat them. Don't let them out. Just eat them one at a time. Because I don't want crickets in the studio. Okay. Oh. Yeah, we don't want that, crickets running all around here. And well, stuff. They, actually, the roaches are faster than the crickets there. Mm. Roaches don't right. make noise. Right. Okay. All right. Oh, you don't mind having roaches? Either. Okay. All right, let me see you do so this. So you're wearing the amount of thing. You're, you're a scary guy because you're eating. You're wearing army fatigues, and yeah. uh, I'll tell you the truth. I always am suspicious of guys in army fatigues. Yeah. Unless they're yeah. ready in the army. Yeah, I used to be in the army. Oh, you were. That guy, uh, Agent Orange. You might have heard of me there. Is that you? Yeah, Agent Orange. Great. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Yeah, you're That's a funny where guy. I got my first brain damage here. I see. All right. You're a funny guy. I like you. <laughs> I do. Yeah. All right. Now here come the bugs. All right. Let me find these guys here. All right. What is that? Let me get him. What is that? A cricket? It's a cricket. cricket. Yeah, I'll do a two double shot right here off the bat. Oh. oh. Did you hear that, Robin? Oh. If you listen carefully, you can yes. hear the crunch of the yes, crickets. I did. Now, what are you eating? Uh, another double shot coming here. What is it? Wow. Oh. He's brave. No sauce, no nothing. <laughs> yeah, Helps to wash him down, him down every down once in a while, bit. though. And this ain't David Blaine, you know, doing some kind of trick. <laughs> no mirrors. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Look at uh, those eggs. Those are huge, those cockroaches he's going to eat. Now, let me see the cockroach. He's busy. Uh, is that a cockroach? No. Yeah, these are just crickets. These let me are see just the cockroach. Want me to do one now? Them? Yeah. yeah. Look right. at how big they are, Howard. What, the cockroaches? Yeah, show him. Oh, oh man. This might be a fight to the death with one of these puppies there. What do you mean? And that, 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 that is a huge bug. Oh, and they're living. I'm going to. I'm going to vomit. I am too, man. <laughs> I think I'm going to vomit. That's Doug looks like he's ready to spew chunks. I can't see. Did you hear about that me. lady that sued Taco Bell because uh, one of these roaches got in her taco and yeah. left eggs in her face there? Yeah. That's a oh, 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 oh. Where'd he go? There you go. Oh! oh I'm he out of here. Over the oh. 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 What's he doing? He's trying to it's catch it. Ah, here he is. Good. You got him? Yeah, I got him. Oh Stop playing with your lunch. Oh. 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 Hey, you got to wash them down every once in a uh, while. I, I think I had enough, man. Wow, those roaches are big. They're yeah. huge. I didn't realize how fast they were. They are fast. They're faster than the crickets. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Howard, I think he like, actually enjoys it. I mean, yeah. look at him. Maybe it's good protein. It is. Yeah, it's good. Hey, yeah. people eat cows. Might as well eat cockroaches. They don't exactly. You don't eat anymore. He well, it care. doesn't kill them. Over the, over the top. Oh, over the top? Yeah. Mm. There you go. <laughs> oh, look, look at this guy. Catch him. Go ahead. Oh, he's going to throw oh, it off. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh, oh. oh there, it there it is. <laughs> oh, there it is. Did he catch it? Oh, he's a nut out. Oh. You're wild. Boy, Mize is wild. All right, listen. He threw it up in the air and he caught it in his mouth like popcorn. Oh. All right, Mize. Oh, God. Thank you. You should be an exterminator. Mize, thank you. Wow. <laughs> you know, you guys, you like to have a guy like that around, don't yeah, you? Yeah, Mize is fun. <laughs> some crickets I like him. Nice. How does that taste, that cockroach? Seriously. It, it, it does taste like a, a rancid potato if it, you ever bit into one of those there. It, it doesn't taste... It, it, it tastes bad. 
Yeah, that's why I get the uh, wash it down a little bit there. Right. But you know what, Howard? Robin's right. Like, I hang out with guys like this all the time. This can't be the dumbest thing you do. What are some of the other things you do that are wacky? Well, he hits himself in the head with cans. Look at his head. <laughs> yeah, that's probably like the dumbest thing. Your head stuff is really. I, I mean, I don't know if that's the natural shape of your head, but it looks like you've got a big yeah, lump, that, lump in your head. Is, yeah, it, it's lumpier than normally it is. It, normally I have lumps, but. They just go bigger when Does I. Does that hurt? What'd you do? You banged a bottle into your head? A can. You want to see? Yeah, it? a can. Yeah, let me see you bang a can into your head. Let me see. Let me, here, no, here it is. Here, here it is. Oh, there it is on. Oh, there he is. Oh, He's my doing goodness. it. Oh, you got. There he is. Oh, there is. Why do you do that? Hey, where's the trick? <laughs> where's the trick? Look at that. You're hurting your head. <laughs> Why is that? What, what is that? Oh, for, oh. Uh, just for the hell of it, right. there. Well, anyway, my st uh, congratulations <laughs> on <laughs> congratulations <laughs> on this the couple more guy crickets, you keep maybe around to laugh for fun and for fun. But he never gets laid. He's the guy at the. Would he stop eating bugs? <laughs> He's oh, got to have his on. breakfast. Come on. There he goes. Oh. Another cricket. Oh. This, is, this is moment in the sun. Don't oh. stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mice has been working He's up to this appearance. Been working for years just to get here. All right, Mice. Thank you. How normally he called, feeling out? He called 50 shows. We're the only one who called him back. <laughs> Mice, yeah. is there anything you want to plug? I, I mean, I don't know. Oh, God. I, uh, uh, no. <laughs> enough with the bugs. All right, I can't put just, No, no, you did no, enough no, roaches. No, 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 no. Oh, I can't take it. I'm Yo, how do you, he's got cricket on his teeth and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> there is that problem. There, huh? oh. Let's do it he up. loves Let to do this. He won't stop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I keep begging the guy to stop. It's the only problem with a mind. You know what's a really funny move? You have to see this. No, don't, don't, don't throw him up. No. <laughs> This guy, this guy's so out of control, he just keeps doing it. You know what's a great one, Howard? <laughs> he picks up five of them, and then it's like Cheerios, like three of them fall, and then he scoops them up really quick and eats them. Yeah. He's good. All right, thanks, Mize. Hey, thank you. Yes. All right, Mize, everybody. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Hemorrhoid fun this morning on a Friday morning. asteroids. It's the world's largest hemorrhoid. Right, this is the big one. We didn't know how many people would show up. It started at 6 o'clock, and when we opened our doors, over 50 contestants showed up, which was really awesome. I mean, I was... Gary, don't bring anyone in yet, please. What are you rushing me for? When I call for a person, you'll, you'll bring them in. He hasn't figured me out yet. And you could have just easily said, Gary, where the hell are they? Why aren't they? Gary, stop it. No, who knows? Wait for my cue. Damn. Calm down. I am calm. Act professionally. We and have people here. Let's not have a scene. We have guests. Calm yourself down. Night now. <laughs> By the way, Gary's wearing a surgical mask. Not because he has a medical background, but because he's afraid of man ass. Oh. Who can blame him? All right. Look, uh, it started the contest this morning. We didn't know if one person would show up. Quite frankly, I didn't think anyone would show up, but over 50 people, all men except for one woman and a dog, showed up for the contest. And uh, our doctor, of course, uh, the esteemed Dr. Peter Andrews is here with us. How are you, doctor? I'm doing very well, Howard. Thank you. You've looked at all of them, and you've narrowed it down to these five that we're going to see, and then we're going to do Olympic-style voting on the hemorrhoids. Isn't that correct? That's correct. Do we have yeah. cards? No, no cards, Rob. <laughs> Just pretend. <laughs> pretend you're holding up a card when I call on you. Gay Ramon, you are one of the gayest men I ever met. And sometimes I call you Gay Ramon to the third power yeah, because what, does that mean? what it means is that you're more gay than most gay people. Oh, you're very, very effeminate <laughs> and very gay. And I figured, who better to look at man ass than you? Oh, thank you. Yeah, you're enjoying yourself this I, morning. I'm sure am. And you didn't mind the stink in there? No, I didn't smell that bad. And you yeah. don't even mind that they're hemorrhoids. Where you're looking? No, actually, this this was the first time I actually seen hemorrhoids. Yeah. It, it, it's right. High pitch Eric, of course. Uh, everyone knows him. Most people do not like high pitch Eric. Right. I don't yeah. know why. Why? You're annoying. You're unlikable. You're basically. overweight. <laughs> your your gums bleed. I can even see some blood on your teeth right now. Get out of here, Howard. What do you think he weighs now? I would say three forty, three fifty. No Easily. way. What do you weigh? Probably. Between ah. 290 and 300. No way. Get Eric, on no the way. Scale. Get you on the scale right now. Get over there and weigh yourself. Eric, you're the heaviest I think I've ever seen. Really? Oh, you look vile. Look at that belly. I mean, it's disgusting. The doctor will tell you the dangers of obesity. Yeah. Let's see. 316. Oh, holy cow. Holy cow is right. Oh, 
<laughs> Big cow right there. <laughs> half human, half cow. <laughs> What do you eat to get that size with that big bike? Burger King, White Castle. What do you eat? Burger King, White Castle. Yeah. Building. No wonder your gums are bleeding. Why isn't he in the commercials? <laughs> because if America saw what was eating White Castle and, and Burger King, and they looked like that, they would never go again. That's all. Now it's time for the world's biggest hemorrhoid contest. Prepare to be rich and famous. Thanks to that thing hanging off your ears. I want to let the audience know that High Pitch actually bowed after you said that. All right, here's a gentleman who is holding a hemorrhoid donut. He is the first one up. All the guys are coming in. Thought we were going to do it one at a time, but I guess we changed our mind. Is no, that correct? No, that's exactly what you said. No, all I said at one once. At, no, I said one at a time. Doug? You said all, all, at all at a time. All right. <laughs> anyway, uh, hi, guys. Hello, Howard. And woman. Oh, the woman made it in. Nice. Uh, you know, I was I was going to say, pregnant women often have large hemorrhoids. Yes, and she's pregnant. Your name is Patrick, sir, right? Yes, sir. All right, Patrick, uh, when did you hear about the hemorrhoid contest? I was listening to the show yesterday. Okay, and you heard there's a $10,000 prize? That's right, I could use it. You probably could, because if you're here, if you're in the top one, two, three, four, five, six people, that means you got a real problem. I'm desperate. Do you not know how to wipe? Is that the problem? No, I think it's coffee, because when I quit drinking coffee, they go away. All right, so let's uh, have you quit drinking coffee? No, I've been I've been a little bit stressed. I've been kind of on a downward financial spiral. and. All right. Well, so. this might help you out because if you're here, that means you're a real contender. Yes, sir. Doc, you've already examined these people. Gay Ramon and High Pitch Eric have assisted you, yeah. and uh, you were quite impressed with this. Is this a disturbing thing that you're seeing here today? People with out of control hemorrhoids. Uh, the hemorrhoids that we saw today are uh, are unbelievable. It's amazing that people would let this get to that point. So. In all your years of medical school, have you seen anything like this? No, not even close. Wow. You mean there is something they could do? Uh, yeah, absolutely. But they've let it get out of control. Out of control. Wow. When hemorrhoids get this big, is it debilitating in any way? Uh, certainly. I can see the gentleman on the end. He has a, a pillow that he has to carry around with him wherever he goes. Yes, this is a serious problem. All right, so are you prepared to drop trial and let us judge? Robin, take a look at your monitor. The camera will get right in there. This is very important to these people. Study the hemorrhoid. As gross as this is, Artie, I'm going to need you to vote. Have to vote. Oh! That's that that's right oh. out there. It's not that bad looking though, right? Oh. I mean, it's got a nice tone. It's it weird. Looks good, actually. It hurts like crazy. Oh my oh, god, doctor! Yeah, that's yeah, it. I'm affected for the rest of my life. <laughs> wow. Yeah, you know, I, I think that was big. I think we need to see them all though before we give numbers, right? right? Yeah. Because what do we have to compare it to? We don't have anything to compare it. to. All right, let's go to. Let's, know what number to give them. Let's go to this next gentleman. This is Doug. Doug, uh, I, I don't know what to expect. Uh, how are you? Uh, very painful. Very painful. Yes, sir. Are you going to get this thing fixed after the hemorrhoid? I've already had it fixed twice. And it doesn't matter. It keeps no, coming two back. surgeries. See, I always think if you don't wipe so hard back there and you don't push and you, you behave yourself, everything will be fine. I don't know. It keeps returning. All right. Let's take a look at yours before we give numbers out because wow. this is... Gay Ramon is in heaven, aren't you? <laughs> oh, yeah. You like it. Gay Ramon, if you were with a man... Don't rate the butts. Rate the hemorrhoids. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah. Let me see what's doing. <laughs> no! Oh, I don't know what that is. Oh, that is terrible. Whoa. That was terrible. I, that was like a creature living in there. Oh. That's alien. Oh. oh, my God. You didn't tell us we were going to need a bucket next to us. <laughs> Whose idea was this, Gary? Fire him. <laughs> how are you How are you living, it's sir? Very how, painful. How very did painful. I just see. Have I you gotta, ever seen it? i got to live by a whole ritual. Uh, uh. Have you seen that? Yes, thing? I've seen it. It's a, it's a whole ritual you got to go by to monitor. How are you walking around? I Bow -legged. You should be in a hospital. I <laughs> the doc. I'm going after I get the money. When you were in medical school, did you ever envision cases like this? I mean, this is not what you got in it no, for. No, and in the textbooks, you see the worst case scenarios in this. You know, These far far, 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 far. Oh, seated. my goodness. Is this any kind of. I mean, you're probably a bright guy if you're a medical doctor. Is this really what you want to be doing with your life? Looking at stuff like this? Uh, you know, certainly not every day. But... Yeah, you got to question your decision. But you can see these people need help. He wow. needs to be. <laughs> All right, let's go to uh, Greg. I need to see his. Hey, Greg, how are you? Greg, how are you? Oh, very good, very good. Man, if you're anything like these guys, you got to be in tremendous pain. Yes, yes, very painful hour. All right, this is for ten from? grand. Where yes. I see our accent. Oh, uh, from Ecuador. Well, actually, I was born here. My father from Ecuador. All okay. right, all right. Show us what you got. You got an Ecuadorian. This is um, this is going to haunt me the rest of my life. Whoa! 
Hey, Alex, well, we did that pretty thing in the green room. Yes. This guy was crying like crazy. Why did he, he cry? He walked out and cried. Because you were in so much very pain. painful, Howard. Very oh, painful. oh, for crying out. What about, did you see a doctor? I can't afford it. I have no insurance, Howard. I oh. did see a doctor. He did nothing for me. Thank you, doctor. Thank you, doctor. <laughs> <laughs> That's our medical problem. Oh, you got to see. Uh, do, do you wipe excessively? Is that the uh, Yes. Like my man said, yeah, there's a whole ritual involved with the yeah, living. You no, control it. I control it. It's the straining, isn't it, Doc? Uh, it is. It's certainly one of the, the risk factors is sitting yeah. too long and uh, is there, the I, diet. I keep is the there diet. pain medication? Do you get pain medication? They don't work, though. Dude, listen to me. Yes. You'd have to take heroin for that. Heroin Did you read my work. book? I talked about this. I, I just started to develop a fissure. What you got to do is, you go to the bathroom only when you really have to. You hold it in. Then, when you have to wipe, three wipes, that's it. And then you take a shower and rinse. But they need softeners at this point. They don't need to be doing anything. What is it, Gary Ramon? I, what you just said, I've been doing it for years and no problem. No problem. But what, Howard, what happens if you're at work? Right? Don't Go know. home! <laughs> <laughs> you can't live like that. I don't even know what I'm seeing here. Let me meet the next gentleman. This is unbelievable. This, is, this is this should be our last broadcast. This is it's over. <laughs> Stephen High. Hey, how you doing? And he's a young man. Stephen, you're a young guy. What, 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 what's going on here, pal? Your mom never taught you how to clean yourself back there? Uh, she gave me a couple pointers. Hey, <laughs> drop trial and let me see what you got going on there. If, uh, yeah, let's get right to this that. This is going to be a tough judging. I, I, uh, you're holy Ramon, are you in love? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Ramon loves this. Bend over and say, Oh! Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it! Stop it. <laughs> Howard got out of his seat. What are we doing? What, what, what are we doing? Artie, what do you think of that? What is that? This is, I mean, I love this show more than anything, but what are we doing? I thought you said he was a guy. <laughs> I know what you mean. <laughs> Holy cow! Wow, Ramon, if you were if you were uh, if you were dating a guy who was a power bottom and you saw this, would you run for the hills? No, I probably use my fist. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Victor, you're on the air. Thank you, Ramon, for taking it to a new level Howard. of growth. Yeah, Victor, go ahead. Hey, Howard, how's it going? Man? Hey, man, what's happening? Uh, I've been listening for a while. This is the first time I really got to speak to you. Yes, yeah. what can I do for you? It sounds so hilarious. So I have never imagined a hemorrhoid that big. You got, I've never seen anything like this. This is unbelievable. This, is, uh, this is unbelievable. What about the person who, the, 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 the people who lose this, I really feel bad for, because at least the one guy's going to get 10 Gs. Help, right? yeah, let's, go to, um, let, let's go to Chris. Chris, you're on the air. Howard, I love you. This is the funniest thing I've ever heard in my life. Thank you. All right, buddy. Oh, my God. How many more do we have to look at? <laughs> Two more. Two. Okay, let's go to the next gentleman. I don't know this how is to vote. this is Richard, I believe. Richard yeah, Hyde. How you doing, Richard, how long have you been a hemorrhoid sufferer? <laughs> oh, a long time, about 10, 12 years. Oh, 10, this guy looks years. gross. <laughs> yeah, I've had surgery already and everything else. And nothing helps. No. What no. about these What are you doing? Th what about the things I'm saying? You're absolutely right. Your advice is real good. Yeah. You know, you gotta you gotta just go to the bathroom and jump right up and get on with it. You can't sit there too long. And right. Are you just ignoring the doctor's advice and what to do to clear this up? No, I'm doing the best I can. But I, I'm in construction. I spend a lot of time on my feet on yeah. uh, on concrete. I also I walk on stilts. You know what? I walk on stilts. Air. Yeah, I wear. I do what, seal, you a clown? ceilings. Oh, okay. I just put in ceilings. I'm up on still, so it's a real strain on the, you know, on your, on your legs and your lower, your whole lower half. Wow. I would imagine that clowns are suffering from this. I, you know, I know some clowns. It's not a big red nose. I would never eat again. I would just do coke all day. I would just never eat, so I would never have to go to the bathroom. Well, let's, uh, Richard, let's see your hemorrhoid because this is what it's all about. It all comes down to this. You are all finalists. You're in the Olympics of hemorrhoids. I can't imagine. And the underwear is coming down, and I have to brace myself. Oh! oh! Oh my yes, God! Oh my God! Oh my God! I have to leave. I have to leave. No, you're not. You're staying. Get it. Sit. Sit down in the mic. Run for the hills! Get on the mic. You're a judge. Robert, come on. What do you think? I can't take it. Run for the hills! You're right, Eric. I'm going Doc, with you. What did we just see? Oh, I'm not quite sure. Is that a? Is that a? Gay Ramon looks shook up. Wow. It looks like the wow. lips and. I know, I know, I know. Please, we can't even. It looks like liver. Wait a second. 
You ever see the Rolling Stones logo with the yeah. mouth and... That's what it is. Yes. He's wearing that He's on his wearing, shirt. He's wearing it. Oh, no, oh, man. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, 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 come on. Oh, oh yikes. Oh. Like, that's what it looks get like. Get it out of here. Brother, you got to get medical attention. Oh, yeah, that's what I need the money for. I got no insurance or anything. Holy. Do you my... see what the president is doing to this country? Howard, that's... We've got to get medical uh, coverage in this country. I am going to run for president, and these guys are going to come on stage with me. Uh, this is this is unbelievable. That tastes like seeing. a fetus. You're giving birth. Really? That's what it looks like. All right, there is one more contestant, a woman. Anne, hi. How are you? Okay. And you are pregnant. I've heard that pregnant women have hemorrhoid problems. Mine's not as bad as his, so maybe I shouldn't drop drawers. I think yeah, you, you should, though. you, you got to get in there. you got to get in the contest. You never vote. know how the judges are going to vote. Sweetheart, uh, short of giving birth, you ain't going to win this. Right. What does the baby do? <laughs> When's the baby do? November. November. Uh, well, you know what you're having? Girl, boy? I think it's a girl. Is this your first child? No, second. Second child. Do you know the name yet? Is it Howena? I know the name. You do know. What's the name going to be? Jessica. Jessica. Hemorrhoids? Did she get hemorrhoids the first time she was pregnant? No. Oh, no. So this is new for this. Hemorrhoid, very painful. Mm hmm. Yeah. Oh. oh, my. All right. Well, let's see it. You might as well. You've come all this way. You've made it into the final six. <laughs> let's go to the new levels of all the right. gravity. Uh, oh! 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 I saw somebody waving. <laughs> was yeah, there was a hand coming out. Wasn't you it? know what? That's your official ticket to hell. I think making her do that. I think you're having twins. <laughs> oh! oh, oh, oh. Guys, thanks for coming down. There's no prize. This was a joke. That's right. Yeah, we were goofing on you. <laughs> all right, now's the time for the judging. We've seen well, them all. Well, I don't know who is who, so... Uh, well, you just, are you should just numbers? Just pick a per numbers. You want to just pick a person? Well, I'm going to pick a person. Oh. Well, yeah, but I don't know what that person is called. All right. I know um, who all I'm voting. All right, the first guy's name is Patrick. Mm -hmm. All right, so you'll know who to vote for. You can write down the name of the person. All right. Second guy's name is Doug. Yes, sir. Third guy's name is Greg. Gregory, yes, sir. Fourth guy's name is Steven. Steven. Richard is the fifth guy. And Ann is the sixth woman. All right. <laughs> Yikes. Big decision. I hate to make this decision. Well, do you want to write them down or do you want to talk out loud? How about we write it down? Who asked you? <laughs> No one asked you to talk Can out loud or write it? anything. I'm sure if we bet you over, we'd find some surprise in there, too. For real, you probably could win this. I, I don't think it would be a surprise at all. Let me say to all our contestants, you're all brave people to drop trow and, and show this, and you are all suffering. And, and seriously, I feel really bad that you could even enter this contest. Uh, you guys are fans of the show, and I feel bad. You've, this has got to be an overwhelming problem that is with you every day and throbbing and hurting, and you've got to, we, we've got to get you all help somehow. I don't know what we're going to do. Uh, try hem relief, something. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, please. Did they give you a free sample? You know, now that you're here and I'm seeing all the problems, I would have tried to have gotten a second and third place prize. At yes, least. We, we had, I didn't think anyone would show up. We had no idea the problem was this widespread. Seriously. <laughs> yeah. the, the only way I can make you feel better is in a hundred years you'll all be dead and this will mean nothing. Uh, Howard. Yes, uh, Patrick. Maybe if I don't win, I can, um, I'm an artist, I'm a painter, maybe I could plug my website. It's kind of a, All right, that would be fair. I That's sell why a painting, maybe. The That's out of the I'm question so there, Van Gogh. I'm, not, I'm broke. Maybe you ought to stand up and find a job where you walk around a little. Well, I've had 44 restaurant jobs, but they make me insane. I can't do it anymore. Mm. What are you doing at the restaurant? I have a bartender. And it makes you nuts? Yeah, I hate it. Yeah, I hate this, but I'm I gotta an artist. show up. Well, I'm I'm uh, an artist too. What am I doing here? I know. It's, should see my drawings. We're all desperate. All right, all right. Let's let's get it over with. You're right. Enough of your problems, Pat. I feel awful. Try painting houses instead Picking of stupid pictures. Picking one picture. person is ridiculous. This makes Steve O look like an interview with Grace Kelly. Hey, this Doc. When nauseous. when when you're in your practice and someone like you, someone comes and says, "Look, Doc, I have a problem," and they bend over and you say, "Do you laugh or do you cry?" I mean, how do you keep a straight face through something like that? Yeah, sometimes you have to grit your teeth and uh, you know control yourself, but it's uh, but you try all to act these professional. people need immediate help, don't they? Yeah. You sometimes you have to leave the room and, and oh. react, but it's, um, I mean, these are some very large. It's sad that some of these guys can't afford uh, to, to get these things taken care of. Mm -hmm. There are always city hospitals and, and <laughs> clinics and that stuff. Right. You think? 
Guys, go to the city hospital. Bellevue? Yeah, I'm sure the city hospital. Go to Bellevue. Or, the city hospital. You have to wait 11 hours. Yeah, but what is the pain like on something like this? Is it throbbing all the time? It, it is. hurts like hell. Yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. I'm sure it's not too depressing down at the hemorrhoid clinic. <laughs> all right. I, I, this, listen, each person also has a sad story, and, and I would like to give the money to all of you. There can only yeah. be one. I happen to know which, which guy I think has the worst case just based on sight, and that's what we're going by today. So... <sighs> Uh, I'm going to write down the name of the guy, I think, and uh, I'll go around the room. Fred, who is the guy with the uh, worst hemorrhoid? I thought it was going to be a runoff between one and two, and then I saw number four, but then came number five. Richard is the is the winner, in my opinion. Hardy? I'm going to go with the Rolling Stone shirt guy. Is that Richard? Oh, that's, that's Richard. Richard. Yeah. It, I've never seen anything that big. It, it's got to be the the biggest thing I've ever seen. Robin? Richard. Yeah, I'm with Richard, too. I, I think it's going to be a runaway. I hate to say it. I mean, Richard, I've, I I'm have no idea. I'm sorry to all the people I couldn't vote for. Uh, I mean, congratulations, <laughs> Richard. It is a big Thank you Eric, did you want to cast a different vote? I would have to say Richard. Yeah, uh, Gay Ramon. You know, Richard. Let's talk to the doctor. He's seen a million of these. Yeah, uh, Richard by far. Oh. Richard by far, yeah. A seven to none, seven nothing winner. But it yeah. was it's, the it's, biggest one. It's without a doubt the biggest. And, and by the way, uh, there might have been a little quibbling over some of the others. When I when I saw Patrick, I went, "Oh, whoa, that's that's the winner." Yeah. And then Doug was bigger, then Gregory bigger than that, and I thought Gregory <laughs> had it. The guy with the accent, I yeah. thought he had it. Then Stephen went, and, uh, I mean, uh, even Ann. It's uh, okay. Gary, find some sort of runner-up situation please. for them. Please. All right, you're all great, and uh, thank you all for being judges Love you, today. Howard. Love you, too, and we will be back right after these words. We've seen smaller asteroids. It's the world's largest hemorrhoid. It's <laughs> just disgusting. <laughs> you know, we got to call Ronnie, because he's got some interesting uh, limo stories. About the time he, did I ever tell you about the time he made in his pants? No. What? <laughs> what? Ronnie's nuts, man. In Ronnie, the limo? See, Ronnie, uh, yeah, well, being a limo driver in Manhattan, you can't pull in anywhere and go to the bathroom, <laughs> number one. But this had nothing to do with that. He was in the limo and he sneezed. <laughs> oh, no, I know what it was. He was in the limo and he thought he had gas. Yes. And he, uh, went, he went in the bathroom in his underpants. No. He sneezed. You know? He well, he thanks. just he Good thought it was gas. Yeah. So then he drove over to Central Park because he had you know he was driving somebody. So we got you know like the person went somewhere. So we had a couple of minutes. He drove over to Central Park. I should let him tell the story. Yeah. Want to let him tell the story? <laughs> I'm not sure I want to hear the story. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> you know during the commercial you're gonna run in here asking me what happened. <laughs> Who was in the car? No, well, no, well, let me let's find out. Hold on. <laughs> what the hell's his number? Hold on, I got his number right here, Robin. Oh, but with somebody really big like the president. <laughs> Keith Hernandez. <laughs> let's see. No, this is funny because wait till I tell you what he did with his underwear. Oh. This it is only really got funny. into his underwear. The clothes weren't bothered. No, no, no. It was just it was it was there in his underwear. Hold on, one one second. Wait, this is pretty funny. And I and I want to. Now be... you can't tell me this, yeah. Howard. Well, this is a good thing for people to know what to do in case they. Uh... <laughs> Don't try to palm this off at the public service. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying. <laughs> well, I also want to keep it kind of, you know, I don't want to get to get too graphic right. or anything. You know, try to purposely keep things mellow. But it is his story, and it's not right for me to tell it. Yes, I mean, you don't want to be a scam booger. And as long as we're talking about this topic anyway, I might as well. <laughs> we're about as far away from the news topic as we possibly could be. I wanted to talk about the weather. I know. I don't know what happened. Oh, wait, that's not his number. Hold on, I got a different number on it. Reason I sing that dumb song is that I'm doing a Jerry Lewis impression. I just try to block out the phone number. Tom, our general manager, told me he's not even going to listen to the radio today, so you have a relaxing morning. So oh, good. we can do pretty much whatever we want with no lecture involved. Cannot be completed at this time. Hmm. The mobile customer you have. Anyway, okay, so I can. Is he not available? No. I, it's better I finish the story anyway. I know how to handle it. Like, he'll get on there, you know, And we'll have to bleep him. Yeah, right. I'm a professional. So, to make a long story short, he figures, well, he just went to the bathroom in his pants and he can't go home because <laughs> he's still driving somebody and he's wearing that dumb limo suit that he wears. And uh, he drove over to Central Park and got into the back of the limo 
Oh, that's Ronnie? Oh, thanks. Hey, Ronnie. What's up? I was trying to reach you. You called the wrong number. I called both numbers. You dialed the wrong ones, though. You, you forgot I got the new number. The different number. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah, okay. This guy changes his phone every week. Anyway, so, uh... Man, I'm telling this story about you and your underwear? Yeah. All right, so I'm up to the part where you... It wasn't that you sneezed, it's that you thought you had gas. Well, no, I actually, it was what it was, it was really cold out, okay? Yeah. And all I had on was a suit. It was like 20 below zero, practically. It was like 1985 when you had that big snowstorm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I was sitting in my car, man. I'm driving this guy from Atari. Oh. And he was out at this restaurant. And I'm sitting in a car, and, you know... You think you got a little gas coming on? All right. Well, that's it. enough said about that. So, you know? okay. So you had an accident. Right. I don't yeah. understand how that happens, but go on. Me neither. <laughs> but according to Jackie Martley, it happens every other day to him. <laughs> oh, right. Because like, Jackie can top this story any day of the week. You know Jackie. So anyway, okay. So Ronnie, so you drive over to Central Park, right? Yeah. So now, now I'm in a panic. What am I supposed to do now? These people in a restaurant. I'm in the city. I got no place to go. So and, and you freak because you smell. I'm freaking out. All right. So I run over to Central Park, like around 68th Street, where it's quiet and it's dark. There's nobody there. <laughs> Jump in the back of the car, you know, get in the back of the limo, turn on the heat. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'll take off my pants and everything. Right, wait, 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 wait. So he, he does it. Let me just clean this up a little, because I don't want to get in trouble. Well, I'm not getting graphic here. No, okay, go ahead. No. Uh, you know, and, you know, it changed my pants. You know? No, no, what he did was... Yeah, exactly. He took off his underpants, right? right with everything. And, uh... <laughs> Got some paper towels. Uh, all right, enough with the paper all towels. Right, you all right, you cleaned yourself up. You cleaned yourself up. Right. Leave it that way. Okay. Get some paper towels. <laughs> Last time I sit in that car. <laughs> and, then, uh, and then... Windex. Get out of here. So, and then... He, uh... Some of that colored water he has in those decanters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How do you think it got colored? So, we, see, it comes so then <laughs> he takes his underpants, and uh, what'd you do? You roll down the window? No, I got out uh, of the car. He got out of the car, and he chucked his underpants up into a tree. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> and it's stuck up there in the, uh, in the tree, right? Right. His underpants are just... I think I saw those. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that underpants tree? Yeah, all the limo guys used to go past it and, you know... Didn't it fall on that jogger who got they attacked all, the other night? That's what all, happened. It slowed her down. They used to call me and they say, guess what I just saw? Oh, really? All oh, the limo yeah, drivers knew. Yeah. yeah, they thought it was a big joke. Is it? St are your underpants still up there? Nah, they're gone. Yeah. They fell with the leaves. <laughs> <laughs> How sad. Yeah. So, uh, that's Ronnie's story. So, and then he just drove back. He just didn't wear any underwear for the rest of the night. Oh, yeah, it was pretty cold. Yeah. I got some great stories, but they're too graphic. I thought that was the Mexican flag, because I passed that once in Central Park. But I, I didn't got, realize I it was... A, I got a friend. I got a friend who had the same problem. But yeah. uh, another limo guy. He, dri he drives a, comp uh, one of, you know, a competitor of yours. Yeah. And uh, another morning man. He drives John Gambling. Go right. ahead. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, he, he went... Uh, well, he maybe had, he doesn't want this story told. Well, that's his problem. Right. <laughs> no, I'm saying... Yeah, he, he had a little bit of a problem like that, too. But, All right. Well, I don't want to hear about he, that. He, I don't want to hear... Ronnie, I don't want to hear about that guy. Why not? Because he does, might not want to talk. Because that's his story to tell. Tell him to call in. I'll, I'll tell, you want me we, to tell him to call in? Yeah. We told your story. All right. I'll tell him to call in. All right, fine. All right, I think that's kind of interesting limo story. Yeah. For people who think of going in the limo business, they need these tips. you got to think about these things. Yeah. That's right. Duty man stories. All right, thank you, Ronnie. So. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the limo about? driver, Ronnie. Ronnie, the limo driver, checking in with that very important Ronnie. report. He started telling me this stuff. I said, i gotta, I got to get this on the air. No one believes this. <laughs> Cook. You know, you sometimes drive by or walk by trees and you see underpants. And <laughs> you, you do. You wonder. you wonder what's going on. You wonder if Ronnie's been there. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. Howard, uh, the foot, the foot sucker is here. His name is Mike. Okay. All right, bring him in and let's yeah, just see. Meet him. Now, Hank, you have your toenails are three inches long, aren't they? You really? never, you never cut them, don't you? I never cut them. I just let them break off. You do. Oh, wow. You never cut your toenails. Why is that? Don't you care if you take off your few shoes? You want to look attractive? <laughs> right, let me meet well, this guy. Well, I never really do it, except when I'm taking a shower. Uh, hi, well, what is your name, sir? My name is Mike. Mike. And Mike, you were married? Wow. Yeah. How old is your wife? She's 29. And she flat-chested? Well, she's not flat-chested. They just sag. You know? Yeah. And like, she, uh, you have kids? One. She's, yeah. she's here now. Yeah. And she want, your wife is here? My, my wife and my kid. You are, yeah. And you want to win breast implants for your wife? Right. And you're willing to suck the disgusting feet of Hank the Angry Drunken Dwarf who hasn't ever clipped his toenails? You would suck his feet for your wife's breast, breast implants? Hank, do you mind taking off your shoes so I can see your foot? 
Oh, come on, I'm going to take one of my socks. This yes, yes. Gary, take see. off his shoe, will you? <laughs> I'll do the shoe, but I want to. I got to see these feet. Gary doesn't want to do this yeah, because it's, you know, and maybe it sounds good on paper, sir. But to put your mouth and tongue his his uh, feet. Uh, well, I want some money for it. Yeah. All right. Well, how long will I have to hour? do it for? Let me see. Let me see. Hank is taking off his shoes. Oh, Gary's oh, taking Gary. off Hank's shoe. Hank. Hank's got green socks. <laughs> Little buckle around them. <laughs> wow. I don't know. Let me see his foot. No, it's because I'm dressed up as a leprechaun. Can oh, you, I can see. Can you pull your sock off, Hank? Really? Don't make No, he'll fall off the couch. You better you just do it. Yeah, give me that. Give me those. Seriously. Give him a rubber glove. <laughs> I'm Derek, you really? You're going to put on. You know what? It's because it's already gross. You know he doesn't change his socks. <laughs> right. Well, those are new socks, yeah, I think. You can always yeah. wash your hands. Yeah. Of what? Fungus? Yes. Right. Once you get infected, it's very difficult to get rid of. Why? No. These socks. Oh, God. These. Uh. Socks I just put on today. What are new socks? Let me see that foot. There it is. It's not so bad. It's not so bad. Let me wait, see. Wait, 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 wait. All right, hold on. Look at that. Oh, look at that toenail. Oh. 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 It doesn't, oh. It doesn't look as weird because he's got small toes, so he's got small toenails. But here, put it right up. See how long wait, 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 get the we'll go to the camera. This is about the, right, the, the right. highest I can put it. Look at that. Look at those toenails. They're, They're huge. Very long, yeah. Wow. Huge and green. Yeah, oh. but. Oh. oh. How? What is wrong with your toenails? Hank, did you paint them green for St. Patrick's Day? No, yeah. They're, they're not green. They're, yeah, they're, they're fungus. What's wrong with them? You would suck the feet of a, a dwarf's fungated feet? Oh, Are you crazy, yeah. sir? You would put those in your mouth? I don't want mouth? this guy doing this. What? I don't want this guy doing this. I'll pay you. I'll pay well, you. How I'll much? Pay? <laughs> I'll pay you. Get him on the mic. Uh, I'll buy you. 20 bucks. I talked to him over the phone. No, I want more than no, no. 20. I get, <laughs> how much you get, you know, you get that check every month, or once a month, how much is that check? Which one? The one where you drink all your money. Was it like 600 change? Put them in front of the microphone. Well, I... I know. But try. Like when you get a check from SSI every month, around how much is that for? Like 600 and change? Well, fall forward. All right, I'll tell you what, I'll, give you, I'll, I'll double that, I'll give you 800. All right, you better not be gay. Are you He's gay? Married. I'm totally straight. He's straight. He's got a wife and a kid. Gay. He's doing this because he loves his wife, not because he's gay. Yeah, that's not gay if the guy's straight. <laughs> well, I know that. That doesn't but make you gay. Because, just, no, I'm not gay either. Yeah. But just because a, a guy is uh, married doesn't mean uh, right. he's not gay. Sir, get. I just saw Hank's feet. Yeah, it I is, saw it too. It's yeah, gross. Yeah. Right, do, I, do I need both feet? No, oh. just the one. Just the one foot. Are you really still willing to do this? Sir, I would recommend you not. Yeah, I, God knows what's growing on those what toes. What can I do to get her in place? Pay me what he uh, wants if you want to suck work. his feet, and I mean, I got to see tongue on those feet, <laughs> and and worshiping his Hank's ugly feet, They're all not. five toes in the mouth at once, oh. I'll get your wife breast implants. But it's got to be all five. Oh, all right. Oh. You would do it. Oh, oh. Do you love oh. your wife that much? I mean, Look get a different at wife. Toes. <laughs> you know, what I mean? bring in the wife. I got to see the wife. Yeah, bring in the wife. Bring in the and wife, then, and then let me have sex with her. Oh, <laughs> come on, Hank. No way. I mean, come on. Yeah, wouldn't you rather let Hank have sex with your wife for the implant? Dude, look at that foot. Look <laughs> at it. What else could I do? Dude, that's it. I mean, I don't have anything for you to do. What? How would you, uh, she's out there with like a two-year-old kid, and no. oh, kid won't you decide. hold the kid. But she said she'd come in with well, her. They're, they're, right. To take out, take right. the take the husband out and let him hold the kid and bring yeah, the wife in. Out there right now. I mean, for crying out, yeah, the wife's out there right now. I got to I got to ask the wife why she's doing this to her husband. Is she so? His feet are terrible. I mean, you could get a disease from those feet. They already you probably could, and I wouldn't uh, disagree with you. Right. <laughs> when you sleep at night, maybe you're so anesthetized, but do your feet like itch and stuff? Because there's definitely something going on, like a fungus. Do your feet ever itch you? I don't know. I'm. Uh, come but on. This is Lana. Lana, your husband's gonna put Hank's foot in. You're a very cute girl. Are your breasts so horrible? You'd well, put your I husband through. Horrible. They are horrible. Let me open up your coat so I can at least see what they look like with the shirt. You're an attractive girl. What are you making your husband put Hank's disgusting feet? Look at his feet. Take a look at Hank's feet. I'll even admit that my feet are disgusting. Right. I'll even admit it. Was it was his idea. It was his idea. Yeah. He wants it them so bad. It wasn't my idea. Yes. I didn't come up with it. Oh, take it easy, Hank. I mean, what if your husband gets athlete's tongue? <laughs> Tell him to wear a rubber. <laughs> right. We don't have dental dams. Here. Right. Oh, so you're going to let your husband go through with this. If he wants to. All right. Okay. Bring in the husband. Let's go. Here we go. Bring in the husband. You leave, Lana. I don't even know that I might vomit, ladies and gentlemen. You might hear me throw up for the first time on the air ever. Lana. I don't even want to see that. Can you get down okay? Yeah. Well, he's hooked up with the headphones. Yeah. 
All right, all right. Where do I gotta go? You, all right. Home? No, no, you stay. Let, you wanna stay? Let, oh, yeah, yeah, go over there, Hank. This is it. We're gonna see Hank get his toes and feet worshipped. Why don't you just bring the guy back over here? Because I don't think they could. Believe me, they'll get it. If they don't get it, believe me, it's just the better. We should have had a little... Put his uh, foot up on that thing, okay. the mic stand. Hey, Hank, is. All right. Uh, yeah. Hank, get him up there. All right, there's the foot, sir. I better see some real foot worship. How, what's going through your head? Oh, my God. I mean, what are you thinking? Dude, is it really worth it? Your wife's cute. She doesn't need... What, do you need her hotter so she'll leave you? Yeah, even I grew. All right, look at that foot. There's huge, long, green toenails. I only see one, but they're long. Oh, and I want to see every toe in your mouth. I'm not going to... No, I'm only yeah. doing one foot. You're doing one foot. That's right. Foot Hank, what are you, gay? Of course not. Of course not. All right. Here we go. You're not gay, are you, Hank? No. Okay. That's not a gay foot, is it? I don't know. Well, dude, now's your chance. If you're going to do it, I see you staring at the foot. Well, are you doing it or not? What, what, what? I just got to put the foot in my You got to kiss and suck those toes. Oh, oh, oh my God! Right. What is it, guys? Well, I, I don't know what's coming out of Hank so or from where. Oh my God! But there's some there's some really disgusting aroma that's not alcohol related at all. Right. It's like. Did you make in your pants, Hank? And tell oh, the truth. No, no. What? What? Did you make in your pants? No, no, no. Somebody said Beetlejuice is sleeping. No, Beetlejuice is awake. Don't worry about Beetlejuice. Are you passing gas, Hank? Yeah, a little. Hank, what is the smell coming out of you? From, Let me smell it. From my feet. Just let's get over this. Well, let's get. Right, here he goes. Are you smell? smell dirty. They don't smell dirty. Oh, get the microphone oh, near this guy's. Man. I don't know how you, you want to do this. All right, here we. <laughs> how long do you do this for? <laughs> Are you ready to do it? Yeah, I'm ready to do it. How long do I have to do it? You got it. I'll tell you when to stop. Go ahead. Get get them in your mouth. Get those toes in your mouth. I'm grossed out. You're crazy. No more than 30 seconds. Dude, I get a better job and pay for those breast implants. Go ahead. Here he goes. Oh! Oh! Get him in there. Get them all in. What happened? You're not going to do it? He didn't even do half a second. What happened? Oh, here he goes. Oh! 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 That's long enough. All right, that's enough. You are a trooper. Listerine or something? Listerine? You better go to a doctor. You better get your tongue cut out. You better go get some tequila. Oh, my God. Hank, how was that for you? Was that any good? Did it feel good? Of course not. Of course not. Yeah, right. It's the first time those toes have been cleaned in quite some time. At least he cleaned his feet. I have to follow him home Oh, I'm going to throw up. I am not going to follow him home. Ladies and gentlemen, you have never seen anything more vile. This whole I scene is right making me sick. Man. Yeah, I know. Well, Hank, congratulations. That's a, uh, the first gay act you've ever done, I guess. Uh, I'm not no. gay, Howard. No, no that's not gay? Man yeah. kissing your toes? No, yeah. you remember the first time I was on uh, your show? I told you I had a gay uh, experience when I was a child. Well, you were molested. Yeah, well, something that wasn't my fault. All right. All right. Hey, Howard, they said that the wife is ready to come in by herself. Oh, she is? All right. Well, let me tell you something. Oh, you must love your wife. Dr. Sal Calabro, the surgeon... We'll work on your wife now. My advice to your wife is not to go too big with those booby implants. No, I don't think she should go too big. No, she they should just not. They hang, you know? I mean... You're sick of you looking at them. I filled out. Yeah, you, you, you're tired of looking at some saggy boobs and you want to get something hot going on, right? Yeah. Your wife's a good-looking woman. Yeah, she is. She I'm just afraid you're going to get her... She was the, afraid that you were going to rip her apart. No, she's a good-looking woman, and as a matter of fact, I'm afraid for you that after going through this horrible ordeal, she's going to meet some guy because she's going to look so hot yeah, when she's done. Yeah, just imagine you no, lick no, feet no, to get her those sure. implants and she's going to leave you. Yeah, no. I mean, it's unbelievable. So, uh, congratulations... I don't know. Congratulations to you on uh, what you've just done. It, wow. it took a real man, I guess, to do something like that. Oh, what about me? You. Oh, you. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, I guess the wife's not coming in. Yeah, they they lied to me. He, she's not. All right. And uh, thank you, everybody. We must take a break. Uh, Hank, thank you. And yeah, <laughs> Hank's almost asleep. <laughs> you don't like it. You don't have to go there. <laughs> the grossest week ever. It's just <laughs> Hosted by Johnny Knoxville. Howard 100. Howard 100. Hello, this is Johnny Knoxville, and you're in the middle of Howard Stern's grossest week ever. Fantastic. Hopefully you haven't tossed your cookies yet. Now let's get back to the action. Before Stern fans across the nation were graced with the charming presence of Jeff the Vomit Guy Levy. Vomit is good. These two porn stars came in to show off their very own puking fetish. Well, maybe you like this kind of thing. Now the best compliment to any great jackass prank is getting someone to throw up at the end of it. That's when you know you've done your job. 
But not everyone in this world is okay with seeing other people hurl. In this clip, the whole staff had a hard time not puking themselves that morning. I don't know that I could do it. From 1999, here's Cream and Shell, a couple of chicks who like blowing chunks. Okay, let's meet these two women who claim that they will throw up on each other. I don't even know that I can go through with this. I know I have well, to. you've been announcing it for several weeks, and now all of a sudden you're going to get queasy? I'm getting queasy. <laughs> Baba Booey refuses to be in here. I said, you have to come in, too. What does he mean? Uh, every time there's a girl here, he wants to be No, so he's like, I'm afraid I'm going to be the guy who's going to vomit. <laughs> and Jackie's in here. He always vomits always when people vomit. Always Yeah. <sighs> now, he's got to get in here. Come on, girls. Bring him in. Oh. This is um, two I'm girls. I'm assuming it's not real throw up. <laughs> I'm hoping it's not. All right, this guy over here. Oh, here's the two girls. They're not bad looking girls either. You know, you'd figure like chicks who vomit on each other are bad looking, but they're not bad looking. And this guy over here is Toxic Johnny. Johnny Toxic. Johnny Toxic, and you're the sponsor of this? Dude, Howard, I love you. He says he's thank the you. filmmaker. Dude, thank you for bringing us on here. You're a filmmaker? Dude, I'm a filmmaker. I'm a pornographer. Really? And how do you know these two ladies, and how did you uh, come to know them? These two girls are, uh, this is Cream. Hi, Cream. Hi, how, are how are you, honey? And this is Shell. And, uh, you know, I brought, uh, I, I'm kind of like an innovator and a creator like yourself, Howard. Right. I make movies. And uh, you were the first one to... All right, well, well, shut up for a second. Uh, girls, how did you get this talent? You can vomit at will? <laughs> we drink a lot. You drink a lot. Oh, and that'll make you throw up? <laughs> Have we're you ever... sick, twisted individuals. Now, I'm looking at you. You're a very good-looking woman. Thank you, Howard. Uh, what do you wear when you get vomited on? Oh, mm, mostly naked. Yeah. Mostly naked? because yeah, you... you don't want to mess up. Last time I was too drunk to get naked. <laughs> can you wear a bikini at least? or something so that uh oh i'll get naked for you man really it's not a problem but really? you want to put it on tv <laughs> i don't even know that you put people vomiting on tv Is you know what right? i mean so maybe it doesn't make a difference they've been drinking uh, heavily howard what they've been they've drinking heavily yeah tequila. right I brought, I brought jackie I, I brought, excuse me johnny yeah, yeah, toxic i'll get to you in a minute okay so <laughs> wait, wait a minute uh, cream a says drunk. the last time that she tried to do this she was so drunk she for forgot to get naked or something what did it yeah do? i forgot to get naked i was like so drunk i was just laughing hysterically Hysterically. Cream, I gotta ask you. I mean, you're a very attractive woman. You know that, right? I mean, a lot of guys must come on to you. I'm sure, but yet you're in this business of vomiting on one. How do another. you get into this business? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> don't you sometimes say I could do better than this? You know, Howard, I've done a lot in my life, and it's all for fun. Hey, it's all for fun. You like it though? It's you all enjoy for fun. I do. You enjoy? How I many enjoy times have you done stuff. this? I just do it occasionally with Michelle when we get really drunk. Michelle, and you vomit as well. Yeah, I vomit on cream. Oh, on cream. Yeah. Once a vomit she likes once to be vomit vomited too. on. And when you get and when you, and you're vomiting your hair and stuff. No, I hope not. <laughs> Just How, on the body. Can, can, uh, can I ask cream a question? Yeah, genuine, serious question. What happened in your life that got you here? <laughs> no, right. serious. Like, yeah, you, you are get... really attractive. I don't <laughs> get it. Like, like Shell's not attractive. Really Shell's yeah, beautiful too. Strap, you grow up, you go to high school, you get out, and then how do you get from there to here? Can well, well in person? high school, I started doing private dances and oh. so you know, right. doing that. Going whoosh. <laughs> so this, I words, needed more than just you know the average life. But let me ask you something: being an attractive woman who gets nude, I'm sure you make a lot of money at strip clubs and things like that. Is that correct? It varies. Right, but I'm sure you make a good living. Is that correct? I'm not telling you. Well, I'm I'm just assuming that you do well in you life. You can. Okay. I do. You do because do. because you're an attractive woman. I Thank mean, it's you. hard to get a woman as good looking as you to take her clothes off, and yet you do it. So Actually, why do you need this added bonus of vomiting? Actually, it's not hard to get my clothes off because I'm an exhibitionist by heart. I see, but, but isn't isn't vomiting lower than porno? Isn't no. it? No, it is not. No. You know, it's all fun. Do you ever take uh, money for sex? No, you never. do not. Never. But when did she discover sure. she had this talent? Yes. How do you discover you have this talent? You go out. You drink a lot. All right. You start throwing up. And you start throwing up. Are you married at all, uh, Cream? I'm engaged. You are engaged. To Darby vomit. He's also on the video. Darby yeah. vomit. Now you guys are selling a video of people vomiting. We have what we've made, Howard. Is is uh, we brought uh, two naked girls to vomit on your radio show. You were the first to bring naked lesbians on radio. Right. We are bringing naked bisexuals to And Johnny Toxic, you are the promoter of this tape? I'm the producer, director, star, and MC Upchuck. And right. there is a, so a group of people who want to see this. Yeah, well, basically, we have brought uh, the, the vomiting fetish to adult video. Oh, wow. I didn't even know there was one. Is this dangerous at all, girls? I mean, to, to make it If you do it too legal. much. It is, right? You do it too much. We don't, we don't do it really like that. She likes to vomit too much. She likes to be vomited on. Right. What about for you? Is it dangerous? You're an attractive well, woman as well. Sometimes my throat gets a little sore, but. It does. Yeah. It's, it's wrong. It's acid. Yeah. And don't you, what do you do? You put your finger down your throat? 
Oh. Yeah, he, Howard, which do you think is stranger, the one who likes to do it or the one who likes to get it done on her? <laughs> is it, I, I can't I can't even answer that question. Yeah, so I, bizarre. Once again, I'm confused. This is beyond the beyond, Howard. We're this best is, friends. We've been best friends for 11 years. That doesn't so make it this right. Is like, this is unbelievable. This is like, yeah, so normal. Uh, Phyllis, do you have sex together or do you... Are you girls lesbians together also? Uh, I wouldn't say lesbians. Right. Phyllis, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hey, Howard, I saw somebody throwing up on uh, Jerry Springer, and I was just on TV while... I, Sitting home watching it on TV, and you're going to throw up. I am going to throw up. You're absolutely yeah, going to you know throw what? up. I hope I don't. You know what? I'll just look away if I feel like I'm going <laughs> to throw up. Howard, when we filmed the movie, we had to cut away to second cameramans because we had the cameraman throwing up. Gary, you got to sit no. here. Help me with it. Then I got to be near a bucket. You got to be near a bucket. I got to be near seriously. Yeah, no, Gary, a bucket. You have to stay. Yeah, you have to. I don't want to be alone. You got to stay. Howard, this can't be a turn on to anybody, can it? No, Jackie. No, Jackie. I'd like to say it is, and I did bring you a. Six pack, but I drank it in. Can the I be room. honest about this? I find the two of you extremely attractive. Yeah, and they're lovely and sweet. The vomiting turns me off. Yeah, really. Vomiting is sexy. Really? Yeah, she does it really sexy. Life. Well, I'm willing to be open-minded about it. <laughs> I heard they brought Jackie a trash can in case he got sick. In case of the <laughs> she likes. They are. The warm, they're carrying it in. The warm, musty feeling. Ugh, everybody, you're making me. Oh. <laughs> everybody's getting trash cans. I like this. Howard, uh, Baba Booey's got one. Jackie's be quiet, Johnny. Johnny. Matthew, go ahead. You're on the air. <laughs> Hey, Howard, what's going? What's up? Listen, I got acid reflux, and I would love to come in and throw up on these two girls. Right. Well, I don't think we're looking for guys. You can come always on. find a guy to do something. I'm, g I'm already getting queasy. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, I'm a little nervous. Well, when they started talking about how it feels and stuff, yeah. I started to get Do we want to get this over with? Oh. Hey, you hey, really Johnny, want to do this? you seem to be on top. Is there a future in diarrhea? Because I'm thinking <laughs> of <you're> getting... <laughs> The girls, you find that gross. We'll put that's, we'll put, that's, that's pushing it. We'll put really? Jackie in the diarrhea movie. All right. All right. Girls, why why vomit and not diarrhea? I mean, what what is the difference? See, diarrhea is illegal. Why not vomit? Is it Everybody really? vomits. Diarrhea is illegal. You is get, it? You get diarrhea Everybody unless you're like a, some kind of Jackie drunk out there. <laughs> is that right? Fully. It's unbelievable. Yes, Joe, you're on the air. Don't do it, man. I just threw up, I swear. You threw up just <laughs> hearing about it. Uh, <laughs> Touche. Don't oh. do it. That's disgusting. I know. I'm jagged. I'm, I just threw up on the belt parkway. Oh, let's stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> he threw up on the belt no, parkway. But you feel done, better, I'm right? Doing, I'm right. doing this for the show because I know where this is going. All hey, right. Baba Booey, I remember when you shaved your head back in the Channel 9 days and Dan Foreman told me I would never be on TV except for it wasn't the ha Howard Stern show. Yeah, and he's right. Yeah, thank <laughs> you. All right. Yeah, yeah. All right, Johnny, I'm going to ask you to quiet down now so I can talk to the girls. Girls, you are holding each other's hands. Is that correct? <laughs> yeah, we're scared. nervous. You're nervous about it? I'm a little nervous. I don't know. Uh, Robin, are we ready? Uh, we never, I, I mean, other than our own TV cameras and men, I mean, this is kind of <laughs> nervous. This is going public. They got a little nervous. I want to vomit on Johnny. That's cool. <laughs> Johnny Tarkin. Howard, if you vomit on me, I'll do it right now. Have you ever been vomited on? If you do it, we'll do it right now. But have you ever done it? Have you ever been vomited it's on? It's in the privacy of my well, own home. She threw it on him in the movie. She, she did. Oh, <laughs> and I'm you fired. said, we were listening, that you wanted us to throw up on you. That it, you know. is very no, I, 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 really, I really don't want anything to do with your throw up. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. Where's the joy? start out as like a weight control thing or something? Where's the turn on for this girl? Do you get aroused during? It? Seri I'm being serious. Be honest. Go ahead. He, I throw up. You're the one who gets thrown up on. Yeah. He's asking you if you, you get around. What kind of mood you're in? We're breaking really? new ground, Howard. They're figuring out their own curiosity as well. Johnny, why do I find you so annoying that I want to throw up? <laughs> <laughs> I love Ouch. to have you throw up on me. All right. All right. Girls, you want to do your act now? Now, are you both going to be nude during this? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Your name is Cream. And what is your name again? Shell. Shell. Shell? Like Shell's in me, Shell? Yeah. Totally. All right. So who's going to be naked for this? Both of us. Get naked now. <laughs> All right, why don't you guys get naked? Get naked Yo, now. i got to be honest. I'm excited to see this. Oh, uh, are you really? Yeah, yeah I, I, I like this. This is funny. Oh, but why, do you, why do you like it? You were nervous uh, going into this, and now you seem to like it. Look, no, it's, it's just like I don't want to get I don't get any puke on me, right. but I think it's, it's interesting. I don't think I've ever seen a girl throw up on another girl you besides like, at a, a drunken party or something like that. It's right. funny. What is it, Benji? Uh, did you want them to vomit on somebody? Oh, no. Man. Why, oh, you man. want to be vomited on? It. Well, I was wondering if, you could, if I could touch them or something like that. Oh. While they vomit on you? Get him out of here. He's not touching Get out of here. Get out of here. What's the matter with you? They're not interested in you. You're disgusting. He's more no! Spit on you, though. <laughs> Benji like wants to spit girl. on the girls. All right, let the girls... Girls, are you going to get nude now or what? Are you ready? What are we waiting for? Yeah, what sure. are we waiting for? Nice. We're live. <laughs> We're just, this is a live show. All right, Cream is taking off her shirt. Wow, nice bra. <laughs> nice body. This girl's way good looking. Oh, Where's Ralph? Morning, I thought yeah. for sure Ralph would be. Is it really there. padding? You don't have big boobs? No, I don't wow. have big boobs. Oh, they're oh those are cute. Enough. Please, those are nice. Look at Shell's oh, giant Shell's boobs. Are... All right, easy does it now. Let's let's everyone calm down. Are you going to get breast implants, Cream? 
Uh, eventually. Eventually. Don't. Eventually, only because they used don't. to naturally be big. Howard says don't. And don't. they're like small. They went small. They're beautiful. All right. If you lost part of you, you'd want it back. Cream, that's very interesting. Lose the pants. You'd want it yeah. back. Lose your pants. Let's get to the vomiting. Oh my God. Yeah, right. but you don't want them to vomit. Instead of implants, why don't you just fill them with puke? Oh. <laughs> hey. Lumps. All right, go ahead. Uh, take off your pants so we can see what you're doing underneath those pants. As you can see, Howard, she's Don't wearing so old pants. You know, she's <laughs> sponsored by some. Johnny, I'm so annoyed by you. I'm sorry. I'm like a promotion. Now, guy isn't here. she way good looking? This, this is, is too weird. This picture. This is, there's <laughs> something going on here. How do you get a girl this good looking to be vomited? Howard, about? why are you annoyed with me? I got All her to vomit. The looking ones are sick Johnny. in the head. Because Johnny, you're ruining the moment. Just quiet down. It's not about you. It's about the girls right now. Dude, I produced this movie of the yeah, girls. Yeah, who cares? Well, I'm, I'm trying to hear the girls. All right, I'm sorry. Really, mellow out. All right, come I got drunk drinking Jackie's Heineken. Yeah, I don't care. We know. All right, now, girls, are you gonna leave? You're leaving your panties on, right? Uh, just for a second, because I'm really nervous. Oh. See, she got it. She has to be totally naked, I think, for this. For the vomiting. Right. Oh, I see. Oh, wait, I don't want to miss this. You know what? Okay, we gotta work on it. All right, now, what do you have to do? What is going on? You need a you six pack. Scare yourself to death. I'm sorry. You know what it is? Johnny keeps interrupting, and I don't, and the microphone Johnny. is not in the right place. Johnny, shut up, okay? Right. We're gonna have you evicted, Johnny. Okay. All right. Turn off his mic. Okay, I just yeah. have to stick my fingers down my throat as far as I can to, like, you know, really? hit that little gag reflex oh. that makes it come out. I have, to, I have to tell you, Howard, I, I have moved to wild anticipation now. <laughs> All right, yeah. Sick. It, it, definitely I, sick. it is sick. And, and Cream, you're way. ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Uh, Cream, what are you going to do? You, Cream is I'm on all fours. She's going to throw up on me. She's going to throw up on you. So she's gotten on all fours. You she's on all fours. We're all. Four. You want to be puked on on your underwear? Your the girls, off. The girls are having a discussion about being puked in their underwear. Take them off. Yeah, honey, it's up to you. If you want to puke on your underwear. Well, I don't want to bend over in front of the camera and have a like a nice beaver show. It's not like we could show this anywhere. Yeah, yeah. We, you want you know. That's cool. Uh, I like how oh the girls God. are considered of each other. Oh, oh this is really <laughs> weird. Now, now, Cream, you are completely naked. You opted to take I off your panties. I am completely naked, nervous, and very, you, very, very nervous. Do you want to get vomit on your shoes? Yeah, get the shoes <laughs> off. Yeah. They wash well. All right. They have vomiting well, all you tried Cream, you certainly look attractive, I'll tell you that. Thank you, I'm nervous. <laughs> You're the nervous. girls are getting their He's hair beating out. me with his mic out. Why are you so nervous, Cream? You're not the one who yeah. has to throw up. You just get thrown up on. You're the recipient. The on me. Boy, what a waste of a good-looking woman. Oh, that's not that big of a waste. How old are you girls, by the way? Pretty old. Really? 25. 20, 20, for real, though. Come on, give me a real age. 25. Are you really, Cream? Yeah. What year were you born? Really? What year? Quick. 74. 84, 97. <laughs> yeah, that's right. 30. Uh, yeah. And how old is Shell? Shell, how old are you? What? 26. 26. Okay, here we go. You think that's old? Well, well everybody tells me we're old. <laughs> well, it's old for strippers, you know. No, I'm not a stripper. No, in the you're not a stripper. Vomiting girl. Oh, you don't strip for a living? No. All right, all right. Let's get this on because I, I don't even know. All right, here we go. Okay, wait. You gotta bear with me, okay? She has to work this out. All right, go ahead. Toxic Johnny is here. He brought the girls to us. Hi, Howard. All right. Toxic Johnny's not even watching. Howard, this is incredible. I can't believe you got us here. Shell is putting her hands down her throat. Stop. Wait a minute. She's. Oh. oh. Come on, vomit on her, Be quiet. <laughs> this is, they're, they're doing it. Wait a second, hold on. Vomit. <laughs> Get into it. Oh! 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 Just, oh, oh. Yeah, just Robin, dead. watch. Oh. Do the three finger technique. It's not that bad. Come on. Johnny, be quiet. What's happening, Shell? Oh, you guys are making me nervous. Right, shh, relax, <laughs> relax. Be quiet. I saw something. I saw yeah, something. That was spit. That was spit. So be quiet. Just spit. How was that, Cream? <laughs> nice and warm. Nice and warm. Okay, here we it go. It just feels like cum. All right. Well, oh. hey, hey, hey. honey, have some it class. Does. Have some class. Oh, like nobody's never had a wife. All right, easy, easy. Well, maybe right, not. Come on, we're on the radio. We're on the radio. All right, all right. There's only so much you could do. Okay. Are you okay now? All right, here yeah, she goes. Here's Shell having a little problem. She's nervous. Help us out here, Robbie. Not make her laugh. Shh, Johnny, toxic, please don't make her laugh. Shh. I don't even want to hear it. Oh. <laughs> do it. Come on. Yeah. Oh. 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 Oh.
Did she do it? <laughs> oh, she oh, sure yeah. did. Oh, she did. Oh. Oh. A lot? Oh. Look at how it stood up on that one. He couldn't even. Oh. 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 just blew him out. Oh. He doesn't even like it. Oh. That's not that. I, I'm going to toss my cookies. <laughs> Howard, this is what happened when Jackie. we made the movie. <laughs> Shut up. Jackie, how are you? Oh, yeah, better than I thought. <laughs> all right, all right. Oh. I thought she was going to be doing a lot more than that. Shell, how are you now? I'm totally fine. Yeah. What about you? What about you? What about you, Cream? I'm fine. She likes no, it. Howard, I'm fine. Oh, oh. <laughs> Yo, Howard, it's got chunks in it, all right. man. All right, all right. Oh, all right, all right. I've had enough. It's lying in the small of her back. Look. Oh. I'm at the. I'm at my. I'm at. I'm at. I'm at. I, I've seen it all now. I can retire. All right, Johnny Fox. Uh, Jerry's gonna puke. Yeah, Gary's vomiting. Get him. I told you. I told you. I told you. Don't view this movie at your own risk or while operating an automobile. Go away. Oh, oh. Gary, did you see that big pool? Somebody get her a towel. Get her a towel. Howard, this accidentally happened while we were pretty be quiet. The whole crew vomited. It got out of Please, Mark, you're on the air. Go ahead. Howard, please, you have to make them stop this. Please, I'm sitting in my office and I'm about to pass out. All right, all right, but you don't know how I feel. I, I, I couldn't imagine how you feel having oh. to watch this. And these girls are good looking. I know, but they're throwing up. How good looking Cream, can they how be do you watching them throw up? Cream, how do you feel right I now? I feel fine. It just feels like a load. Really? Yeah. A really? load? <laughs> no, really. It's warm. Honey, you're, al honey, you're a load. Now, be quiet for a second. <laughs> it's warm. Oh, that was a nice house. No, because you, you, you're killing me. i got to keep bleeping you. Go, all right. All right. Go, how okay. do we get the girls to leave? I knew it. After we vomited, we're kicked out. Someone right? bring in a towel. Someone give a towel for Baba Booey. She's going to run down her leg. Okay. 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 All right, please. She's got vomit all over Baba Booey. This show is out of hand. This is disgusting. Oh, my goodness. Oh, this is so wrong. Oh, God. Oh. Is it possible to be allergic to semen? Uh, uh, I am. <laughs> <laughs> And my hand breaks out every time, every time I jerk off into my own hand. Uh, let me tell you, you know. Makes me throw up. Uh, is it impossible to be allergic to semen? No, of course not. Some people do no. experience burning or itching upon contact with semen. So have you ever itched when a guy blows a load in your face? <laughs> I've never had a load blown in my face. Is that true? That's true. You've never had a load in your face? No. No guy ever was, like, having sex with you and then blew his load on you? No. On you, though? Uh, on me? Not my face. Is that humiliating to a woman when a guy blows his load on you? Like, is that like, you know, get your fucking load off me. No, that's not humiliating. You like it. Do you ever rub it into yourself and go, oh, this... I don't start playing around with it and making pies, no. Is it gross to you? <laughs> no, it's not when gross. When it's on you, how do you get rid of it? Like, like you just <laughs> lay there and it's on your belly? And then what do you do? Do you ask the guy for a tissue? He's so Somebody better get something to wipe it off. Hand me a tissue. <laughs> she says, Jimmy, hand me your black Sabbath shirt. <laughs> Not true. Ah. <laughs> Quarantine treats as broad. So when it's way. on you, at first it's hot and warm and you're just over the sack, so it's like it's probably hot. And then as it cools down and it's late. Who stays there until that happens? Well, if, you, if you're on your back and you don't. Like, and the guy doesn't wipe it right off you. You have no choice. You're kind of stuck there, like a turtle on its back. Well, I've been with gracious uh -huh. people, then. Uh -huh. What, they hand you a towel immediately? <laughs> I usually <laughs> squeegee it off her back. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I've never hit her in the face with it, but she had a sperm yarmulke one night. Don't ask me how that happened. Uh, <laughs> yeah, do you create, Very like, funny. a little uh, jizz reservoir in your belly button? Yeah, no, I kind of use the navel as kind of like the holding tank. No, but seriously, it's. I, I would think for a woman it's somewhat... Weird, like, like, okay, in the heat of it, okay, there's a load on you, and, and you know what? That's hot. You made your man come, <laughs> but it's almost like someone like pissing on you. I mean, you're, you're like living, leaving shit all over you. And what are you talking about? Did you ever? How? What's the longest you ever let it lay there? Like, did you ever say, "Oh, just let it be on me"? Well, last night oh, we were God. waiting for, for the Texas Let's announcement think. of whether Barack won. So, <laughs> in in early days, in the good old days when I used to have sex, right? <laughs> Go ahead. I'm curious. I really am. Uh. I, you know, you used to fight over who was going to lay in the wet spot. Right. What, what do you mean? You wanted to lay in it? No, you wanted not to lay in it. You know, it's like, you made it, you lay in it. Oh, you mean to be on the bed? Yeah. Oh, I'm going to vomit. <laughs> Ooh, poor you. Of course you're not going to lay in it. Who would lay in that? It wasn't me. Uh, you know, I, I like vomit. I like, I don't mind the... Yeah, That's so why I brought you swallow. So should a guy not come on a woman? <laughs> No, that's all right. All right, as long as it's wiped as off long rapidly. As she's, uh... But you don't want it to get cold. No, 
know, you you know, help a girl out. Mm. Yeah. All right, listen. I am going to slap it so hard tonight to Robin rubbing off jizz off her stomach. Oh, mm. stop. I love that. I find that gross. Oh, my God. Casey told me something during the commercials that Good is so luck. disturbing, I just don't know that I can what? even figure out how to tell you. He must want you he comes, to. He comes in and he says to me... He must want you to. He wants uh, you to. I just... could say it this way. Okay. Right, I'm, I'm just trying that. to clean it up for the radio. Cause what happened now? He says, I... I uh, oh, boy. He says, over vacation, I accidentally... Uh, hmm. <laughs> what? <laughs> Let out more than he bargained for. He went. He went to the. Hmm. You see, I don't know what we can say or what we can't say. I'm so confused. Did that he have an accident? He had an accident on his girlfriend. Whoops. What? He had a, that, yeah, that's how I can. That's good. He had an accident on his girlfriend. Wow. Here's what. But but not even the accident you're thinking. Oh, but really? but his intention was bad enough to be. Yeah. He goes. It was worse. He goes. I was in bed with my girlfriend, oh. and she was doing something. He goes to punish her. I was going to fart on her. And I, what were you drinking? A lot of apple juice? Yeah, well, she drank all the orange juice. Uh, so there was only apple juice in the refrigerator. So he went to, he went, and he went to fart and he ended up giving her a tan. Oh! <laughs> what, what's that look for? <laughs> what, do you what, you never did that? Oh, you're a disgusting pig. <laughs> Mr. Uh -huh. Mr. Rex never did that to you? Please. As a joke? Please. What, fart on her? Yeah, as a joke? Yeah, yeah I mean, he never missed. No. Your boyfriend farted on you? No, I'm mean, not even in bed or in, right. where were you? I was in bed. But no, he but he, I mean, he held her down. Like, where were you farting on her face? No, 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 no. That would be wrong. <laughs> where? Uh, I just kind of on her arm or something like right, that. Right. And oh, he, I thought he... And he had... Poor girl. And he lost control of his bodily function. <laughs> this poor girl. How long... What do you have to do to make her laugh? I know, that's, that's what I asked. Because that's what, you what you're trying to do. <laughs> yeah, what are you doing with me? <laughs> that's what I said. I said what She's a doing? beautiful girl, too. Well, thank you. She is. Yeah, but the, it was the weirdest thing. Like, you know, apple juice, I guess, I can't digest. You know what I mean? Uh, right. And we're not talking about a couple uh, teaspoons of mistake. Right, right. We're talking about a lot. Right. I'm talking down the left. And, and, and you... <laughs> and, and how, as I got up, as I got up from the bed... Oh. The it kind of trailed with me, so I left. Uh, I don't know if I can say I left. A, I left them a mark on the floor. You know what's so <laughs> funny? Say that. So what? I had to get down on hands and knees when I was done uh, with paper uh, towels and like uh, Windex <laughs> spraying it. Windex. And where is she? Windex. Is she running Windex. the house? <laughs> she, what you doing on a window? <laughs> she was. Uh, she was sick. She wasn't feeling well. Guys never know how to clean up too. Windex. Windex on the, on the floor. floor. Smushes it That's around. That's a glass, Casey. Yeah. Uh, you know, the funny thing, Howard, is when his, you know, his, uh, his girlfriend used to work here, right? Yeah. And, you know, she just is, was so classy yeah. and she seemed as if she wouldn't date anybody who didn't have any class, you know, right. wasn't the right kind of guy. Yet she stayed through three, four of these episodes. And I was no, 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 no. That was when he wet the bed. I'm not talking about no, wetting no, the bed. But, but I know what you're talking about. I'm talking about he had a but, real accident. But, but I'm saying that he keeps doing these things. And I was talking to somebody who was an outsider and we were just, what we were playing that game. Uh, I was playing that game with the interns. You know, who would you rather be with, this one or that one? And I said, KC or somebody, and they go, KC, he's he's gross. He does that thing, and he just he can't control himself. And why is that girl still with him? Yeah, yeah. I know. I, I, I ask the same thing sometimes. Right. Why would you try to pass wind on her arm? Because KC's good looking. But you never did that. She's into, him cause, she's into him because he looks the right part. She can't believe he's such a mess, I guess. Right. You don't you know, think I'm a nice guy? looking at him. No, you're, you're a nice guy. But with chicks, I mean, if, if, if you go to fart on a chick... And you lose control. Nobody. Is and like, no girl's gonna hang around for that. That's a first, Casey. That is Wait, a first. That it was a joke. No, no, no. I understand. understand. It's a I'm joke. Going, she, no, she no, joke. Go for on her. some level. On, so, on some level, like on the first date, you would never do that. Right. Right. I, I didn't. I didn't pass one in front of him for the first. Right. Like, couple but months. you did more than pass one. You lost control. Yeah, I did. And you were like, Have you seen a urologist? Oh, uh, urologist. You know what? You know what? <laughs> We're talking about What's a proctologist, bro. What are you thinking? Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, you don't understand. Oh, no. what you don't understand what happened. I don't know. What, no, oh, yeah. No, oh, he gosh. he went to fart and had an accident. Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I'm so caught up in the other bedwetting thing that yeah. I didn't get to the bed. Yeah. No, he had to go to a proctologist. Oh man. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. So you know what? So I went. I went. Uh, oh. Yeah. You like that, huh? 
But wait a second. Then he tried to clean it with Windex. Yeah, I was down on my hands and knees. Now, Windex. Why, why were you naked? Windex people I wasn't, didn't invent I wasn't that. Naked. Windex people didn't invent that. When he heard that cleans deep in the yeah. corners. He had his shorts on, but that didn't that didn't stop I, that didn't uh, stop the accident. I had sweatpants the... on, so I was thinking, do I keep the sweatpants or do I try all and right. wash them? Oh, right, all right. man. Oh. Throw them away. So That's no, I put I put them in a bag and uh <laughs> and I tied it up so it looked like a diaper. <laughs> And then I went down to wash, and I just what? left it down there. Oh. <laughs> you left it in the laundry room. Uh, yeah. Can you imagine living anywhere in your building. Near yeah. him? You left your your, your dirty sweatpants. <laughs> no, I, I washed it though. I, I put it in the, in the washer. Wait, wait, wait. When you put it in the washer machine, when and they pulled the wet pa- when you pulled the wet sweatpants out, <laughs> did they still stain and everything? Someone had pulled up. them. Someone, <laughs> someone had pulled them out and left them, <laughs> left them to the side. Oh. And also, there was a towel and a T-shirt in there too. So wait a second. Where are the sweatpants now? I don't know. Oh, oh, you left them down there wet. Yeah. Did, did it wash everything out? I I didn't check. Didn't I saw check. them. Hey, let me ask you a question. <laughs> Just a little com- a little common sense. Actually, you know what I did? I Why'd you bother the, washing I, them and then throw then throw them out? No, because I was gonna. This was my favorite pair of sweatpants. I really like. <laughs> <laughs> a little common sense. Because I know this. I go through this with kids. His lucky yeah. pants. I go through this with kids. Why would you take something that What's is so that has basically been ruined? And wash it with clean stuff. You put in a towel and a t-shirt. No, no, no. The t-shirt and the towel was yeah, dirty, too. Yeah, they were all, yeah, all <laughs> dirty. <laughs> I got them last time. I had, to get, I had to get in the shower, and this is the most disgusting thing. Oh. On my leg hair, there was oh. six stuff caught in my leg hair. Oh, wow. And you know what's great, st- Howard? What? Is that, you know, his girlfriend, when she was here, you know, she's she's, she's pretty hot and everything. Right. I always felt she thought that we were all disgusting and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Casey's she, disgusting. She, she thinks Casey I'm, was the, like this clean cut, you no, know, guy. No, she thinks I'm disgusting. Don't, don't, don't you worry. So, okay, so oh, while, you're, while, you're, while you're showering and yeah. putting things in a bag and everything, she's doing what? Yeah, she had to clean herself. Uh, she, I told her, I said, look, hon, just uh, do me a favor, stay in bed, will you? So, mm. just, yeah, she was sick. She had to stay in bed the yeah, whole time. Yeah, she was sick. doing all this. Yeah. <laughs> oh. She was staying in bed while he used Windex. And you know something else I found out? You know Windex is not, not used for that. No. Hey, hey, how? You know what I found out? You know you, you don't digest the mushrooms either. Uh, well, good for good for sure. That's like well, corn. Wait a minute. Didn't he say he got her uh, dirty? A little bit, yeah. Oh, hey, no, you know no, what? No, you know no. what? By the way, I read an article in Maxim. Why is it that corn? Doesn't I read that too. That, too. Yeah, that is never that? is never digested. What did they say? I forgot. Uh, me too. I just forgot. They gave the I answer. You guys I got to remember. I read it. And I thought ah, it wasn't that interesting. Yeah, it was like the body doesn't break it. Oh, it it adds fiber, but f- bulk to our movements. Right. And oh, I forgot. I I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie and tell you I remember. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was hoping somebody might have read it. I did read it, but I forgot. But but mushrooms. Uh, some of them were like half half. Uh, you know. Do not you chew up. your food? No. I guess not. What is it blew my say mind. Why is apple juice blowing you away? I don't know. Does anyone else have that what problem? Does no. Nobody has your problems. It's trust me. <laughs> wow, hey, dude. You- I mean, I don't understand something. So, like, like, let's say you had a little. But it wasn't. Like, it was a full blown out oh accident. Oh my god, dude. I mean, you, and it, <laughs> you as soon as it went out, I was like, on. as soon as it went out, I was like, oh my god. Wait, just stay there. Don't move. You're making in your pants. Oh, oh have, you, have you visited your shrink since this episode? No, I have to go tonight. I actually stopped going for a while. Are you going to tell him? I'm going to fart on him. Wait a it's, it's, it's because I, it's because I was drinking apple juice. It doesn't yeah, have why you, mental. But why are you farting on your girlfriend, man? Because it was a joke. She was like, she was hitting yeah, that's me. That's funny joke. She, she was hitting me. I don't know. She was hitting me or something like that. Chicks don't think that's funny. But I do. <laughs> His humor is for him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I crack myself up. I'll be by myself and I'll just rip one. It's funny. Yeah. I laugh. I rip one too, but. I never make it my pants. Like even sometimes, like, like maybe a little something I feel is happening down there. I quickly control yeah, but, it. So, but I didn't know. I thought you completely. You completely lost control. Oh my god! It was like a. It was a rocket. Well, was... see, that has happened. <laughs> that has happened to me, Howard. That happened really? to me here about a, about a year ago. Remember? I was oh yeah, you made it in your pants. I was buying my house, and I was I was all freaking out about uh, <laughs> mortgages and selling and buying. And I was in the bathroom. My stomach was churning. And and then I had an accident. You know, I thought I was doing one thing, and the other thing happened. <laughs> I wait. Now, what'd you do with your underwear? That's exactly what I did with it. I look. You know how I always have my gym. You know how I always have my gym bag with me. Uh-huh. Luckily, there's another pair of underwear in the gym bag. Uh-huh. So what I did is I went to the stall. I hope nobody came in and saw what I was doing because I had to take my sneakers off and everything. <laughs> and I took the underwear and I wrapped it in a bunch of paper towels and I jammed it deep into that garbage pail. Oh, oh wow! I wish we would have found it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we should have found it. Hung it right on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> That's like that movie with Michael Landon. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. Oh, man. I was so embarrassed. All right, and she, you know, she made me make one of those like New Year's revolutions. I used to have accidents when I was little. Revolutions. What is that? She made me make like one of those New Year's revolutions, like. <laughs> 
Come on. I mean to uh, Come you know, on. like He's I can't really it. do that that much anymore. A New Year's what? Uh, the the New Year's Revolution. <laughs> He's got to be kidding, right? No, he's not. Look who's he's talking. Not. He's cool. No, there's no light bulb. <laughs> oh, you know what I'm talking about. There's no light bulb. Right, the revolution. Yeah, you, know what I'm, you know what I mean. It would be so a revolution. So he made a New Year's revolution. <laughs> and, nine. Um, Number nine. Uh, so you know, you know that I'm not, not going not gonna, to you know, goof around that much anymore. You know how he knows he's not kidding about that, Howard? Mm. Cause he, get, he doesn't even know what to... He's getting the angry look. Yeah, yeah. Because he knows he did something wrong, but he doesn't know what it is. No. Come on. Spell so what do you do? So what do you do? What do you do every year? You make a what? No, I know, I know, it, I, know I, I screwed up. I, it's a, you know, it's a. What is it? Prostitution. It's a, it's a New Year's resolution. Resolution. There you go. <laughs> Come on, give a break and hit him after the sixth or seventh time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you know. <sighs> right. Wow, we <laughs> well. Let's meet the very beautiful porn star Alexis Amor. Wow! Look at the gazangas on you. Hello. Wow, how you doing, Alexis? I'm doing good, thank you. How are Marona you? Marona, me. What the heck? You got some big boobs. She's put together this one. You do Latina films, huh? Uh-huh. Yeah, I see on Time Warner, I get the... Is the... that in the exotics? <laughs> First of all, I got to yeah. tell you something. I go to watch adult videos on demand. Yes. On my cable, and I couldn't access anything. I ordered one. I ordered this one about teenage bitches. And you couldn't access them? What do you mean? Yeah, I couldn't I couldn't uh, access it. It said uh, you're not able to access. Huh? See, that was happening to what? me on demand last bitches. week. Remember I was telling you that? I'm laying there nude in my bed. You're ready. Fully aroused. <laughs> like, all I need is three seconds. Of course, I wasn't involved in this kind of thing. So I get out of bed. <laughs> And now I'm like pissed as crap because yeah, first of all, now you're gonna call somebody and scream I can't get my porn. I had a business, uh, I, I I I had a business meeting at my apartment right. till ten o'clock at night. At night. Wow. Then Beth called me. She goes, "What are you doing?" I said, um, I, "I just you know served dinner all the guys." She goes, "Did you have scores girls over there?" I go, "What?" In a business. What is she talking about? She, she, does, she knows I'm, I'm always up to shenanigans. But you have scores girls at your apartment? Never. This is news. <laughs> Never. I get accused of all kinds of crap. Don't worry, Alexis. She'll spin the wheel in a minute. Oh, God. I'm just going to tell you about porn. So Price. I said, you know what? I was going to take an Ambien to get to sleep, but I figured, you know, that uh, that's becoming a crutch already. I should just get to sleep the old you natural way. You should use your old crutch. So I said, I said to Beth, I said, I'm going to pleasure myself. She goes, you kidding me? can't believe you're going to pleasure yourself. We had sex all weekend. I go, but this is to get to sleep. Dude, not to be a bitch. What are you going to think about? Now, could Beth, I, say, could Beth say anything to you over the phone that could help you? Is she, is she going to involve you in the... Uh, uh, no, I just, I needed to, I said, I don't even need to think about anything. Uh, one or two minutes, one or two seconds with myself, and I'm done. Wow. Yeah, honey, believe me, you would never have an orgasm with me. <laughs> Damn, I was looking forward to it. When you were with those guys... I mean, they, they last for an hour. Those are a bunch of homos. They're on something. Yeah, yeah they're, they're on something. They're on homosexuality. Yeah, they're on they're on homo homo pills. Yeah, or something. I don't see how those guys hold out. Do you? I don't either. Yeah. How long do they go? Um, it's been two hours sometimes. Two hours. Doesn't oh. that make you feel like you're not even hot? Two hours. Like well, what's the matter? I choose I the guys, so it's, it gets. I know, but can it be like Chi? I'm not turning this guy on. He can hold out for two hours. Well, sometimes accidents happen. Right. Who is spit in my face? <laughs> that ain't no accident. <laughs> you know, we we sent one of our listeners to do that once, Howard, and he was finished in the first twenty seconds. I know. A movie he made. <laughs> yeah, a twenty second movie. <laughs> and then they had to wait for him to get ready again, and then they had to shoot it and like you know fl flip it around. Oh dear. Yeah. Rumballs. So, so I get into bed and I go, all right, I got my box of tissues by my bed. I'll figure, all right, let's see what's on the old on demand. Right. And they got a whole Asian section and Latin section. And I don't normally go for the Latins or the black section. They're called exotics. You know, you guys yeah. are called exotics. I didn't know that. It's kind of racist to call you exotics. Yeah. Don't you think? Yeah. What are the other people? They're just, we just people. Have sections. Yeah, it's just weird. Like, like there's a whole Puerto Rican tape. And you notice it's mostly Puerto Rican and blacks lumped together? Yeah, they right? mix them together. I don't know why. I know why. 
I don't know why. Because the guys who like blacks like Puerto Ricans. <laughs> because of the big booties. I don't know. You don't have that big a booty. Let me see. I'm Turn not Puerto Rican, though. What are you? Peruvian. Oh, Peruvian. I never Peruvians heard of that. Peruvians don't have booty? Where's that from? <laughs> Peru? Peru, yeah. That's Peru. exotic. That's exotic. Wow. Thank even... you. You wearing underpants? Yes. Let me see. You can. Those jeans are tight. Yeah, they are. And your boobs are huge. Your Where'd you get those boobs. boob job in Peru? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, that was a LA. nice. We're got a nice body. Stars. Turn around. Let me see your ass. Wow. What an ass. What an ass. Look at that ass. That's mint. <laughs> that is mint. Well, wait, wait, that, Great that, ass. Pull the pants up so quick there, uh, Peruvian. <laughs> what's your oh name? Oh, my God. I'm sorry. What's your name? <laughs> Alexis. Uh, you like sex or are you just I in, love sex. You're in it for the money? No, I love it. Really? Yes. They, they tell you to say that. No, no, I really do. I've We've been never a had a porn star come in here and say, oh, I hate it, but it's a good living. I mean, it's good money. <laughs> you but... do chicks? Yes. Oh, my God. Oh, Definitely. my God. <laughs> Sweetheart, anyone lasting two hours with you is smoking some of that gay weed. <laughs> yeah, really. Can I see your boobs? Sure. Let me see. <gasps> oh, my. Wow. <laughs> Breathtaking. You might have gone a little too big. <laughs> wow. I think I lost a lot of weight. I've been working a lot. Breathtaking. Saline silicone? Saline. Nice. I just finished. Beauty. Nice. I like them. Thank you. I like fake boobs, and I like them big like that. I'm fine. Whoa! I like them. I like them too. Is it hard to jog with those things? You get hit in the head. I don't work out. So I don't know. Really? And you got that body. <laughs> Rob's you can't work out with those. <laughs> Rob is banging her head into the wall. How did she get that body and she don't work out? You can't work out with those boobs. How could she run? I think I'll, yeah. Yes. We. Look Thank at them. You. you have to watch some Latina films. See? <laughs> Daddy. You didn't know you were like that. <laughs> so I'm laying in bed. I'm totally nude. My underpants down around my ankles. <laughs> and I'm checking myself out. And I'm ready to go. And that goddamn on-demand doesn't work. Right. gives you that message. And I pick out a movie. It takes me 10 minutes to pick out a movie. Because i got to get the right movie. Based on the descriptions. <laughs> so then I'm like, oh, thank God I have porn. But I have it in my other room. So there are no previews on uh, on demand. Porn. No, you just have to no. take the description and go with it. Yeah, yeah. stop doing that because some guys used to be able to take care of business while the preview was. <laughs> yeah, on. I can do that. I can oh, do I that too. Preview. Yeah, we used to call that beat the clock. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so I uh, I don't know. So then I ran into the other room and I grabbed the Jenna Jameson thing, but it was all artsy fartsy. I put in the DVD player. You didn't have the masseuse on tape. Your I have it on tape, but I I've seen that already. I like uh, to go with something new. So I. See. I you can't watch the same porn over and over? Nah. Not when I got so much porn, because we get porn here at the station all the time. I bet. What do you do? Are you, do you do, like, two girls and uh, you have orgy scenes and stuff? Uh, I done a couple only. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, messy do, do you have a specialty? Do I have a specialty? Um, they sound pretty good with um, pleasuring, guys. Yeah. Oral <laughs> pleasures? Yes. Yeah. You're good at that? Yeah. How do you learn something like that? You just do it naturally, or you do practice? It's, it's, it's my blood, I guess, a Latin thing, you know? A Latin thing. Yeah. It's in her blood. Yeah. Mm. Or hot. <laughs> can we give you a blood transfusion <laughs> to some other girls? <laughs> sure, you could take some. <laughs> you, got, you got some smoking body, honey. Thank you. You must videotape real well. No complaints. All right. That is about as sexy as a broad gets right there. <laughs> Want to spin the wheel of sex? I'll give you a bunch of plugs if you do. <laughs> what are those wacky tattoos? She got some tattoos on her belly. I could do without it's those. A, wait a second. Turn around to the front. It's a it's a Playboy bunny, but what is it? Oh, it says sexy underneath it. Yeah, honey, it looks like somebody scribbled on her belly. Honey, that's a little white trash. The guy that made the Playboy bunny, didn't. he's not a real artist. Yeah, no. and by the way, that tattoo on your ass is ruining perfection. You do not need that it's on your devil. ass. It's a devil. It's a devil. You got some bod on. Thank you. It's a, whoa, sick body. <laughs> Muscular pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what you see here is Wheel of Sex. When you spin it, it can land on Eat the Edible Underwear off a of high pitch. It's oh, high pitch here? Oh. Yeah, he's here, man. And bring him in. Let's see what he looks like in that edible underwear. Yeah, let's show you what you get. Who's yeah. high pitch? If you win. If you win, you get lots of plugs. Who's high pitch? Are you up for spinning the wheel? Yeah. Let I me read. Crazy about one of them. Which, <laughs> Which one, one don't you like? Um, the walking around with the dildo for an hour or something. Well, I'll read them off to you. That's you're talking favorite. about the one where you're getting bra panties and mouse ears and a dildo yeah. nose, and then you have to go out on the street and run an errand. That's hard, right? Yeah. yeah. She hasn't heard Howard's Choice. Yeah. Howard's Choice. You know what that one is? What? Baba Booey spits in your face. <laughs> what do you think of that? That's tough. And look at this. Here's high pitch in his edible oh, underwear. Oh, no. Hi. Hi. It's Kelly Clarkson. <laughs> She, she doesn't have to eat those underwear, does she? Yes, she'd have to eat his edible underwear. <laughs> That's like eight meals. Right. That's like a, a banquet. Hi. 
Hey, Daddy. Look at Hi, him. Hi, Mommy. Could, oh, wow. Do you think you could eat his edible underwear? Am I allowed to puke? You could puke. Okay. All right. <laughs> no one's going to stop. Eat. No one's going to stop. Or we hit puke. you with uh, a stocking filled with flour on your ass. That's or you have to smell Benji's ass for a minute where he sits on your head. Okay. All right. Or you can uh, ride a Ooh. naked Benji like a horse or eat a Benji pie from his buttocks. Why don't you, why don't you let Benji stand up so she can stand see Stand up, Benji, so yeah, she, she can see you. See, see that guy? Right stand, over up there. stand up, Benji. See that guy back That there? guy. You can ride him. All right. Okay. Are you ready to spin? Sure. All right. Let's see what it is. Alexis Amor. She has her eyes closed. She doesn't even want to know what she has to do. She's turning her head. Keep going. Round and round she goes where she stops. Nobody knows. And it's on Eat Edible Underwear or High Pitch Eric. Wow. Great. Who's High Pitch? <laughs> okay. All right, high pitch. Step out. Oh. Let's see you. Let's see your edible underwear. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, because the ones he's wearing couldn't be it. Take off your uh, uh, take off your boxer shorts and let's see your other edible underwear. His string broke. Can I explain? We had real edible underwear, but his body sweat. Melted oh my god! It, it melted it, so we oh, came up with uh, these are fruit roll ups. Let me see. P pull down your pants. That's a string roll. <laughs> oh no! Oh my god! Well, that's not edible underwear. <laughs> oh, yeah, you should see what it's rubbing against. It's disintegrated. The real you, know what? You, you know what? That's Don't not edible do underwear. Don't, Don't do, do it. it. I'll give you a plug anyway. Spin the wheel again. <laughs> <laughs> can I just, Howard, can I just talk a little the interface and she gets a plug? Nah. It. She, it's she, oh, my goodness. Well, this stuff was not much different than that. <laughs> Come on, eat it. It's sticking. All right, now it's sticking. Go ahead. Eat your edible underwear. Alexis, go ahead. Come on, eat it, Alexis. Oh, this poor girl. Come on, bend down. What happened? Oh, to... no, no, bend, no, no. Bend down. What happened in your life, Alexis? <laughs> bend down, Alexis. Eat the underwear. She's such a nice girl. Too bad. Can I just eat the tip? Yeah. Thank you. Eat the whole thing. <laughs> you can share with me. <laughs> Take it off. I'll share with you. On the... I'll get on my hands and knees to share with you. Oh, she's eating it. This is wild. Oh no! Oh, oh, look at that thing! Oh, yeah. oh I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> hey, there's nothing there. How did he enter the small penis contest? No, I don't He's think so. He's a winner. I am. <laughs> Alexis, you all right? That's it. It's over. Happy to take. Who's the other chick with you? Let me I'm swallow. Because I'm running out of time. Which, who's the other chick Gina with you? Lynn? Bring in Gina Lynn. Let me let me take a look at her and I'll I'll give you guys a plug. It's not Gina Lynn, Howard. It's a uh, Oh, the other girl. Yeah. I don't know who she is. You don't know? <laughs> no. She from your video company? No. Gina's oh. with me, though. She's in the green room. Oh, I see. Bring them all uh, who's, who's coming in? Hey, who's this? Hi. Hi. What's your name? Anna. Have her spin the wheel. Have her spin the wheel? Yeah. She did. Want to spin the wheel? Sure, I can do that. All right, spin the wheel. Uh, Hi. Hi. Let her suck on my toes. Oh, you. <laughs> oh, that's so gross. You're disgusting. And where it lands, no one knows. Let's see. It lands on. <gasps> smell Benji's oh! ass for a minute. You got to smell Benji's ass for a minute. Who's Benji? Benji, come on over and, and say hello to. I, I'm not gonna do it. Why? Oh, I don't feel because you'll just make fun of my ass. You'll say it smells and stuff. There's a naked picture of you on the door. You think we care? <laughs> I don't care. Come Get on, over Benji, and do it. stop being an idiot and do it. Oh, thanks. If she wants Benji. to give me like uh, do something with her hand in the green, that's cool. No, come on, Benji. <laughs> You want to do something with All right, you see his high pitch, Eric. I wanted to Eric, give you a break. Go come over here. Yeah. Go over there. And bend over. Get down on all fours. Oh, Eric. Oh. oh. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Don't take Get that. Get down on all fours. Don't take yeah. that down in front of me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's too ready to beat him. On all fours? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Pull down your underwear. Oh, my God. What are we doing? <laughs> What's your name? Fuck. Anna. Anna. Yeah. All right, Anna. There is your. Oh, there it is. For a minute. For a full minute, I'll keep time. Your nose has to be touching the cheeks. A That's full right. Minute. A full minute. You have to smell his ass. Oh. All right. The Closer. clock has started. You're not, you're not close enough. There you go. All right. Just now keep, the clock keep, has started. Keep your nose right where it is. Nose has to touch skin. Can you smell anything in there? No. High pitch. How's that feel? Her nose is cold. <laughs> Let one go, high pitch. Oh, no. <laughs> Well, you're 10 seconds into your torture. Oh. Are you holding your breath? Yes. I'm Kelly Clark. <laughs> Fire! There's a naked high pitch, and there's a beautiful young girl 
<laughs> with her nose pressed to his well, ass. Well, high presenting God. a full moon. What happened? Oh, dude, I can totally smell it. Come on. Oh, my God. It's Does he stink? Oh, completely. Wait, she moved her head. we got to start the clock oh, over again. Oh, I saw her nose <laughs> drip <laughs> away. I, I'll start it again. The clock just started again. Oh, no. Get closer. Anna? Are you touching? Anna, I'm watching you. H how's it smell? Not good. Is it really bad? I'm breathing through my mouth. <laughs> get, get your face in there, yeah, baby. Yeah, get in there. Touch yeah, I'm gonna have to stop the clock again. Go. Don't don't give up now. You've got you've oh, got 25 no, seconds on my now. Behind. <laughs> You're gonna blast one high pitch? No. <laughs> does it stink, Gary? <laughs> you, like you can't believe. Hey, Howard. Of course like, you it cannot does. believe now. I swear. Why is that surprising? It's exactly what you would imagine. When is the last time you bathed high pitch? Uh, this morning before I came. That's a lie. It's you know it. Did you make a, Did you make a duty before you no. came here? Why does it stink so bad that Gary can't even get you? And, and all the guys are saying it's bad. It's not. I just got a whiff over here. My eyes are tearing. Oh. And Doug's at the head. I know. Well, there's only five seconds left, Anna. Well, he did melt through his edible underwear. Oh. <laughs> Howard. All right, you're done. Uh, wow. That was really something. Howard. What a brave girl. I'm at the head. Did it stink? Yes. Ugh. What did it smell like? Just rotten... No. Feces. It, yeah, it was. Yeah. It was rotten, cheesy ass. Oh. Wow. I, think I used the line before. If crap could crap, that's what he smells like. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, listen, girls. Congratulations on spinning the wheel of sex. Anna, to you for uh. smelling high pitches ass for thank a minute. You. Thank you. And of course, to you, Alexis Amorex, Amore. Uh, thank you very much. No problem. And uh, thank you, High Pitch, for being a good sport. Hey, no problem, Howard. As always. The grossest week ever. Oh, my God. Hosted by Johnny Knoxville. Howard 100. Howard 101. This is Johnny Knoxville, and you're listening to Howard Stern's Grossest Week Ever. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get back to it. This truly nasty clip features two of my favorite things in the whole world. Vagina and William Shatner, but not in that order. I say he's going to end up eating dog duty. This moment was a real shocker for the captain. But you know what? Instead of me explaining it, why don't I let my pal Bill Shatner do the honors? What was going on that day, TJ? You got a girl lying down on the floor, clean-looking college girl, and she lies down, lifts up her skirt, she's smoking a cigarette, puts the cigarette in her vagina, and puffs. And had I followed my intuition then, I'd have done, uh, what's his name, the, the color. And there they're blowing smoke, and the smoke is coming. I would have done. Instead, I started laughing because it was shocking. Oh, my. Well, here it is from 1997. William Shatner in studio for a gross little game called What's My Secret? I got a great game for you now. What's that? I, I know that it somehow worked out that we had both these things booked, and you were here, and I figured you'd have fun with this. <laughs> this woman has a secret. I don't know her secret. Uh, you you kind of do. You were in the meeting the other I day. I was? Yeah, you're going to remember what it is when, when we play. All right. I brought in Elephant Boy and Colt 40 Feinberg to play with you. Okay. I, I couldn't I, find I've any real the, celebrities. I've heard their names. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you guys are going to try and guess her secret, and when you guess her secret, you're going to love this, because it's a payoff. All right, here's Colt 40 Feinberg and Elephant Boy. Okay, wait a minute. All right, that's Elephant Who's, Boy. Elephant Boy's over yeah, there. Yeah, he smells, so stay far away. <laughs> did you bathe last night? Seriously. What? You can talk. I'm talking to the yes, microphone. Uh, yes, I did. You did. Are you a Star Trek fan? Uh, yeah, 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 you know, I'm not not a rapid fan, but... He's yeah, Elephant Boy. I see it. You're not I a rapid fan? No. You mean no dash from movie to movie? <laughs> <laughs> I see all the movies... You should have put Elephant Boy further away from Shatner. Yeah. There's no way. This is Elephant Boy, and that's Colt 45? Colt 45 Berg. Do I look like an Elephant Boy? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Hell no! You look more like Elephant Boy. He's the world's greatest black comedian. Is that right? Yeah. Captain Kirk, it's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. You, you the second coolest man in the universe. Who is the coolest man in the universe? Lando Calrissian. Who, who you think? Who is that? That's the brother, you know, from Star Wars. Oh, from Star Wars. Yeah. The black guy in Star Wars. But you the coolest white man in outer space. Wow, that's very nice of you. Very nice. Yeah. And Elephant Boy, you don't watch Star Trek at all? That's fascinating. I think William Shatner would actually appreciate you. He's too busy with the wrestlers. Oh, yeah, you're into wrestling and uh, watching no, men wrestle. No, no. I'm into wrestling. Howard. You're into wrestling? Uh, you, might, you guys might want to get together and go hunting. Mr. Santa had good tests. <laughs> yes. You know what we heard about Fred? I, you know, there's yeah. all these new uh, rumors that always come out about Fred. Yeah. yeah. Um, I knew you would think. No, Elephant Boy.
Oh, it's not too no, bad. No, no, it's not too we bad. We heard uh, that you, Fred, do you go to nudist colonies? Yes, I do. <laughs> you go to a nudist oh, colony? No. Does anybody else stay? You go to nudist colonies? Yeah. Why? Uh, no, because I have I have a friend of mine who is one of the original contestants of the New Year's show. And they finally convinced me to offer this summer to try it. <laughs> <laughs> William Shatner, I don't know. What you Use no. a universal translator. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, look. But, yeah. Guys, a woman is going to come in here. She has a secret. Huh? Until you get a elephant no answer. Elephant boy has secrets. He should be playing. Yeah. The elephant boy. Uh, William Shatner wants to guess your secret. He doesn't have a secret. He's been telling us all as well, but we just don't know. Well, he's got a secret, all right. He's got a doozy. It's no use to cover up so no, no, he had a gay, he had a gay experience. That's all. One, few, yeah, no, few, 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 few. But not, oh, but not. Gay, he had a few gay experiences. Not yeah. since, you know what? Not we, since the last time I was on to show, so that's over and done with. What we found, Bill, was a phone rec a oh, recorded no, phone wait, message. Wait, wait, wait. You found a phone what? A phone message that he had made. Listen. Couple in the thirties or forties. In which the mayor is by. I am a white male, 38 years old. I am 5 foot 10, 165 pounds. I'm 12 and this is free. I don't play head games and I'm looking to have a discreet, you know, sexual encounter with a couple. The couple. If this interests you, leave a message is Bob, Bob Seward. He had, he had fellatio with a man. <laughs> Do you believe that? Do you believe this? Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He can't go hunting with you, can he? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? You were looking for a couple, right? A man and a woman, right? It was something. Right. It was something stupid I did in my past, and and I know through you. You know what would have been the perfect couple for you? Let me forget you. You know what would be a perfect couple for you? How did you get the message? Yeah, uh, we we got it. Don't ask how. <laughs> I, I thought I that want, was I want to hood, but <laughs> you know what would be the perfect couple for you? A deaf couple. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I would. Yeah. All right, Mr. Shatner. Yeah. Greatest uh, television show, uh, movies, everything, books. What an honor to have you here to play the game. All right. And uh, Alpha Boy and Colt 40 Feinberg. Fantastic. Yes. <laughs> okay. What a panel. You've never had gay sex. Have you called 40 Feinberg? Uh, hell no, man. Uh, like I said, though, but I'm bisexual. You are. You are. When I want sex, I got the bite. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, I did say. You were the greatest black comedian I've ever. Thank you very much. It's right. a pleasure to be here. That's pretty funny. And Miss Robbins, you're looking very pretty today. Well, thank you very <laughs> much. You're a fine little piece of chicken. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now let's get down to it. B Gary, bring in the woman, and she will answer your questions. When you get a no answer, I have to move along to the next contestant. Nobody needs to be blindfolded or anything. No blindfold is necessary. She's a beautiful woman, Mr. Shatner. Damn! You like her? She's fine. Right. Elephant Boy, are you attracted to her even though Very you go both cute. ways? Yeah. Very cute. No, I go one way. Are you yeah. talking about William Shatner or are you no, talking no, about no. this girl? <laughs> Does Elephant Boy get naked at these nudist colonies? Of course not. They won't allow uh, when it. When I first get, went there, it took me all but 15 minutes. <laughs> you know, he was getting a little close to me in the green room. <laughs> <laughs> the green room is so small. <laughs> no, nah, man, you made it a little smaller than it had to be. You know, yeah. it's funny. I, I, see these, me... I see these nudist magazines yeah. and these guys who get naked are not impressive. No. Oh, no. Isn't it kind of, dis kind of disgusting? Uh, it is kind of disgusting, isn't it? I mean, wh how, why would you go? I, would I go to a new disco? Of course, I have a small penis. You got a big penis, right? <laughs> what did you tell me? You told me you, about your penis. I told you about my penis. <laughs> you did, one time. Please. Are you all hung? Seriously, I am so small. You know, when I first came on and you told me that, I, I didn't am, believe you, but now I, am, I believe you. I swear I'm telling the truth. I have nothing uh, down there. I have a nubbin. How it? A nubbin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How it with your with your small size you will feel right at home because the are big people smaller than you. You know, cause are you goofing on me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, no, I'm being got serious. <laughs> oh, okay, Elvin boy. All right, listen, you are a beautiful woman. Yeah. You are. Do you know that? Oh, I can't hear it. I said you are a beautiful woman. Do you know that? Could you turn on the microphone, no, Gary? No, no, no. It's got to be on. Cause Are we going to go through this every day with this microphone? It's on. Can we use a hardwired microphone from now on? Hello? Hello. Okay. Uh, you are a beautiful woman. Thank you. Not you, elephant boy. Look at that leopard skin dress. 
Look like Wilma Flintstone. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Mr. Shatner. Yes. You I'm going to start the question. I'm going to let you ask the questions first. All right. She's got a secret. She's got a secret, and we have to find out the secret by asking yeah. a series of questions. That's right. If you get a no answer, I have to move along. Are you in the service area? What? <laughs> are you in the service area? Service area would be, service. do you serve uh, people? Waitress? Uh, are you Are you in, uh, is your job, is this somehow relate to a service area? you have area? to uh -huh. touch people, offer them a, uh, some oh. kind of service? I would say that's a no answer. Oh, no. <laughs> Go ahead, you ask another question, even though you got a no answer. Um, are you in the technology area? No. You are not. In, ask another <laughs> question, even though you got a no answer. Are you in the business area? No. She's not in any area. She's not in any area. <laughs> All right, I'm going to have to move along now. Yeah, Elephant please. Boy, go ahead. Uh, mm. Do you know her secret, Robin? I'll let you play. I'm trying to, you know, I probably it'll come to me. All if right, they so get I'm going to I'm going to exclude you. I've been told. Okay. Elephant Boy, go ahead. I doesn't fuck a member of your family. No. No. <laughs> How does she know what he said? <laughs> what? I don't know. <laughs> does this involve a member of your family? Definitely not. Definitely not. Yeah. Cole Forty Feinberg, go ahead. Are uh, you a hoe? <laughs> oh. No, I'm just saying she's a fine looking woman. Are you ain't? Are you a whore? No. No, you're yeah, not. You okay, let's, go back. For me? let's go back to William Shatner. This is ridiculous. So you don't make anything, you're not in the business area, and you don't service people of any for with anything. That's yes. That's right. Right. That's a yes. 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 <laughs> Good guess. <laughs> um are are you in uh, into athletics? Is this, this would be somewhat athletic. I would say yes. It is athletic. But is, is that misleading? That's misleading. It is uh, misleading? Yes, it I think you have to be athletic to do her talent. She has a talent. Let me tell you that. <laughs> Will she do her talent for us? Yes. Oh, Will she do her talent for Will she do her talent for us now? <laughs> she will after you guess it. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. So, uh, 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 so what you're about to do for us is not athletic. Is that correct? No. No, that is no way. Is how about mental? Is it mental? <laughs> that is. Uh, no. No, she might let's be say, mental. <laughs> but let's say because this is misleading him. It is physical. It is, is physical. It is physical. Oh, it is physical. physical. Yes. Do you contort your body in any manner? No. Mm, well, no. I think that's true. I would say that's a. You're, you're not standing in a normal, regular position, are you? No. Nah. So you okay, so she stands in a different position that's physically, right, that's and right. she's going to do it for us here. Let's put it this way. When you see what she does, she'll probably be the future Mrs. X. Shatner. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Um, <laughs> let's move on to Elephant Boy. You've got about 50 no answers. Go, Go ahead, Elephant Boy. Yes. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Go you, ahead. We're running out of time. Uh, so do you perform a physical activity onto yourself? <laughs> yes, she performs a physical activity on herself. I got it. What I is it so. called? Well, wait a second. It. Elephant Boy yeah, is going to now. Right. Wait. Right. Elephant Boy has a guess. Uh, do you perform uh, oral services on yourself? Huh? No. Excuse no. Do you perform oral <laughs> services on yourself? Oh, no. 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 Very Stop. pretty girl, I must say. <laughs> Cold 45 mm. verse? That's what I was going to guess. Yeah. Really? That's you going to do the all on Well, I'm going to flip over all the cards. Uh, you three are obviously uh, miserable at this game. Yeah, it's real. We're, we're getting close. You're not really doing that good. We're going to get it. You're not getting it. This woman. What is your first name? Jennifer. Jennifer. Uh, with this kind of talent, I want to give out your last name. Do you want your last name? Oh, no. Let's out you. What do you do for a living, by the way? Um, I'm a student. Okay. This woman can smoke a cigarette oh, my with her private parts yeah. Damn! And, and inhale <laughs> no way and blow smoke out no way <laughs> would you please show us jennifer do you have any uh are you able to show us now oh sure this is it i'm going to show it to you now do you want to see this mr shatner what is got her? to is see, she in gotta college? see it take a break Oh, they have to set No, up. I'm not sitting in Matt and relighting. You're just yeah. going to have to go with this. I am, I am on a very tight really? schedule today. You are. You know, Mr. Mr. Shatner has got things to do. i got a plane to catch. you got a plane to catch. You might want to catch a plane after this. How would you rate you on a tight schedule? Because uh, Pamela Lee is listening to all of this in the green That's room. right. Oh That's God. what I'm saying. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Come, come, come. William Shatner, once again, is this lower than the homo room? <laughs> the homo room. <laughs> That was pretty, pretty bad. bad. That was pretty bad. I Last can tell you the number of people come up and talk to me about that. Yes, you guys set up. Yeah, go ahead. It's been rebroadcast several times. Yes, it has. The Homer Room. William oh, Shatner. William Shatner in the Homer Room is a Stern Show classic. Now, wait a second. I don't want to miss this. <laughs> Bill, lying down there. what are you doing? You're you have to lie down and do this? Uh -huh. 
Oh my God! I got to see this. I, I have now, to stand up. What does she smoke? What brand? What brand is that? Do you know? Well, I can't hear her. Yeah, we got to put on her microphone. I cannot hear her. Nothing changed. All right, go ahead. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Now tell me, what brand is this, please? Marble Reds. And are you a smoker uh, normally? Uh huh. You are. Yeah. And is, is there any chance of vaginal cancer I, from this? I don't. I. What? I called uh, my gynecologist. Don't scare her. <laughs> you called your gynecologist and you told her you do this? Uh-huh. And she what did no she say? She had no idea, but she said probably not. Probably not. She said she's never heard of anything like that, though. William Shatner, all the wild parties you've been to at the Playboy Mansion this and stuff. This takes the cake. <laughs> this takes the cake. <laughs> Go ahead. this as uh, satisfying as smoking a cigarette with your mouth? Um, I think it's, yeah. And you do inhale? Uh-huh. And you blow the smoke out. Uh-huh. Can you do that with a crack pipe, too? <laughs> <laughs> Cole 40 Feinberg wants to know, can you do it with a crack pipe? I haven't tried it, but I'm sure I could. All right. And how did she discover that she could do this? Why? Did, how did you learn? How did you learn of this talent? Um, I had a boyfriend with a small penis who couldn't last that long, so... I see. All right. I had well, to find here's... better things to do. This is insane. No, no. There's just one of the two. Uh, you, you satisfy only one of the two qualifications. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. This is um, a very beautiful woman. I'm not kidding. Are you shocked that she's this good looking and does this? I haven't seen her do it yet. All right, here we go. Please do it. You are nude. Oh, my right, goodness. The cigarette is lit. Oh my <laughs> the cigarette is Watch lit. Watch closely. Do you see it? Yes. Oh, my God. The cigarette just... You see it wow. Wow. Yeah. Oh, oh, please. I, that was unbelievable. So unbelievable. Not only did she inhale. Is that your boyfriend over there? Yeah. Do you really have a small penis? No, it wasn't me. It was her ex-boyfriend. Oh, her ex-boyfriend. Let me just say something. <laughs> William Shatner, give me your comments, please. What did you just say? You saw the smoke inhaled. I I absolutely am flabbergasted. <laughs> you are. And my, any word that I might have to describe what that was would be inadequate. <laughs> Who wants the cigarette now? William Shatner? Oh, dang it. Smoke. You do not smoke, do you? Yeah, no. No. Uh, smoke uh, a cotton of those. <laughs> really? <laughs> no, bring it over here. I eat the whole thing. Really? Uh, 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 elephant boy, what do you think of this? I am a, I am a breast. You are a breast? <laughs> no, in, impressed. You are impressed. Yeah. I got to tell you something. How's this is amazing. Done? Did you see it, Robin? Were you I able? I couldn't see a thing. But I take your word for it. Oh my God! You you should do it again and let Robin walk over here. It's just amazing. Oh, no. Really, get back down on your back, Robin. You got to see it. You got to see well, this. Somebody flick her ashes before she burns. No, no, let her burn herself. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing funnier than that. William Shatner, you want to see it one last time? I, 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 do. I, I do. I would like to breathe the secondhand smoke. <laughs> you would. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here she goes again. Shh. Robin, watch it. Watch the cigarette light up. Look at that. Just like when someone inhales, and there it goes. It all comes out. Look at that. Robin, what do you think of that? What do you think of that? I, I, I can't imagine that they could actually draw in on a cigarette. Could you get cancer from that, that William Shatner? Well, no, you, you can. can't. You can't. I, 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 can. I know all. Of course you can. Yes, you cannot get. You can't get lung no, cancer. No, no, no. You have no. to be. You can't get lung <laughs> cancer. <laughs> but surely you can get cancer from that. No way. Yes, Why? You, you get can. it from chewing tobacco. Yeah, right. but uh, but the uh, but there's a, a constant. Uh, uh, How do you know of, what her of, habit is? How many packs do you smoke a day like that? <laughs> <laughs> What you cough? <laughs> uh, I don't even want to know what comes out. William Shatner, I got to tell you something. It's uh, unbelievable. Uh, thank you for being here again. Thank you. We had a lot of fun. Yeah, great. I next love that next time you come in, we're going to have more fun. Good. Look at the precision. All right. We got we got a lot to get to. We have a huge agenda. Uh, first up, uh, the moment we've been waiting for. Uh, Siobhan might finally get his dream. Uh, John's here. They say this guy reeks of pot because uh, you would, too. If you yeah, had... of course. I'm surprised it's not heroin. Let's bring in John and let's bring in Siobhan and let's find out how this is all going to go down. I believe the actual act will go down at Siobhan's apartment where they'll call in to us because we can't have actual <laughs> effing right here in the studio at Sirius. There's Siobhan looking all dolled up for his date. Oh, my God. <laughs> wearing a little mini outfit. <laughs> you know, somehow it all goes terribly wrong. <laughs> you are vile. <laughs> From head to toe. <laughs> you really are, Siobhan. No offense. I wore white. What? Hey, go ahead, Siobhan. You can talk. Oh, you can hear me? Yeah. I, I wore white for the occasion this time. Yeah, you're wearing all white with a special pretty jacket. <laughs> oh, pretty jacket. <laughs> my spring flowery jacket. 
Yes. And my gaudy tattoos and my <laughs> my pink panties. <laughs> <laughs> which are she's crawling up my the ass. She's panties out of her ass. Yeah, get the panties out of here. That's because he's a man. <laughs> you know, if you had to mess with yourself, you'd be sort of like, you know, a not-so-bad-looking 50-year-old guy. You know, yeah. like... Me. Oh, he was a good-looking guy. Yeah. No, I was a lousy guy. I wasn't a guy. That was the whole problem. I, I just couldn't couldn't like th it was so wrong just tell basically. me you're happy now <laughs> i am actually <laughs> yay <laughs> if he had hair every would... time i sit down and pee i'm delighted are really? you are you bald exactly. underneath that babushka no it's some of it grew back not all of it hold on grew back so you went bald before oh oh, oh put the wig back on oh. whatever that is oh i'll oh, put that schmata back on your head <laughs> oh, the oh earrings are hitting the mic yeah i, I know, know. A, it's a mess Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Howard, that's good. The, the yeah, earrings what? are hitting the mic. My balls are hitting my headphones. <laughs> yes, How's this guy outside feel? He's about to fuck Roy Scheider. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I could say something We're going to need a bigger boat. The, guy, the guy's in the green room. <laughs> Bring like, him in. His hands are shaking. The sweat. We got, if we, get, oh we don't God. get him in soon, he may run. Right, get him in here quick. He's a junkie. That's why he's shaking. <laughs> you don't know that he's a junkie. Well, is this the same guy? Yeah, there he is. He's a nice looking guy. Oh, There's John. Yeah. John, go ahead. Uh, let, let John sit down next to Siobhan. Oh, a little God. bit of a baby face. Yeah. Hey, John. All right, John. How are you? Oh, John, God. Whoa, We're those microphones. <laughs> those headphones with those microphones are just killing us. Yeah. Hey, how you doing there, John? How's it going? All right, Johnny. Are you high? Uh, no. You're not. You, no. you, didn't, you don't smell from you pot. You didn't smoke enough to get high. Your clothes no. smell from yeah. pot. Why is that? Why do your clothes smell from I pot? I smoke in my room. Oh, you smoke pot in your room. Yeah. Oh, I thought he was wearing that hemp clothing. No. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, Siobhan, uh, whoops, John just got a look at Siobhan. <laughs> Siobhan, what do you think of John? Well, he's not bad looking, but, like, are you really, like, on methadone? Yeah. For real? Yeah, I wasn't lying. Oh, my God. Look, so, he's shaking. Yeah, that's really disturbing because... How come, <laughs> shaking my head. How come you're... Uh, hey, Siobhan, speaking of disturbing... Do you want an oxycodone? No, I wouldn't feel it on the methadone. Oh my God, he's well, he's really bad. <laughs> <laughs> who do you think we were gonna get? Who do you think's worse? I mean, look. You expect Siobhan. George Clooney to walk through yeah. the door, John? <laughs> Siobhan, he's a nice looking guy. Oh yeah. I mean, he's yeah. not a bad looking guy. Yeah. And uh, no, but I'm just, just worried about diseases and stuff. Dude, were you shooting been, heroin? Like, yeah. You were yeah, shooting it. See, yeah. it's like Ooh. that's terrifying. Do you have you any know? diseases? No. Well, when you did need... you get tested? Yeah, the methadone program makes you get. What, tested. Ab what about like herpes and no. warts no. and? Look, uh, you need a daredevil to go in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you need evil can evil. <laughs> well, well, here's, what about, oh, what about Hep C? Did you get any yeah. of that? No, no. I just tested uh, two weeks ago for that. Right. Hep C, B. Really. And when was the last time you shot up? Uh, a year ago. Okay. Did you ever used to share needles with people? No. Never. Doesn't make sense. I mean, CVS is open almost 24 hours, and, and you could always get them. Get a needle, yeah. Doesn't really make sense. So, where do you work? Uh, with my grandpa's company. What do they do? Uh, exterminating. <laughs> yeah, they kill Jews. <laughs> <laughs> we exterminate the Jews. <laughs> oh, my God. Siobhan, let me be honest with you. Uh, yes, John is on methadone. Yes, John's had a drug history. Yes, he's an exterminator. Yes, he's an exterminator. <laughs> but he is a man with a penis and somehow is willing to take your virginity, as you put it. Uh, you have a, vag a fake vagina. It's made out of ball skin. The clitoris is made out of the head of your penis. The, you know, the pickings are slim, my friend. Well, well, wait, here's the situation here. I have no problem You're attracting men. You're a 50-year-old man. No, really, I have no problem attracting men. The problem is my, my past history. So what I'm looking for is someone who can accept my past history so I don't have what to walk around What is your past history? Lying. A man. Oh, yeah. man. Oh. oh, you mean people are buying that you were always a woman? Of course. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Is that true, Siobhan? That, uh, yeah. I, of course, I, yes. I just got, I just got, like Pay no said, attention to the bird bath between my legs. So, some guy <laughs> well, hit stand on up me. And, <laughs> stand up and show John your outfit oh, so he no. can see yeah, how pretty you Yeah, maybe he'll get hot. And I think John would yeah. rather fuck Fred. <laughs> John, what do you think of I'd Siobhan? I'd like to fuck Fred. John, now that you're seeing Siobhan up close, what do you think? He's wearing his... Show him your panties. Yeah, there you go. What do you think, John? He's back on heroin. <laughs>
I don't know what to say. <laughs> Not for nothing, Shabai. If someone told me they fucked you, my first question would be, are you a drug addict? <laughs> <laughs> John, now you're looking at her, uh, him, whatever. Do you, do you think you can go through with this? It's going to be hard. It is. I can't lie, but... You you think, you think, but you're willing to try? I'm down here. I'm not going to, you know, come down here just to lie, you know? Come on, yeah. you can do it! Let's <laughs> <laughs> uh, do it! Do you want it? Siobhan, maybe you should show him your ass. Let him see that so right. he knows what he's going in for. Oh, my God, that's oh, bad. How about the roids? It's so bad. Oh, stop! Oh, I, I blew a no. hemorrhoid last oh. night. Show him your ass. Blood Let him like see a it. stuck pig. <laughs> What do you think oh, of that? Oh, it's not bad. Hey, you, stop it. Wait, wait, don't spread it. Over. That's not girly. Spreading like a girl What do you think of that, John? Uh, I don't know what to say. Do you want to see the vagina where you'd be going? I've seen it. You have? Where have yeah, you seen where? it? Howard TV. Oh, Howard well, TV. Well, you didn't yeah. get to see it close. Oh, Show it to him. Get Show it to him, Siobhan. Indeed. Look. Wow. That's horrible. <laughs> have you ever seen a real one? Hello, uh, John. Maybe that's where we're How coming from here. <laughs> All right, stop doing Hello, a, John. Stop doing a vagina puppet show. She's doing Hello. everything a girl would do, eh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, such a girl. But uh, well, what she, about the breast? You want him to see the breast? Yeah, show him the tick, because that looks the most <laughs> like. I mean, the, that's the closest thing to a girl you got going. Look at the horrible tattoos on Shimon. This should close the deal. <laughs> oh, what do you think God. of that boob look, there, John? Look, it's there's, not a, that bad. there's a third one right that's there. That's weird. Hmm. Uh, it's weird, right? Yeah. It's a dude with tits. That's the least weird thing about it. <laughs> John, when, John, when your parents uh, were taken to the methadone clinic and they said, how could this get any worse? <laughs> just did. Yeah. Siobhan, what Do are your the... parents know about this? No way. So, so, wouldn't you want to be my boyfriend? Like, what would you do if we were walking down the street together and a bunch of thugs decided to attack us with baseball? <laughs> He'd say, any of you guys got heroin? <laughs> <laughs> John, can you ever imagine being a boyfriend of Siobhan, or is this strictly sexual? Yeah, I mean, I, I can... Because uh, I can get one-night stands. That's the whole pro It's I, I want more than a one-night stand here. Well, how about if he bangs you? She can you? get one-night stands, but she never took one. Yeah. No, I, I did before the surgery, actually. But, of course, I couldn't go down there because I didn't have the surgery yet. Now, John, you understand that... Uh, his, the tip of his penis is now called a clitoris. It's sewn on down there. And then you got ball skin yeah. down there that's made into a vagina. Well, penis skin. It's, and all, it the same, it's all the same stuff. It's like when, when you're... Right, that you have, John. <laughs> <laughs> you have balls, so do I. Yeah. Everybody's female in the womb at first. <laughs> Rob in Chicago, you're on the phone. Hi. John. Take the small pocket amount of dignity that you have left and leave us. You will be an outcast <laughs> in the Howard subculture, but you will at least leave with your dignity, man. Hey, don't talk this guy out of it. Let's try it at least. John, John, are you willing to give it a shot? I, I said I would, and All I right. just didn't, uh, you know. Now, how do you see this going? I mean, you're going to just do it, or are you going to, like, Take give it her a kiss? foreplay? Oh, man, there's got to be the whole deal. Foreplay, kissing, snuggling. Dinner, dancing, Definitely you want some breakfast sweet talk? afterward. Absolutely. John, how much, this, how much of a commitment can you... I mean, I understand Siobhan wants some love in this. Yeah, yeah. I want a boyfriend. I, I, I Like yeah, I, I mean, said... I'm not willing to be a boyfriend. Well, he's hey, he's hey, not going to be a for boyfriend. The, for today, can't you pretend for a little while? Make right. her think she's going to have a boyfriend? Hey, Siobhan, <laughs> honestly, you want to get laid, this guy's going to give it a shot. Whether he can get it up or not for you, it's you know he's sweating like a banshee over there. I can't. I've never seen anybody go through this. Yeah, I mean, this guy's nervous. I don't blame him. Man. You gotta, you gotta well, look see, at you from from the outside looking in, dude. You're not an attractive woman. The thing is, a guy hit on me last yeah. week. And what gave happened? me his card, wants me to call him. Yeah. But he doesn't know that I had the surgery and everything. He knows. Now here, he knows. A man or a but woman? he's gonna go run away. He's not After running he away. Has sex Siobhan, with me. give him some good sex. Yeah, maybe he'll stay. Maybe he'll come back for more. I Every guess, girl goes through that. I guess we could try it. You want to try, John? Yeah. All right. How old are you? 22. All right. You want to start with holding Siobhan's hand right now and see how that feels? Oh. Go ahead. Give it a shot. Oh, really? Give it, hold his oh, hand. Come on. You got you to oh, get man, into it. You're freezing. Uh, you're I'm holding. Nervous. How come, how come <laughs> your hand's so cold? <laughs> oh, I'm going to throw up just from that. John, how does that feel with him holding your hand like that? Uh, kind of like man hands. Yeah, right. He's got bigger hands than you, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, they're rougher than mine. <laughs>
Oh, the cats. Oh, the kitties. Oh. Wow, you guys have. Uh, yes, yeah, Siobhan, your hands a little bit bigger. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, how tall are you, John? Five nine. Yeah, Siobhan's six footer. Wow. <laughs> you like the tall girls? <laughs> now you guys have been holding hands. How'd that feel, John? You want to you want to stroke Siobhan's <laughs> cock? No, I mean, oh. whatever that is. <laughs> John John feels like oh, he, he missed the 130 milligrams of methadone. Yeah. You, uh, you want to stroke his? My dose. Can you stroke his cheek at least? Give him a stroke so that you. I mean, you're gonna have to work into oh. this. I'm trying to help you. Yeah, I mean, could you put your arm around her? <laughs> put your you arm know, around. You know, cuddle up to her on <laughs> the couch there. Oh. Come on, honey. Come yeah, on. I can't cuddle. You can't Come cuddle. On. You've got to try. <laughs> Come on. You got He's got oh, more hair on his head than I do. He sure does. And you're the girl. Well, that's exciting. <laughs> like, John, you've never had a gay feeling in your life, have no, you? No, I haven't. He's trying to pretend she's a girl. I can't even believe I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> you're the one who called us. I know, I did. Yes. You know what's so cool? Like, he won't even look at her. Oh, he just yeah. looks straight over to the distance. <laughs> well, look at him. I He's can't blame him. He's trying to imagine a girl. Like John's a deer the way in the headlights. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, just scoot over there and put your arm around Javon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't scoot any further. Uh, you have to scoot. I can't scoot. Yeah, scoot. My can't balls either. are caught in the couch. <laughs> <laughs> John. 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 Yeah. yeah. I mean, you can't even look at him, can you? Over here. Um, Every time you look at him, you look away. <laughs> yeah, put take, your arm take around Take your jacket it. off. No, I don't feel like it. No, that's his look, man. <laughs> I'm not sure. taking anything off. In case he has to run out the door, he wants <laughs> a jacket on. <laughs> now, Siobhan, what do you got, varicose veins on those legs? Is yeah, that you, yeah, a few of them. Oh, jeez. A few spider veins. <laughs> oh! Well, you know, they can't take care of everything. <laughs> No, yeah, they could take care of that. I don't know. Oh, no, but you did, you know, they had See, that's the other thing. See, I need a guy who can afford to get me more plastic surgery. Uh, yeah, well, there's not enough money in the world to get you the plastic surgery <laughs> you need. He's laughing. Yeah, John's laughing. John's on methadone. <laughs> Why don't so, you move your leg away? Don't you like me rubbing it? Oh, why did I? No. You don't like when he no, rubs your leg? I mean, it's all right. I feel bad. I don't want to hurt your feelings. Lead me on. <laughs> why don't why don't we do this? I'll hold the microphone and Siobhan can give John a lap dance. Oh, oh. sure. Oh. Oh. John's oh, like, can God. I get more oh. methadone? <laughs> John, you want to grab her teddy? Go ahead. Is it okay, Siobhan? He, yeah, if he's nice, no, be nice. nice. <laughs> How's that? How'd that feel? I guess not bad. That was Siobhan, pull up your top so we can touch it. No. I mean let's work oh, into yeah. this. Come on. All right, go ahead. You can touch it. It's okay. Oh, my God. Go ahead, man. Good luck. <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> there that there is it is. Kind of looks like a woman's boob. Yeah, it's, it's the closest you know. thing you're going to get to what a woman's like. Let's see. How do you feel? <laughs> you just gave a, what do you think of the boob? It's not that bad. Not that bad, no. yeah. Huh. You want to kiss it? I wish I was, no. <laughs> you better get into it. Yeah, how are you going to do this? How you going to bang him? You can't do, you know, close I mean, your well, eyes. I just, you know, foreplay, I don't really want to, you know. You don't want to get into foreplay. There has yeah. to be foreplay, oh, otherwise fuck it's you, not Siobhan. sex. You can't determine what it is. Johnny, yes, you can determine he's gonna, what he's it gonna is. Draw, he's going to pile drive you. Johnny, oh you a guy that's gotten late? Have you gotten late a lot, John? Yeah, actually I have. Really? No, yeah. well, maybe about 12 No, times. I believe he's gotten late. How he's many times? He's a good looking guy. 12 times ain't bad. Yeah, 11 times. When did you lose your virginity? Uh, 14. Not and it's bad. only been 12 times since then? Yeah. Wow. Wow. It's a little over once a year, Rob. <laughs> Do you have a girlfriend now? No. No, right now. My life kind of got fucked up, you know. You're kidding. The whole heroin yeah. thing. Yeah, heroin. <laughs> yeah. How long were you too. on? You got arrested? Yeah. What'd you get arrested for? I, I sold drugs to an undercover cop. Mm. Oh, you didn't oh, well, that's wrong. Bummer. You shouldn't do that. Uh, how long did you spend in jail? Well, uh, I got bail. They gave me a half a million dollar bail, and, uh... <laughs> After three months, I got to reduce to ten grand. My dad bailed me out, and then uh, I got to go to court. It's still going on. Oh, you're still years. going through this? So I'm out on bail. Yeah, two and a half years. Wow. So it kind of fucked my whole life up. If yeah. you go to jail, Siobhan might be the best looking girl well, you see there. Yeah. <laughs> You'll be thinking about Siobhan inside. Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe this will turn things around once you bang Siobhan. Yeah, maybe yeah. you'll get good luck preparation. Something. Well, Siobhan, are you ready to give that uh, fake vag of yours a tryout? I mean, John <laughs> says he'll do it. Oh, All right. We fake go vag. For it. All right, you're going to go back to the apartment? Where's your apartment? Oh, they'll drive you down. We, there. We'll get you there. Don't we'll, worry. We'll there. We're we're taking it out of your hands. She's got to live. Do anything else. She's got to live within seconds of heroin dealers too. Be careful, man. <laughs> now, John, if at any time you got to run out of the room, you just do it and get it. Get, get well, the hell out. Listen, listen if, I don't want to. If you don't really want to do it, I don't want you to do it. No, I'm not going to come down here and then just not do it. Oh, I mean, right. you don't wow. have to do it. 
I know, but this is big build up. I'll, I'll feel like an idiot if I don't. You might feel like an idiot if you do. Well, we <laughs> Actually, don't know I'd that yet. I feel like yet. a bigger idiot if I did, but. All right. I don't know. My advice is to run now, but there might be something, <laughs> there might be some sort of attraction here. Who knows? I mean, if, no. You'll give it a shot. So. Yeah. And if they wind up getting married. <laughs> <laughs> No, I don't think so. I could definitely point you to good NA meetings in the neighborhood. Siobhan, the uh, exterminating heiress. So are you two, are you two kids going to go back to Siobhan's place and then call me up? Yeah, yeah, I got some like wild caddies in there too. So I hope I hope you're prepared for that. And they yeah. were totally trashing the place this morning. They know something's up, and some of them are really jealous too. And you have to be really nice to them. Okay. Hey, John, I know you're not a real talkative guy, but if if by chance you do get it up and you do go in for this, when you're on the phone with me, can you be very descriptive and tell me what you're doing? Yeah, yeah, I will. Yeah, maybe that'll help you. Hey, I... can you guys provide a I'm cell phone? Because uh, my, mine's one of those batteries. Oh, okay, good. He's got a cell phone. Yeah, my mine sometimes wears out. You got a rubber with you? No. I got Ooh. plenty. I need like three. Yeah, I got, uh, I got, uh, <laughs> I got the way here. One to choke himself with. <laughs> yeah, one to put over his I mouth. Have Actually, one to tie condom. himself off when he relapses. Well, wear lots of rubber, you guys. Siobhan, I know you're worried about disease, and i got to figure John's worried about it. i got some it. in there. i got a female condom that I'm going to put on, Well, too. you're not a female. Yeah. A Who's female, that for? That's for me. I stick that up my cooter. Yeah. And then he can put on a condom. You don't have a we'll, cooter. We'll I stick it up squirt my cooter. Squirt a lot of lube up there. Oh. I even have a dental dam if you want to eat me out. It tastes like you strawberry. You need Hoover Dam. <laughs> Hoover <laughs> Dam? You think you're going to be able to eat them out? I don't think so. No, yeah, it's a strawberry-flavored latex thing. You wouldn't even touch me. You think you'll be able to blow, Siobhan? <laughs> <laughs> Did you eat today? Maybe you're hungry. and you'll go for the, the roast? <laughs> <laughs> he wants I'm to not... go to the roast. No, That's you're going to the roast. Oh, yeah. you'll, you'll be roasted, I'm sure. I mean, uh, you, you've you earned a seat if you, uh, you know. Give it your best shot, all right? Yeah, I will. All right, you two kids go off. I'm going to... We'll I'm see gonna... how it works. In all fact, right. we might sit you in here for a week. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm here. Uh, okay, here's where we're at. John is on the bed laying next to Siobhan. He's got his uh, pecker in his hand. Siobhan is touching the penis, trying to get it aroused. They're naked? We, uh, he has his pants down to where his penis is out. All right. Uh, he's laying on a blanket covered in fur. Let me talk to him. Let me talk to the, uh, the to John. And his penis is getting smaller by the second. Hold right, on, let me talk to John. Let me ask him what the problem is. Hello? John, what seems to be turning you off the most? I mean, there's a cat jumping on me right now <laughs> with one ear trying to lick my penis. And, I mean, you, you don't understand the situation. I just laid on the bed, and the smell is so horrible that... Oh. I'm choking. I can't imagine. So even before you get past the fact that Siobhan's really a man, yeah. you got to deal with the cats and the smell of and the I'm urine. I'm laying on the bed right now. I'm trying everything I can. It's out. I mean, I put a lube on it. I'm rubbing it. I right. Mean, Is he helping you it. at all? What? Is he helping you at all with it? Yeah, she rubbed it. And how'd that go down? Not good. I, it's getting smaller. It really uh, is getting small. It's like when you get out of the pool and like you get cold water on it. Let like, me talk to Siobhan. Maybe I can give you an assist right, here. Hold on. Okay. I mean, I'll try to stick it in soft, so at least I, right. I uh, you know, say I tried. You know? All right. Let me let me talk to Siobhan. Maybe there's a development here I can Howard, help. Howard, his Siobhan. penis, when I touch it, it actually shrinks into his body cavity. Can I say something, Siobhan? I mean, you're supposed, you know, you're a big homo, and you, you you're a man. I'm not a homo. I'm a girl. All right, whatever. You seem to you, you should know your way around a man's wiener and how to. Well, I don't. I don't understand guys any more than any you other. You don't know how to touch guys. a wiener. You had one. You had. Yeah, you must know. Yeah, but I wasn't really connected to it. Oh. I dissociated from it. You got kids. That was her doing. All right, look. <laughs> oh. Get this guy going, and let's get this thing on the road. I, I, Howard, I tried. I hand the phone back to this dude. I touched his penis with the softest, gentlest touch I could. All right, let me talk to him because I'm going to throw up. Smaller. Let me talk. Right. Let me talk. Let me talk to him. See if Shirley can right. get him hard. Talk to Howard. Hello. All right. Here's yeah. what I think you got to do. Yeah. I think you got to try something while you're soft. Maybe you'll grow. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I I was gonna do that, so at least I could say. All right, tell him you're gonna I, I do did that. It, you know, tell him you're gonna do that. 
All right, so I'm going to try to stick it in. Uh, oh, God. How's that going to work? Why? What's the difference? All right, tell Siobhan to shut up and let you do it. I can't keep a condom on it if it's soft like that. So I'll just have to shove it in. I mean, what am I going to do? I'm not going to do you bear back. I thought you had on a... Oh, I'm going to have the condom on. It'll, I'll have to just... It, it, I'll just have to shove it in. It's not going to go in unless it's soft. No, I can push it in just one. No, it's not going in. It's All right. Not hard. Put the phone. Put him on the phone. Hold on. All right. Yeah, eat me out. Oh. Tell him to eat me out. Oh. Siobhan, that's more than any man could handle. Uh, Literally, it's Siobhan, so small. He couldn't get it in. Siobhan, let Siobhan. him try. Let him. Maybe if he rubs against it, something will happen. Give him a chance. No, no I'm not doing bear back. Not bear with the rubber on. I thought you had you a female condom. The on. It's too small, Howard. No, he can put it over it. He can. Be, it's like a, a like a beanie. No, it's not working. I'm telling you, I have this vibrator in me, and it's doing fine. I don't know why he can't just look at me using the vibrator and get off like any normal guy does. <laughs> There's nothing normal about no. this situation. You're a man with a mangina. No, I'm a girl with a vagina. Let him get on top of you and rub against you with a rubber he on. Wants porn? I'm giving him porn right now. Did you? No, did you take? Not, a, did you take? Not a, touching me with an uncovered penis. No, I, cover it up. He can't get the. Condom I'm a man. I could do that. Oh. You can put a rubber over it. No, it doesn't. It falls off. <laughs> not if he holds it. Hold it on with my hand. That's too awkward. That's not going to Oh, work. you're such a, you're such a girl. <laughs> she wants it all. No. Perhaps it, it'll it's be easy. Come on. What, what, how, why, why wouldn't I want it to be hard? I mean, what woman would fucking try to have sex with a guy with uh, his penis literally sh sh goes the opposite A desperate man without a, right. yeah, I mean, come on. You got to help this guy out. Touch it anymore. He's going to have a vagina. All right. Well, it doesn't seem to be going well, Robin. Do you have no, any suggestions? I, I don't know what else to say. No. We uh, need a man who is into me. Tell Shuli. Just trying to do it to get on the show. We need a man who really wants to have sex with me. Well, that's impossible. <laughs> yeah. No, it's not. I, I'm sure. Oh, Siobhan, take a look in the mirror. What? Who listens. I'm okay. sure that there's okay. going to be one guy out there with the balls big enough to do this. Like me. <laughs> what is he, Gary? <laughs> Jessica Hahn's on the phone. She's on line 19. She's ah. willing to talk dirty to the guy to help him get ah. erect. All right, that's good. Here we go. Hey, hold on. Hello? Hey, dude. And there's this weird thing under it, too. It looks like a, like an Audi belly. I, I can't explain it. That's a hemorrhoid? Oh, my God. There's this, like, shriveled up, like, round ball of, like, something under it that is just the most terrifying thing I've ever seen. What is that thing? That's I don't know. I, I, I don't think it's a hemorrhoid. It looks like a shriveled up balloon. Like That's his clitoris. Oh, stop it. No, it's under it. Oh, it's and is it out it. of his ass? What? Is it coming out of his ass? I, I can't explain to you what it is. Do you guys see that? Yeah, That's see. why I took my balls. Oh, what is that? Oh, it looks like, it's Frankenstein. Oh, my God. What is it? They say it looks like somebody shoved popcorn I've in there. I have ever seen in my life. It looks like popcorn, like red popcorn. Coming out of his vag? No. Under it. Like, right under <laughs> it. There's this big thing. I can't explain it. You, they see it. They have it on camera. It, Ask Shuley like, what it is. She's got a medical where background. Where the would be. And it's this ball that looks uh. shriveled up and red. It looks like popcorn that's red. No, I can't explain it. That's a hemorrhoid? Oh, my God. You have no clue what this looks like. <laughs> Wait, you're, I you're swear to God. Me. I mean, I try, I sat on the bed. Hold I on. I think we could get you aroused. Jessica Hahn's going to step in here. She's a real woman. She could do it. Right, so maybe I can go out of the room and talk to her and then come back in. Oh, hold on. Just close your eyes and listen to Jessica and you'll get aroused. Hold on a second. Here. All right. Hold I on. got, oh, I have a All right. Jessica, are oh. you there? Yeah, I'm right here. All right, all right, we need your help real bad. Okay. All right, help John, this guy. are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, John, you have to tell everybody to be really quiet for like a second. Uh, I know I had to leave the room. Oh, all right. Do you want me to help you? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Yeah, you okay. can try to help me. All right, now, just where are you? In another place. I'm in, I'm in the um, toilet room. Okay, here we go. Listen, close your eyes. Okay. And just do, take a really deep breath and just <laughs> imagine we're laying down, okay? And just... Feel I'm naked. I have just high heels on. I'm really soft. I have my, I'm all silky. My boobs are soft. My hair is long. And I, I'm kissing your belly. And I'm going down toward 
your penis, and I'm kissing all around your balls real lightly. There you go. And I'm stroking the shaft, and I'm kissing the tippy tip of your penis, and I'm circling the top with my tongue, and I go slipping down with my tongue to your balls. All right, I'm almost there. Just <laughs> kissing and just softly, softly feeling my way around with my tongue all around your balls from one Ball. side to the other, sliding my tongue back up to your belly, making big circles going down your thighs all across. Don't go too crazy. He's going to blow his load. Okay. Are you, are you ready there, brother? No, uh, not really. Uh, right, keep How going, are you so. doing? Anything? Done. Tell, tell me what's going on here. I mean, now get out there and fuck cats, that guy. There's cats swinging from ropes from the ceiling. <laughs> and you have like, your eyes. You have to close your eyes, honey. There's what do you cats mean? with one ears, and I mean, it's oh. the most disgusting thing you've ever seen. T Jessica, describe that you have no popcorn-sized hemorrhoids. Oh, right. I'm so <laughs> fun. I have no popcorn in my butt. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Sweetie, that's a hemorrhoid, by the way. It is? Is it? Yeah. I've never it's seen a hemorrhoid before. It's irritated is what it is, probably. Yeah, but you don't understand. Like, it looks like literally a big piece of popcorn that's Well, she's right. obviously been touching it or something. Yeah, he's playing oh with my it. God. Yeah, but listen, you have to close your eyes and pretend you're not even there. No. I can't. The smell is so horrible. Like, believe me, I, I sat on the bed. All right, listen, yeah. listen. I, you know, hey, Jessica, thank you. I'm going to yeah. bail out of this because it's just it's just not going well. All but right, thank you, darling. Okay, baby. All right, she's such I a good I told you I'll but then, like, semi hard. I mean, you know. Are I you semi? Well, she won't do. go for that. I, I don't know why. Put the phone back with Siobhan. Let me let me try one last. I time. mean, I'm willing to stick my penis in there. I, I mean, understand. What else could I do? Right. <laughs> there are cats hanging off ropes. I swear to God, Julie was just taping. There's, there's like a jungle gym. <laughs> hold on, hold on. If you're gonna cut off your cock, wouldn't you cut off your hemorrhoids too? Really? Hello. Yeah. Hi. What's going on? If you're cutting off your dick, why don't you have the doctor slice off a few of those roids while you're at it? I, I thought he was going to, but these are new ones. But anyway, I shoved it back in. I took oh. some lube on it and shoved it all the way back oh. in, so it's not there anymore. Well, this is not going well. Can you let him? He says he's a little bit chubbed up from Jessica's call. Can you just let him lay on top of you and, then, and like, hold the rubber on him? And, and, you know what I mean? Like, like he can hold it on with one hand and like, like rub up against you. Maybe. Howard, I, I, I really don't think it's going to work because literally, the, the just touching it, 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 it literally goes backwards. It, right, it's well, like it's, it's a it's washout. Like, it's a washout, Rob. I had a feeling it would be. I knew it. I knew he was too gross I've to be. I've never banged. seen a penis go backwards before. Well, we've never seen anything like you before. <laughs> No, really. Work. I've been in bed with guys, and they got uh, they got erect. I gave them blowjobs, and this was even before. All right, maybe I could motivate him. I'll try a little tough love. Get, put him back on the phone. All right. Yeah, come here. I'll, I'll motivate him. Watch All right. this. Hello. Listen, John. Yeah. You just go fuck that. All right. I'm sick and tired of beating around the bush here. I mean, get your dick so hard and get in there and fuck that thing. No Artie Rose oh, for you. No, get get over there and do it now. So I just was laying on her bed, letting her jerk me. I off. don't care. Well, stop, stop. Wow, wow, wow. You used to be a man. Just get in there and fuck him. Wow, they want me to fuck a guy. Wow. <laughs> you go fuck him and fuck him now. Come on. I mean, I'll, I'll try. I get in you. there. Go in now. I mean, go right over there and do it. What did I do than that? <laughs> I mean, if it's not. Stop being I'll a fag. Yeah, come on, dude. Stop ruining our fun. <laughs> Fuck the guy with the hemorrhoids and the cats. Yeah, we're having trouble getting out of this. It's not that I don't want to do it. I'm trying. You see me? I've been jerking off for 20 minutes. I, it's not, not working. So I told you I'll stick it in. I've never been so disgusted with a guest. I've never heard anything like that. It's not going to get any bigger. It's trying to lay on me. Well, I mean, I told you I'll Just stick it in. Touch alone sends it running. All right. I love how Javon's mad at him. All no. right, no, no, John. You're very brave. I mean, I was on her bed, like... You're very... I, 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 I don't know what else to say. <laughs> All right, John, you tried. Sheesh. I mean, what else could I do? I mean... All right. I, 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 Are you I mean, still I letting him into the RD roast? What? I guess. Just I can't believe it. Like, what should I do? I mean, I'll, should I let her... I mean, I don't know... Free the cats! <laughs> what? I said free those cats. At yeah, least do that. They're you guys see this out. on tape. You will have... You will understand. When you see that hemorrhoid... That's under there. It, it is the most... She shoved that hemorrhoid back She in. shoved it back in, so oh. I guess that should make me feel That's better. a real lady. I mean, it was the size of a popcorn. Hold on. I think Bob Levy's going to talk you through this. Hold on. <laughs> hey, this guy, Bob Levy will know what to do. 
Hey, Bob. Let me just shove it in. Soft. Hey, John, John, stop being a fucking baby and fuck the dude, okay? You want to come to the roast? Just fuck his dick cunt right now. I'm Stick done. it in there. Put it in his dick cunt right now. Do it. I told her I would. You want to come to the roast? She's not letting me stick it in. Put it I in there. I told my fault that it's not getting up, but I'll stick it in. It'll go why don't in. You, why don't you fuck the cat with one ear then? <laughs> <laughs> right, Bob. Bob, you're, you're not getting anywhere. I mean, what it's do you hard, want to do? I'll, I'll stick my penis in, in her penis. I mean, <laughs> what else can I do? All right, well, it's... Hey, Howard? Yeah. You sort of stepped on him when he, uh, when he was talking, but John did say he was willing to let Siobhan blow him. I'll do anything. I mean, I don't want to be a disappointment. I'm here. I'm, I'm rubbing my penis out in front of the cameras. I mean, she touched it. If she, if whatever you want me to do, I'll, I mean, you know, uh, I'm trying. <laughs> well, that would be a start. I mean, I'll let Siobhan blow me. I mean, I don't want to be a disappointment. Well, uh, you know what? Look, it, it's a train wreck. What if I lick it once? Oh. 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 I don't even know if I could do that. Dude, then we don't want you in the road. So. <laughs> don't make offers like that. All right, listen. What let's, if, let's what if I just licked it once? No. Three. Three times. Three times. All right. <laughs> I mean, is that good enough? Oh, God. Wait, well, let's see. Either that or cut <laughs> one of your hands <laughs> off. Mm. All right. All right. Uh, I don't know. I, I'm going to call this an official <laughs> abortion. <laughs> I'm, I'm willing to lick it. I mean, what are you saying? Oh. I mean, I'm. No, no, I'm saying, I don't oh. think it's going to get you aroused. Well, I'm not saying it'll get me aroused, but I'm just saying, I mean... I know, you're trying. Well, I, I don't hold it against yeah, we're, you. We're really after helping Siobhan lose her virginity. Yeah, if you lick oh. her, the world may end. I mean, I don't think anybody's ever licked it. John, you tried your best. All right. All right, just like Siobhan's penis, this segment is mangled. <laughs> it's not, it's I mean, not... when you guys see it on camera... All know. right, you gave it a shot. Mm. I think you were sincere. I know you're trying. And uh, you can ask them. You see it. I mean, uh, right. they better touch me. I mean, I will stick Look, it in Look, right we now. know it's a horror story. All right. Listen, we got it. You'll be at the, you know, We'll let you into the Artie Roast. You tried your best. I, I understand. Yeah. All right. All right. Okay. If you can convince her to let me stick it in, I will. Dude, put the phone one more time. <laughs> All right. I mean, I, I All will. Right, let, me, let, me, let me talk to Siobhan. Siobhan, can you just let me just stick it in once? Yeah. Can you? I got I got the okay. No, they don't want me to do that. No, Can you just no. let me stick it in once? I'm gonna have to put it on. Oh, hold on a sec. Just okay. please convince her. All right, let me let me speak to her. <laughs> Hello. Uh, Siobhan, I want to hear my assessment of this. The guy is making a sincere effort. Now, huh? the guy's making a sincere effort to bang you. It's hard. You got to understand. His, his dick doesn't want to. All his right. penis does not want to. But listen to, to me. Listen to me. You're, Howard, you're making the guy feel bad. And they have always gotten hard with me, and it's like. And this is before surgery, too. And his penis, literally, his penis. He may want to do it, but his penis doesn't want right, to do it. listen to me. What he thinks he needs from you, he's going to hold the rubber on and rub up against you. All right, I've got some dental dams, so he can do that. All right, All right go ahead. <laughs> All right, we're going to try one last time. All right, this is one last try, Robin. Oh? Go ahead. He's going to let you rub up, but hold your rubber on. All right. All right. We don't want any. <laughs> well, no accidents. Want any accidents? No babies for him. Right. So am I eating her out or am I? Oh, <laughs> no. He doesn't do know that. what he's doing. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> Just rub up against her. She's gonna let you do it. He's gonna let All you right. do it. Let me get a. Oh my god. <laughs> that thing did not get shoved in far enough. <laughs> What happened now? I think the popcorn I'm telling just you, popped. there's something hanging out that looks like... Why does she keep spreading it. like that? I've never seen hemorrhoids, so I guess that's what a hemorrhoid looks like. Yeah. But, he, I mean, well, he pushes too hard. It was after the baby, yeah. Mm. Oh, my God. <laughs> you should put one of the cats on that hemorrhoid. Oh. <laughs> all, right, all right, go ahead and get on top of him, and let, let's get this going. All right, I'm going to stick it in. Go ahead. There's some dental bands or something going on. <laughs> Dental. Just ignore everything. <laughs> Just ignore everything and do what you can. <laughs> All right, I'm going down. I'm gonna try to get in. Uh oh. Jeez. Why is she yelling at? Can you sit on me? Yeah. All right. Uh. <laughs> I'm gonna sit on the chair. All right. Someone's fucking. All right. So I'm dropping my pants. Yeah. I'm dropping my pants and she's gonna sit on me. All right. Ooh. 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 I have to move the cats. <laughs> move the cats. <laughs> All right, get get on the bed.
Alright, um... Take your fucking... Oh, stop it! Give me a break! Just sit on me! He's trying tough love. Oh, I guess. Oh my god, she's on top of me. His penis oh is god. not even touching She just me. straddled me. His penis... <laughs> where, where Everything with her is, oh my god. Oh my god. His penis doesn't even... So just jump it in really quick, and then that's it. <laughs> Howard... Yeah. His penis doesn't even reach my All right, I'm right. oh, just straddling You can him. shove it in. Stop trying to fucking... He's not... Take your hand and shove it in. It's not big enough. It's like, honest to God, Howard, his penis has shrunk to a half inch in fear. Well, his <laughs> penis his <laughs> penis has got, got a bigger brain than him. His, <laughs> his penis knows what's wrong. He's got a survival I mechanism. know. I'm telling him. His All right. It wasn't meant to be. All right. Get off his lap and let's let's end this charade. Oh, my goodness. we got to find a guy who wants to do it. All right. We, like, we try. We this thought he could do it. This guy said he was gonna do it. Yeah, it, it, this is... he couldn't do it. Now you guys said that you would help find a guy who right, would do it. If he well, it was, oh, was a first attempt. There, huh? This was an attempt. What am I gonna do? All right. Well, we got to find a guy who wants right. to do it. Let me talk to him. Let me talk to John. Thank you, Siobhan. Hello. All right, John. It ain't gonna happen. Well, Don't feel bad. Me. Don't worry about it. You can come to the Artie roast. Okay. Yeah, it turns out you're heterosexual. Turns out you're normal. <laughs> yeah. All right, but it was touching, so I mean. All right. No, it wasn't. Oh, dear. Oh. No, it wasn't. My balls knocked it out of the way. <laughs> All right. Thank you, John. All right. I'm sorry. Right, don't be. Don't. Don't apologize. It's perfectly normal. <laughs> well, Artie, that was a failure, Robin. Yeah. Oh. We tried. Uh, you know, it's uh, much to our chagrin. He's normal. <laughs> <laughs> the grossest week ever. <laughs> <laughs> Hosted by Johnny Knoxville. Howard 100. Howard 101. You know, we never did that thing where we were going to call uh, Jackie's mom and find out if she had anal sex. No, we have not. Yeah. Do you want to do it right now? I do. I do want to call your mom. Jeez, I want to call all the moms. What do you mean she's not awake? How do you, you know say she's that not every awake? Day. How am I ever going to call your mom? She wakes up at 8.30. What do you, you mean? You know? Do, yeah. If I rang the phone there, she wouldn't wake up? I don't think she's... She gets up and then she sits by... She sits in a chair. That's what she does. What does your mom do? She wakes up and sits she's, by a chair? She's, she's in her bed and the phone isn't there. Right. You want to try it? Try it. Yeah. Give me the number. Write it down. Let's call Fred's mom. Let's all call right. your mom. Would your, no. mom's, your mom... You think your mom had anal How sex? How would I know? Uh, first of all, no, I don't think she had anal sex. But I certainly don't know when she gets up. <laughs> Who cares? Let's wake him up. <laughs> What about your mom, Fred? Do you think your mom had anal sex? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. What I mean, is this like, kick you're on anyway? I just want to know. Call your mother first. We asked my mother. She wouldn't say anything. She wouldn't answer. So you think That's that maybe yes. means she did? I say she didn't. <laughs> <laughs> my mother doesn't even want relations with my father. She told me so. Stop it. She did. Oh. She said to me that she would prefer to be celibate. She did not. But she's a married woman and knows what her obligations are. That's a sad thing for your husband, yep. your father to hear. Yeah. Turn on. <laughs> I'd <laughs> rather you didn't, but since yeah. you're going to force me. But she didn't always have that opinion, right? I mean, that was... I believe she did. <laughs> like, even so what do you think on? this is about your father? He's probably lousy in the sack. <laughs> I don't. I don't imagine any of the stern men are good in the sack. <laughs> I want to do it, but she doesn't want to do it. I can't imagine my father's a real romantic. <laughs> Although I got to admit, my father's pretty well hung. He likes to dance, so he must be a good mover. Yeah, you should see him dance. <laughs> Robbie the Robot dances. Oh. <laughs> they got more rhythm. Right. Oh. He does like to dance. <laughs> Lightfoot, I call him. <laughs> Parishnikov. Did you ever see Parishnikov. them kiss? Huh? Turn. Yeah, they used to kiss like once in a while. My dad would get romantic and like grab my mom and kiss her in the kitchen, and it was just always so hideous. <laughs> Did they know you were what? Yeah, like, and I would just go, ugh. I think it turned them ah. on. Like, I don't think they kissed like that in private. Oh, they did it to yeah. get a rise oh, out of you. Like, at least they had a third person watching. <laughs> Made it exciting. Yeah, I swear to God, because then I would get upset. I didn't want my mom being kissed. Ah. <laughs> yeah. I didn't want my mom being kissed by anybody. You know how kids are. Yeah, you are were in love there. with her. Yeah, I was in love with my mom. You know, I was a little boy. <laughs> I'd be like, "Stop it, you beast! Get away from her!" Yeah, Leave her alone. I don't want to think of her as sexual. <laughs> I don't want to think of my dad as sexual, quite frankly. Why is that? I don't know. It's just, ugh. <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> Look at you. We're you getting sick. If, if your mom and dad are Pamela Lee and you know Tommy Lee, then you go, "Well, I understand them being sexual. <laughs> they have a reason. <laughs> they have a reason to be sexual." <laughs> Nobody wants to see those two. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I have to be subjected to it. 
I never kiss my wife in front of the kids. Oh, you do. I know how I felt. Once in a while. Very rarely. If they ask us to. They go, hey, let's see you guys kiss. I go, all right. I mean, I don't have to put on a show for my kids. But it would be nice if spontaneously you were an affectionate person. No, I'm not. Oh. I'm not. I'm not spontaneous that way. <laughs> I was that spontaneous. Would help your children. Although I was spontaneous during the breast exam. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I can't explain that. Very All of a sudden, yeah. you became very affectionate. Right. <laughs> She's somebody's mom. You got to be cool. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, whose phone number do I got? Let's call somebody's mother. So I just want my mother to be awake so she can respond. Oh, so, don't worry about it. Okay. Give me your number. Get, Fred, give me your number. I'll call your mom. He's too. afraid Fred's... that his mother won't make a good showing. All right. Yeah. I, she's old, man. Give her a break. She's and not like that old. mothers aren't. Jackie's always with my mom's old. How old is she? A hundred. <laughs> <laughs> That's old. Well, then she's old. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> anyway. You got to be careful not to dial on the air because... Our then fans they'll get the number. Oh, yeah. don't do that. Yeah, we've been there. Then our fans call them. We're crazy. What's your mom's name? Dot. Dot. Dotty. Dot. Yeah, Dorothy. Dot. I've talked to her a couple of times, not on the air. I talked to her once off the air. You've actually talked to her? Yeah. Well, that time we were over at Jackie's house, we spoke to her. I remember her sitting in the chair. That's all. Yeah, but that's all she does is sit in the chair, and she stares at the TV waiting yeah. to see Jackie. Jackie's going to be on sometime, so I'm going to sit here until he comes on. Yeah. No such thing as a watch or, or a tel television schedule. There was a whole big party going on. She just sat there in the lawn chair. In With her hands folded. Yeah. And we just said, why don't you come join the party? No, Jackie will be on TV today, and I don't want to miss it. <laughs> Jackie's coming on. She might be on the can, huh? Yeah. yeah. So it's I'll keep ringing. It's a Martling tradition. All Martlings go to the can first thing. <laughs> what about your mom? You ever think your mom would answer that question, Fred? She could. You know, I have no idea if she. Let's play that. how well you know your mom. Would your mom it, even answer that question? She would probably go, "Oh, you know, why would you ask such a thing?" I think your mom would answer it. What do you think of that? No, she probably wouldn't. She would say no. I'm wondering if she even. You knows know your mom's phone number? Is. Yeah, really. Yeah, I know it. All right, give it to Jackie. Let him. Uh, but I'm not sure about know? the area code because I always have to keep calling information to get the area code because they changed it in the state. Really? It used to be one area code, which was 203, and I think if They've anybody broken it up. Yeah, it's like is and it, you don't know the new area code? I, I always have to dial information to get the new area code. Oh, so there is Probably a new area code. Probably if you dial the old one, they'll give you. The it code. might trip over. Yeah, oh. but this is a number. I didn't know it'd be that complicated. With Fred, everything's complicated. <laughs> yeah. I didn't change the really is. number. Your mom's name is Val? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Dot and Val. There you go. Val. <laughs> Val Norris. There you go. Oh. Hello? Hey, Mrs. Uh, Martling, Dot. Yes. It's Howard Stern. We're on the radio. <coughs> Good morning. I'm with Jackie. I'm whatever. What were you on the can? No, I was in bed asleep. Oh, did I wake you? I told him not to wake you. Oh, shut up, Jackie. <laughs> How are you? I'm okay, thanks. Your ja Jackie told me not to call you because uh, you're too old to be called. I go, she's That's not, not that old. She sounds very good. You're, you're, you're completely... I said it was too early. I didn't say she was too old. No. Oh. How are you feeling? Good? Yes, I do. All right. Can I ask you a question? Sure. I don't want you to get upset. All right. All right. It's a sex question. All right. All right. So I'm going to ask you a sex question. All right. And I know some people of your generation sometimes will get, you know, crazy from sex questions, but you're kind of loose, you know what I mean? Oh, well, you had Jackie. You had Jackie. You must be loose. <laughs> right. Because we always tell the story on the air, even when Jackie... Remember when Jackie was uh, drinking in the front seat of the car? Yes. And he poured the urine accidentally on you? Yes. Yeah, see? So you're loose. You're what I call a loose mom. Yes. You know, you go with the flow. Yes. I like that. Whatever the flow is. And Jackie always tells a story. One time when your husband was alive, God rest his soul, he was drunk, and then he um, he accidentally went to the bathroom in his dresser drawer. Yes. Yes. So See, that is true. That is, She's of course, just saying true. yes to everything. <laughs> yeah. So did you have anal sex? Yes. <laughs> right. Anyway, so here's the question, okay? Yes. Uh, uh, yes. Did you ever have anal sex? What kind? Anal. I don't believe so. <laughs> now, you would remember if you did. <laughs> That's something you'll forget. So you didn't have it, right? A positive. What? What? No, no, no. Never. Okay. See? So she answered the question right what away. What about the other? What other kind? Oral. Oh. oh. Oral sex? No, 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 no. Never did that? No, no, no. Wow, people of that generation they didn't do, believe in do that. that. Didn't do right? That. People in your generation thought that was dirty, right? Oh, yes. That's wow. What father, that's what my father drank. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really, Dot? Right? No kidding. Right. 
Is that something Nothing you... Nothing but missionary. Because what, you would have felt that that was wrong? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Uh, like against the church or something? Yes. Wow. See, then I learned something. Now, Ma, you answered honestly? Why would she lie? Go ahead, Jackie. I guess because she's not, you know, she's not a real religious person. It, it wasn't a church thing. It's it's just something you didn't do in those days, right, Mom? Right, right. You think wow. Janet did, her sister? No, 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 no. No. You think so? No. Nobody did it. Can you imagine? I, maybe my mom Nobody never did it. it. I'm sure your mom did. never did it. Dot, you never met my mom, right? No, no. Uh, I wonder if you could size her up for me. <laughs> I got a feeling my mom never did that. I know she never. You're kidding me, Dot. I figured you were a swinger. I thought you were a player. No, 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 no. Wow, you don't... I'm standing up and I shouldn't be. You are standing up? Yeah. Well, you should be sitting down for this. <laughs> no, no, no. Where are you? I thought you were sitting in your chair, Mom. No. You're not sitting in your chair? No. You want to sit down in your chair? Yes. Go ahead. She can't do that and be on the phone. Oh, you can't be on the no, phone? I can't do that because... If I sit down, I can't get up. Oh, you're kidding? No. So don't sit down. Why would you want to not get up? I can't sit down because I can't get up. Really? Right. Who I can do most everything, but I can't get up out of a chair. So who helps you? Anybody that's here. Really? Yeah. Jackie, would you go home and help your mom out of the chair? No, the, the good lady isn't there yet. Oh, oh, there's a lady. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. You ought to move in with Jackie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Jackie's face. <laughs> yeah, you know you, you don't want to move in with him, do you? No, 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 no. No, no. all right, all right, all right. So thanks for answering our question. You're telling me you, you so no oral sex with your husband, right? Just the straight missionary, right? You were on your back, he was on top, right? That was it, right? All those years, all those years, all those babies, and you never got on top. No, no. Wow. Wow. Thank you. Welcome. Bye, bye. It was not the time that people thought, you, thought about having fun with sex. No wonder your she dad. She probably would have been a lot of friskier if she was sitting yeah. down and she was more comfortable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but she's but, being but honest. But she was, well, she was absolutely being honest. Wow. Being very, yeah. Isn't that weird, man? I thought your mom was a player. But this is the 40s, not even the 50s. She's you think getting, she hasn't had sex since the 40s? No, no, no I'm no, saying no, the 40s is when she then. was, you know. Yeah. When do you think she stopped having sex? I think, um... Your mom's I think, cool, it, I think it became like a year. I think it became like a yearly event or something. She had her last kid oh, when yeah. she was oh, like really? forty-one, I think. Wow! No wonder your dad died an unhappy man. He didn't die an unhappy. He sure did. He wasn't thrilled about his cancer, but he was right. <laughs> he decided to. Jeez. No, he was not happy when he died. <laughs> that was not a guy having a party. No, he wasn't dancing though. He was drinking way too much. He right? hadn't drank for. 15 years. Is that right? Yeah. yeah, but he had done a lot of drinking up until then. Oh, sure. Right. He was pretty much pickled <laughs> by the <time>. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't drink the last 15 years because he couldn't. Well, if yeah. he that's right. If he the wanted, to, yeah, if he wanted to last the last 15 years. Yeah, right. Yeah. Wow. But, you know, when she was dating and wild, it was wild. the 40s, you know. And yeah. wild I'm saying, was just putting out it all, probably. Right. Yeah, I'm sure. Wild was just like maybe letting a guy feel over your sweater. Yeah. You know, guys took her flying in planes and stuff like that. Really? Yeah. You know, yeah. open air wow. cockpits and stuff. You'd think you'd have to <laughs> do Jackie, something. Jackie, last night Jackie sends me a picture of his mom, uh -huh. you know, and he goes, does she look like she would have anal sex? <laughs> oh. I didn't know if you got that. <laughs> yeah, I got that. <laughs> that was the funniest thing. No, but if I said, I should have, I should have also sent you one when she was young. She was beautiful. I'm really sure of it. Who could tell you? Once you get old, that's it. <laughs> you know, you can't, you know, all old people look the same. I know. Yeah. I wonder what old people have done that. You no, know, here's a woman who preserved her seat and yet she can't get out of the chair. You know, you would, that's not fair. You think she, yeah. she didn't do anything back there. She should deserve to be able to get yeah, out. Yeah, maybe not you right. ought to use it. <laughs> then you'll be able to get out of the chair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Robin <laughs> jumps right up. <laughs> <laughs> Knows how to respond quickly. Uh, yeah, she's a different generation, that Robin. Right. <laughs> Wow. So Let's what do you think? You think none of the mothers did oral? or I'm wondering if Gary's, my mom ever did how old's, oral. How old's Gary's mother? She's got to be a lot younger. Than my her. mom's, uh, well, she's over 70. Let's call your mom. She, All right. I guarantee What do you think, did. Gary? Did she? I think no on both counts. Really? I think she's religious. Yeah, I really do. But I have to think that. She's my mom. <laughs> Give me the number. I'll call her. Doesn't she have, like, statues and stuff? Oh, she has religious statues in her yeah, bedroom. Forget yeah, it. What are you thinking? Forget she it. did it with the statues? Ain't nothing. Before. Well, that before. I think other. she cut a hole in the sheet. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, not that this has anything to do with my mom, but some of the best sex I ever had was with religious girls. Really? Yeah. yeah well, I yeah, did yeah. A, a devout Catholic girl, and she was wild. Yeah. But... 
I don't know. Your mom? Nah. I don't think so, huh? I don't even know if your mom will be able to answer the questions. Jackie's mom's right out with it. Oh, yeah. She just wants to sit down. She don't care what it is. Just get her off the phone. Can I go to my chair? But it's now? probably a lot easier to answer those questions if the answer's no, too. Yeah. Well, who knows? Why? Not for you. I mean, a 77-year-old woman, yeah, I love it in the seat. My old man gave it to me every night. Please. What's the big deal? What's Gary's mom's first name? I should just call her Mrs. Delabati. That's what we always call her. Oh, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Little phone survey this morning with the moms on the show. The oral surprised me. Yeah. You thought your mom had done that? Yeah, no I, way. Hello? Yeah. Oh, Mrs. Delabate. Yeah. It's Howard Stern. We're on the radio. Ellie. Oh, Ellie. Hi. hi, Ellie. How are you? Are you sleeping? No, I'm oh. up now. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> now you're up. Oh, you were, I, I think I woke you, didn't I? <laughs> yeah. That's oh, right. I'm sorry. We just wanted to talk to you. We're calling all the moms from the show. Yeah. All right. Can I ask you sex questions? Sex questions? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Go ahead. See? Okay. All right. We're I having to learn about sex sometime, don't you think? Well, <laughs> listen, all of the women, all the moms on the show are ladies who have had children. Yes. They've all... They've all raised uh, well, children to adulthood. Yeah, they, and they've all had active sexual lives with their husbands and stuff. We hope. We hope. So yeah. the point is that this should not embarrass anybody. Am I correct? Right. Yeah. Okay. Maybe. All right. All right. So if I'm out of line, you just tell me I'm out of line. Right? I will. Because it's hard for me to even ask these questions. <laughs> but we need answers. <laughs> right. I don't believe that. Well, it is in a way. All right. Now, this is the past, not present, okay? Right. All right. <laughs> People in your generation, like when, when you, you know, when you were younger and, you know, date, not even dating, but married and stuff, first married. Yeah. Did you believe in oral sex? No. Never, right? No. So you've never even tried it? Right. Because of religion or because it just seems disgusting? It just seemed disgusting. Right. Was it an issue? Pardon? Was it an issue for you? Yes. It is. Mm. Hmm. So, uh, so in other words, you're saying it was, there was a request made, but no. Right. Ooh. Right. It's a no-no. <laughs> right. See, I bet my mom doesn't do Now I'm thinking my mom I'm doesn't I'm telling do you, it. your Absolutely. mom never and Mrs. did. Mrs. Delabate, you've seen my mom, right? Yes. You think she does that? No. Really? Hmm. You're probably right. Yeah. I had no idea. I told you that. God, that's yeah. unbelievable. We were born at the right time. <laughs> yeah, thank God. I mean, I'm, I really, I, may, I said to my wife, point blank, that's an important thing for me. <laughs> I mean, I need, I need to have that. Yeah, and she does it. Let's clear that up right yeah. away. But I'll tell you something, Mrs. Delbati. You might, I don't know that she enjoys doing it. I'll be honest with you. Yeah. It's, it's, uh. It's dirty. Yeah, I would think. Yeah, but it you is know there. what goes on, Ma. Right? Pardon? I mean, you know what goes on in this generation, my, meaning my generation. Me and your son. Anything goes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry we woke you up, Ma. Yeah. <laughs> now, so the next question is absolutely absurd. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah we don't even have to yeah, ask if her. She didn't she do you know, one. She. You don't think she did the? No. Oh, well, you better ask anyway. There could be some. The third input. You won't do that, right? I don't think my mom understands. You, you know what I mean? No. The, the buttocks. No. Right. Yeah. No way. No way. Right. I know my mom wouldn't do that. Yeah. Jackie's well, mom. You know, we're just uh, the conventional sex. That the, that the the woman on the on the back, and the man on top. Yeah. No. I no. Yes. Right. That's the position. Yeah. Missionary, they call that. Yeah. 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 That that that. that one. Like, that would one. women of your generation ever get on top of their husbands? I think so. You oh know. yeah, they would. Oh, oh. See, Jackie's mom won't do that. She's yeah. older. She just had bad legs. <laughs> 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 she can't get out of the seat. She can't get to. Him. What about like like what about like? And now if I'm, I'm blushing. No, don't listen. If I'm, I'm going really too blushing. far, you I tell get, me. I don't want to. I don't want to give you a heart attack. Or I got to say, Ma, so far yeah. you've given all the right answers. So far, yeah. <laughs> what about like the position where the woman is on all fours? No. No. No way. Right. No. That's right. that's not good. See, so th your mom is wilder than Jackie's mom. But, a but bit. still, it's, a little bit. It's quiet. The, I'm telling you, that generation doesn't. Would that, can I ask another question? Would your generation do it any place but the bed? Like, like, would it be all right? Like, let's say, like when the kids were out of the house on the kitchen table or something. No. Never. Because no. that's what dirty. No, not that it's that dirty. I guess we would just uh, conservative. Conservative, yeah, I would say. And plus, you're a very religious woman. I, I can't. Like, would 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 a woman of your generation do it in a car? Maybe. Maybe. That's oh. a yes. That's a yes. Ooh. Really? Well, you know what? I like we like I grew up watching HBO. Right. right. Like when, when you know, and I'd see all the sex on HBO and think that's just what you did. Right. You know what I mean? Well, I don't know. Not not our parents. 
Well, they didn't have HBO. Did you ever see your parents even kissing and stuff? Yeah, but t exactly like you said. They like would do it, it in front of the kids. Yeah, they would do it like in a goofy way. Right, yeah. Kids, it was always goofy. You know, exactly. Yeah. I mean, I never saw, like, I never walked in and caught them making out. Oh, right. Meaning right. it. Right. They would kiss in front of us, you know. For, Once in a while. For a fact. Stuff, yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, I've learned a lot today. <laughs> yeah, you sure did. <laughs> I really did. Did anyone else answer the yeah, question? So far, yeah, so far, Jackie's mother. Jackie's mom. Yeah. Wouldn't even get on top of her husband. Uh, but I'm sure oh. she did. I'm sure she just doesn't. No. Remember. no. What do you she say? She don't remember. You remember I'm that. Sure she was. <laughs> now you're just saying. No, I'm not defending her. I'm she just. Was she was like you though, Mrs. Delbaugh. She said not disgusting for the uh, oral. Right. The the and other thing, never, forget about. Never, That's never. completely unsanitary. And uh but she didn't even have opinions like that. How it was just like it wasn't an issue. Yeah. She talked like it never even came up. You know. Well, yeah. Well, I'm sure. You know, I'm sure Mr. Delabate would have enjoyed that. But listen. Uh, Women in that generation didn't do that stuff. Right. And what are you going to do? I mean, that's it. That's why a lot, you know, that's why a lot of guys went to hookers. Sure. <laughs> right? <laughs> Seriously. But uh, listen, it's, it's a whole different scene now. Wives have to do that stuff. They don't yeah. have to do they anything, do. Howard. Oh, what if they do? They don't have to. Well, they, don't they have it's have the to law. Do anything. It's the law. Well, I'm out of there. Yeah. It's mandatory. It's on the marriage license. <laughs> it makes a six. It makes a six and eight. Let's put it that way. Right. <laughs> no, nah, it's more important now. That's got to be a little wilder. Yeah, give me the lips, or else. Like a woman of your generation would never accept a husband coming home with, let's say, like a like a, a vibrator or something. Ooh. I don't. Well, I don't know. Hmm. Mm, Interesting. Say. Yeah, you say. Howard, yeah. David Duchovny's here. Ah! <laughs> Gary. Gary's a baby. He can't handle it. <laughs> son looks I can like an apple. I can handle What's the big deal? Your mom's a sexual person. She I, had you. Absolutely. No, no. She absolutely. She had Baba three Baba kids. Baba and I'll tell you something. I'm, your mom's pretty hot. And my mom yeah. should enjoy sex. Yeah, I think I know what she wants I for Christmas. Hot in my day. Oh. You were hot in your day. Yeah. You're still hot. Now I mean, I'm old and gray. <laughs> you could put out a little more. Come on, Ma. Come on, Ma. Tell them how much you weighed when you got married. Eighty-eight pounds. That's wow. now. That's, that's right. Tiny. There's a woman who knows. Yeah. Wow. That's what you're supposed to weigh when you get married. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, my my actual weight was one hundred and two, but then I uh, drop weight. I drop weight. You're nervous. She threw up. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Eighty-eight pounds. How tall are you, Baba Bowie? Five two. Five two. Eighty-eight pounds. Tiny yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nice. I bet you look good on your wedding night. Yeah. I sure did. You're damn right. <laughs> and uh, just should have put out some. Good. You do. Things considered. Yep. Yep. Uh, did you ever dance at a club? <laughs> oh, sorry. <fun. laughs> oh. <laughs> Mrs. Delabate, I'm sorry I woke you up, but I had to know the answers to these questions. Right. Okay. Thank you, right. Mike. You did really Thank good. Thank you. You did real good. <laughs> Thanks. Boy. Stay tuned for Fred's mom. <laughs> yeah, we'll call Fred's mom next. <laughs> yeah. Give her it up. Give her it up. Wow. <laughs> Your mom's 88 pounds when she got married. Wow. What's she weigh now? I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> No, really not. I mean, I don't right, tell right my up. mom to get on the scale. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I am shocked that women of that generation didn't perform moral sex. You. Wow. You think your mom did it? No. I bet your mom did. I, no. I, I guarantee you she did. How old's your mom? In the black She's community, in, yeah. in the black community, yeah. the men are a little more uh, forceful. But, you know, you're, you know that myth you think that men don't do that and women don't right. do that mm -hmm. uh, in the black community? Right. comes from that generation. That was verboten. You didn't really? do that it's stuff. True. So at what point I bet you Fred's change? mom's performed uh, oral sex. She Absolutely was European. Not. I think Fred wants the answer. What do you think of that? <laughs> I, I need to know. I don't think I know the answer. Yeah. You hope you know the answer. I'm positive I know the answer. <laughs> do you think she'll answer? I think she'll answer. I do you really? Be, yeah, I think she'll be uncomfortable. Did you write down your number for me? There it is right there. Let me have that. Make sure on the Thank you. area code. Oh, you did make sure? I uh, know. I have. I said. Uh, actually, asked John if he could punch it. He said eight six zero. Yeah. He told me the other day what it was. All right. Can't believe you don't know your mom's number. No, the guy, number, the no, the, the area code was like for as long as I've been alive it was two zero three, and then they changed it. Do I have to dial one? Yes, that's long distance. Really? Really? Yes. yes. Well, how do you know so much? Yes, it is. For someone who doesn't even dial her own phone anymore, <laughs> such a princess. <laughs> right, I don't dial my. Please hang up and try your call See? again. Look at you. <laughs> what? Hang up. I don't think I have to dial one. Why wouldn't you? You sure it's eight six zero? I did dial one. What's your mom's first name? Val. Val. Hello. Up oh, there's your dad. My dad. Is that? Uh, is this Mr. Norris? Yes. Uh, hi, it's Howard Stern calling the radio show. We're on the air. Hi, Howard. How are you? How are you? you Want to ask him? Oh. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Fred's here too, of course. Hey, Dad. Were you guys sleeping? No. 
When's the last time Fred called, by the way? Yep, plowing the fields already. Right. Yeah, we're making Fred's <laughs> annual call, actually. Fred's family lives all the way up there in farm country. Yeah. Do in they have a tussle. farm? No, they don't have a farm. They live in the middle of a state forest. Yeah, it's a nice place. Yeah. Oh, it's like Hansel and Gretel. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Norris, do you have to like throw out bread uh, crumbs to find your way home every day? Do I have to find bread crumbs every day? Yeah. Yeah, you know, I'm just kidding, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so listen to this. You know, we're doing the radio show, right? Yeah. And we got into a whole big discussion. No, yeah. we didn't. This is all Howard. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, I don't want to know this. I just want you to know I, I respect you and I love you. <laughs> right. Uh, right. Have you called home recently, Fred? When's yeah. the last time you spoke uh, to your dad? Maybe about a couple of weeks ago. Oh, you did? Yeah. A couple yeah. of weeks? Yeah. How come Fred doesn't call that much anymore since he got married? What's that? I say, <laughs> how come Fred doesn't call that much anymore since he got married? Well, I, am, I would imagine he's pretty busy. Yeah, he sure is. I'll tell yeah. you, without What's wife. What's he doing? <laughs> what is he doing? Do you, ever, do you know? What's he doing? Yeah. We would like to know. We'd like to know what he's busy with. <laughs> I sure Fred and Fred and Alice know what they're doing. I guess. You know, Fred didn't even know the area code. He didn't. No. I forget it. He forgot it. Shows you. That's how that that's what happens when they become slipped. You slipped in priority. <laughs> sometimes I sometimes I have to wonder myself. Yeah, they become big stars. They they just keep changing it around here. I kinda had a sexual question for uh Mrs. Norris. Did? Um, yeah, and I uh, I'm, I'm thinking whether I should ask you the question. I think my I think my dad can handle it much more than my mom can. Yeah, but maybe that's what's fun about asking but, your mom. But there maybe you go. the that's women have been lying to us, and maybe we need to hear from a guy. Can I ask a sex question, Mister Norris? Sure. Okay. <laughs> you don't mind. All right. Because <clears throat> you know we're talking about the the women of uh, our parents' generation. Yeah. And we're saying sexually they were so uptight. He's and, agreeing with you so far. Yeah. Uh, you know, for example, we called uh, Gary. You know Gary? The, 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 Gary? Yeah. We called his mother. Yes. And I said to her, did you, in your generation, did you ever give your husband oral sex? And she said, no, never. I never would do that. Is that right? Yeah. Well, that's a terrible thing to say, isn't it? It is a terrible thing. I mean, I can't believe uh -oh, it. I mean, Fred. oh my! <laughs> so maybe all bets mouth. are off. So are you saying that uh, you guys do that? Well, I mean, uh, you know, hey, we do things that do things that uh, normal people do. <laughs> oh, <my God>. ah. <laughs> Your mom. See, what do I know? <laughs> you calling home now? <laughs> yeah. I'm but I mean, uh, home. they're the ones that are busy, not oh, me. You have been, huh? <laughs> but uh, anal sex is out of the question. Is that right? Oh! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you, if, if, if they did that, he's quite the explorer. Really? <laughs> he's like the Bosco da Gama of Connecticut. <laughs> so you're saying that uh, it wasn't out of the question? Well, like I said, these are things that normal people do. Wow, wow. Fred. Wow. Your mom's hot. I wow. told you. Did I say Fred's mom was into you that? Did. I you did. did. I, I know Mrs. Norris. I learned something new. Hello. Fred, wow. you did not know. There, you, I'm shocked. <laughs> uh, Mr. Norris, you think it would be all right to speak to Mrs. Norris? Sure. She's all right. probably trussed up like a turkey right now. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's in one of those weird <laughs> She's got one of those star 80 chairs. <laughs> wow. <laughs> What's your mom's first name again? Val. 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 Hi, Howard. Hi, Val. How are you? Okay. I should say so Mrs. Norris. Now, yeah, wait a second, Fred. <laughs> Meanwhile, Fred doesn't call home that much anymore, does he? No, he's a bad boy. Well, I've been hearing about you. You're not much better. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe she wouldn't have been so uh, free with her time. There you go. Called. No, but I, I mean, uh, she wouldn't feel so guilty. Before Fred got married, he did call home a lot, didn't he? He called more. Yes. I know. He was more, he was more reliant on you. And he was home more. Yes. Oh, he yeah. visited yeah. often, yes. Mrs. Norris, I want you to know, I've said to Fred on many an occasion, I don't think it's right that <laughs> he, uh, dumped you. he got married and now dumps his mother. <laughs> For what it's well, worth. Well, I guess uh, marriage uh, changes people. No, I'll tell you what changes people. They become big shots. Oh, well, they do, huh? Yep, they you forget. Think Fred is a big shot. Yeah, they forget who stuck by them when uh, who they were there. That's right. Loyalty is thrown out the window. That's right. <laughs> well, do you call your mom and see your mom often? Rarely. <laughs> of course I do. No, of course I do. You do. Huh? That's right. I'll, in fact, I'm uh, going to see my mother Saturday. I'm having a little birthday party for her. It's her birthday. No, I just have a nice birthday party. She's seen off. You don't know the difference. <laughs> We have a birthday party every weekend for her. <laughs> she thinks every week's her birthday. That's right. 
Hey, listen. So we were calling all the moms on the show, right? Yeah. All right. So you got to hear this one. And uh, I was saying that people of uh, our parents' generation, meaning Robin's, mine, like I called my mother, I asked her a sexual question, and my mother got like all freaked out, couldn't talk about it. I said to her, Mom, everyone in your generation had sex, you had kids. What's the big deal? I talk about sex. So we called Gary's mother, right? Mm -hmm. I said to her, did you ever have oral sex with your husband? And you know what she said? No. She said no. That's right. <laughs> now. I told you the women are lying. The women, I think the women are lying. <laughs> That's, they're lying. I think they do it, but they don't admit to it. Well, some women do it. You don't? Well. <laughs> <laughs> We do it, normal people do it. Oh. Mm. <laughs> I didn't know he was still there. Yeah. <laughs> well, when you're getting that kind of action, you're never far away. <laughs> so, so, Mrs. Norris, you're not uptight about it. You would do that, right? Oh, no, I'm not tight about sex, no. No, huh? She's not tight about it. Right? No. <laughs> Unlike Fred's wife. Fred's wife's uptight about doing that. Yeah. Oh. Well, 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 I wouldn't know that. <laughs> he married wrong. I told Maybe you. It took a lot of years to work up to that stage. Your wow. mother was European. I so told you're... you that was going to be the... Uh... Robin said European women will do that. I guess so. And, and um... Oh, I should have gone to Europe. <laughs> Mr. Norris implied that, uh... uh, uh almost anything. Was... That anal sex even would be okay. Wow. Well. <laughs> yes. Wow. Ooh. Is that a is that a a laugh for yes or is that a laugh for that's no? a guilty laugh right? <laughs> <laughs> that's not for me to know and you to find out. I wow. think we know already. That is a yes, Fred. <laughs> mm. Fred, you come from a real hip family, more so than I even realized. Yeah, I dig your mom. There you go. Did you, wow. when you Fred, when you would, we were a little kid and you wake up in the morning, did, did your mom appear to have trouble walking or anything? <laughs> <laughs> not to my knowledge. So, Mrs. Norris, you're not uptight about sex, right? Like no. Right. You see, I respect that. I don't think That's we should be. That's a wonderful be. thing. I think we all do it and we should talk about it. Sure. Right, well, no, no big deal. <laughs> no. Well, there you go. And you guys are still doing it, right? Well, we still talking about it anyway, huh? <laughs> <laughs> there is a difference. Well, there you go. Hey, thanks for talking to us. Uh, I think you're great people, even though Fred seems to have forgotten you. Uh, For Howard well, still calls. I still call. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised that you did, though. Well, listen, well, I, valuable I need... Valuable information like that. <laughs> we needed to know. Well, and uh, I'll tell you something. Uh, congratulations. I hope... Congratulations. <laughs> now I know why they live in the forest. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice area, Howard. Don't knock it. That was Fred, not me, yeah, Mrs. That's Howard. Your son. That's that your That was son. me, Mom. I said, that's yeah, your wacko son. You have, you have more <laughs> time for fun things <laughs> thanks mrs norris okay have you know fun. some people get cast in a movie and they have a hit on their hands and uh, they forget about their parents <laughs> <laughs> mr movie star over there uh, all right thank you bye -bye. Bye, -bye. bye bye there they are the very lovely couple the norris the, oh, oh, the happy norris wow how did i know my my mother was a harlot <laughs> <laughs> oh oh that makes her a bad <laughs> woman I'm kidding, I'm kidding. so so far <laughs> i'm happy for her. jackie's there mom was a lot of years that she was not getting any so really oh yeah jackie's mom never did oral never did third input wow no amazing my mom we still don't know gary's mom forget about it she has my religious statues Jonas. And your mom is like totally she's, loose. She's doing everything. Your mom is a super vixen. Your mom grew up. Your mom grew up in <laughs> Latvia, know. right? Yeah. Well, that's why. Only child. Yeah. Maybe that's why. Mm. Boy, your mom's horny. Wow. Wow. If I'd only known. I dig that. <laughs> if I'd only you know known. what? She might have helped you with your grades. You never know. See, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the thought I, of that makes me want to vomit. I remember that. <laughs> I think I'm gonna vomit. <laughs> This guy claims he can put a piece of popcorn up his nose and pull it out from his eye. And he's really doing it. That's just wrong. Yeah. It's not a magic trick. Not a magic trick. Oh, there he is. Whoa, this guy's oh, weird. Oh, my oh, God. Geez. I believe him now. Oh, and he's got some, facial and he's got some I, I would well, Are you into vampirism? Or do you want to be a vampire? Yeah. No. No, you're dressed like a vampire. I'm dressed like a vampire? Oh, boy. This is going to be a long <laughs> interview. Vampires wear flaming dice. No, your, your girlfriend has a... No, these are my friends. Your friends have fangs. They're dressed like they want to be make-believe vampires, right? No, we're, uh, we're musicians. 
We're magicians. We're performers. Musicians. 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 They're musicians. You're musicians. What They're do you have, a, a tongue piercing? Is that why we can't understand you? Yeah. I said, I can't even understand what you're saying with that thing. I never... Well, it's a little early. <laughs> Listen to that. <laughs> do you understand the whole tongue piercing click, thing? Click, 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 click. I, mean, I like it. I love a face full of metal. Yeah, really? I think it's beautiful. It's it's all sparkly and shiny. It's like, ooh, pretty. But why would you want your communication skills to be uh, hampered? Can't you me? understand me? You're okay. The other one isn't. <laughs> What's your name? I guess it's the Michelle. placement on the tongue. What, what is your name? Michelle. Uh, it's annoying. It clicks her teeth. And to say what you are again? I said my name's Michelle. Yeah, but what are you again? What's your profession? I'm a drummer. No, but what, you can't even say a D. <laughs> say drummer again. She can't say her name. Well, it makes like, life interesting. Oh, my God. God. <laughs> totally Gives you something to play with. Yeah, but honey, you want to be able to talk. You don't want to sound dopey. Talk. Oh, totally sweetheart. Up her ability to sound intelligent. Yeah, I mean... It, hey, I'm, they, a, I'm a card-carrying mental member. I'm not yeah. unintelligent. I didn't say that. You well, sounded, though. Hey, it's, it's not that you're not intelligent. It makes you sound unintelligent. What's Mensa? I don't see it that way. What's, What's Mensa? Mensa? <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. I mean, you're a pretty girl. You got, you got, you, you know... I don't get I don't get the tongue piercing thing where you can't talk. Like the other broad can talk. You what do you got it on the tip of your tongue? Yeah, she's she's got a ring on the tip of her tongue. I have a barbell a little yeah. farther back. Howard, yeah. she's so got I can fangs. <laughs> yeah. well, I can that's... talk past the teeth and the tongue ring. Well the fangs are fun. It's Halloween or something, you know. Do they come out or <laughs> does she have February. these are coming in and out too? Yeah, those come in oh with the tongue ring? Yeah, they can oh, yeah. come in and out. But listen she to you. Know, no, no, no. She's now click, sounds, click. she sounds like a deaf mute. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> click click. And what did you say your occupation is again? Well, I'm a musician. Oh. She, she can't even say it. I thought she said magician. Yeah, she can't. Say Michelle again. Michelle. <laughs> what do your parents think? Oh, they must be going. How old are you? How old are you? 25. Bro? 25. Yeah, your parents are all disappointed and stuff? No, my mom's very proud of me. Really? Oh. Yeah. Now, what about this dude in the middle who's going to pull the popcorn out of his eyes? What's what, what, you got a Halloween costume on. I guess you're like Dracula or something, right? Ah, yeah, man. It's actually a style and shirt. The way we dress all the it's, time. It's, it's uh, lounge. It's called. No, lounge you, got your, you got your eyebrows up. You got yeah. fe uh, uh, like devil Facial hair. Facial piercings and stuff. Great, are, great goatee. Are you guys into Satanism? No. I'm, I am a Levian Satanist actually. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying you get the vampire no, I'm, thing. I'm more of an atheist, man. I don't really. And what, do you, what is a Satanist do? What do you like to pretend that you're a vampire or something? Would you? Would no, you... it's a completely separate thing. It's just it's it's a difference between uh -huh. religion and between uh, you know. Fashion choice. I got no problem with Satanism because I don't believe in any of this stuff. Yeah. So I don't well, care. Actually, uh, a, a Levain Satanist doesn't <laughs> believe in. Uh, <laughs> that's true. That's we're we're both we're both half Jewish. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Well, see, actually, Jews are the most satanic of all of the white light religions. Is that right? Yeah. Well, that's good yeah, to but, say. But nobody gives a crap. So. I. Uh, yeah, all right. Let me let me see you Does pull the popcorn out of your eyes. Tattoos on his face with the facial hair. Yeah, do do I, have, no, no, no. This is this hair. is all beard. Okay. It's, it's all beard. Hair. It's wow, just that's some weird shaving. It's okay. How long does it take you to shave your right. hair like that? Forty minutes. Because he's got like facial weird sort of facial hair Heights. designs. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's my job to look weird. It's very cool. But like what is your job, though? Um, I'm a professional entertainer. I do sideshows, and I also have uh, a large-scale magic illusion shows. I do. I perform in Vegas. And, I see. Which I heard you guys were just out there. Yeah, yeah, we had a good time. So you're going to take a popcorn kernel. Yeah. You're going to put it up your you nose. You can even pick it if you want. No, I don't want to pick your nose. <laughs> no, not pick my nose. Oh, all right. Pick the popcorn seed out of the jar. Well, I'll have Dougie do it. Right. I don't want to get... You're going to tell that's the same popcorn. I don't want to get anywhere well, near you. Well, he can test it out if you want to. <laughs> now, what are you going to do? You're going to snort it up I'm your nose. Suck it up my nose. Go ahead. Are you ready? Oh, go I'm ahead. gonna get it caught into the nasal cavity. Go ahead. All right. And then you're gonna massage. And then I'm gonna, it up? then I'm gonna push it, and then it'll come out the eye side. You gotta pay attention. Did you start doing this as a kid? Uh, no. I read a lot. Of, I read a lot of science and uh, medical books. Well, you started to do this. Someone told me if you do it enough, you actually create a space where you're yeah. with. Yeah. Is that it? Yeah. The more you try and do yeah. it. But it must have been hard the first few times. Yeah, yeah, it hurts. So it's not a trick. It's it's not no, an illusion. No, 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 it's a trick. The sideshow stunts that I do are all legitimate. Right. It's all real. I'm ma I do magic too, but, but this is real. This is, this is all legitimate. Yeah. Right. This what other sideshow stuff does he do? I just want to. I eat light bulbs. Um. You eat light bulbs. Yeah, I can. Eat I want to see you do that. I want to see you do that. Um, actually, uh, Guinness is Guinness Book of World Records is trying to bring me out for eating dry ice right now. Now, which one of the girls is the girl who pierces her privates and they can hold a hammer with her privates? That's, That's Michelle. Michelle. That's you, Michelle. Yeah. Yeah. Mensa yeah. card carrier. Right. <laughs> well, I got to tell you, you honey, I, didn't real, I didn't realize you could oh, do yeah. that. All I right. apologize. <laughs> All right. See, I'm now she, she's she's very talented. She's right. my new protege. Well, let me tell you, a very lucky man. <laughs> Are you ready? Here we go. All right, here goes. He's taking. I'm going to do the play-by-play -play if you don't mind. He's taking a kernel of pop popcorn, you know, before it's popped. He just snorted it. I'm watching him blow now. It's up his nose. It's in the cavity now. 
Oh, oh is it hurt? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Don't you love it? Now, are you Why pushing you it with yeah, your hand? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm helping it go up. Wow. Holy Christ. Oh. Are you ready? Here's go ahead. Oh. Here it comes. Here it comes, guys. There it is. It's in his eye, and it can't. Oh my God! He really did that. He yeah, really did there it. There was no way to switch that. Wow! No sleep. Yeah. Amazing. Oh, nice. It's so funny. I was um, four years of college. This a friend of mine had to put eye drops. <laughs> a friend of mine had to put eye drops in his eye the other night, and he goes, "Man, it was really weird because I could taste them in my throat." Yeah. People don't realize how that's all connected. Right. Yeah. Everything's. I also drive you know big nails into my face and have the audience <laughs> member pull it out with a pair of pliers. And no that. kidding, man. Yeah. You're talented. Oh, thank you. Uh, but that's a trick, right? No, no, no. Anybody Where do you do put it. a nail into your face? In through the nasal cavity. Wow. It goes back and goes back over the top. Oh, of your face. But you put it in. Yeah, well, I drive it in with a hammer, but the audience member pulls it out. Wow. What, let me see you the light bulb. Can you do that? Yeah, sure. Huh. Any light bulb. Yeah, we got But this is, oh, d don't plug it in. Bulb. It's plugged in. Yeah, yeah. Well, I want to show you that it is a real light bulb. You want to unscrew it? Oh, okay, good. Unscrew it while it's still yeah, I was going to say, you're going to eat that while it's plugged no, in. No, no, <laughs> no. Fine line say, between crazy and I was going to say, I would have put you on Broadway with Mr. Methane <laughs> if you do that. <laughs> oh, trust me, you should see the rest of the show. <laughs> you want to open up for Mr. Methane if I do sure, a Broadway show? Hey, right. man, that sounds good. Yeah. I'm going to move back a little bit so I don't hit glass on the floor. Look at me getting a show together. Hey, you know what? It'll be the most interesting show on Broadway. You're goddamn good. Let me see you do it. He's eating the metal part of the bulb. Oh, 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 Are you ready? Yeah. Oh, you're going to eat more? I'm going to eat that the whole thing. That was good thing. enough, dude. No, 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 no. i got to eat the rest. Oh. How do you do that? I had a nightmare of this once, and I did this. Are you bleeding? I don't know. <laughs> he's got to be a masochist. No, you're not swallowing. No, not, oh, yet. He, not yet, but he's... I need the Windex. Oh, what do you do with Windex? I'm going to throw up. Down. Yeah, I'm going to drink it. He didn't want to eat a dirty one. <laughs> you should do Windex commercial. You're going to drink Windex? Yeah. Is that real Windex? You want to smell it? No. Uh, you want to smell it? Oh. It smells real. Okay. Oh, that's ammonia. It's what ammonia, happened? dude. You can't do that. Are you going to hurt yourself? <laughs> uh, you have done this before, haven't you? Oh, my God. He's bleeding. He's got bleeding. a little bleed. Oh, you're what? bleeding. No, it's helps glass. What do you expect? It helps wash it down. Right. Dude, it, don't, don't it, drink that. No, that's no, it prevents me from streaking. Oh, oh don't, 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 please, I'm begging you. No, it's good. Oh, yeah. All righty? Oh, you are bleeding. He really is bleeding, Robin. Yes. I have to leave now. No. I'm going to get sick. This is out of control. This, this, is, is, this, this is, is out of control? This is, this is lame. Did you see Cabby's ass last week? I have to leave. How come you're leaving? I want to leave. How come I can't go? It's not as bad as a chick. Are you in pain? Right now, no. No? It's just glass. Here we go, right? Wait, 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 stop. You I gotta to ask you to stop. Blood in the morning? I can't take it. Oh, here we go, right? Yeah. Mm. Oh, my mm. God. No, stop. Oh. Stop. Stop. Oh, that's enough. Poison? Isn't that poison, oh, sir? Oh, man. Yeah. It is. <laughs> Love this guy. I have a new hero. <laughs> this guy's great. <laughs> Doesn't take much, does it? <laughs> have you swallowed that stuff? Yeah. All right, all right. Oh. Oh, he's. You've got a lot of blood, dude. Is there? Yeah. Is it a bit of blood? Uh, there ain't that. It ain't that bad. Don't worry about it. They're trying to scare you, man. You're fine. You're fine. Shut up, Cabby. You're fine. Retard. He does this for a living, Howard. He yeah. does not. Yeah, I don't. You, you do. Yeah. This you is eat his, a bulb This is my job. Often. This is what How he often does. do you do that? Um, I do shows, well, some of the, like during Halloween, I do four and five shows a night. Wow. I bet and it's Helgo number two. Four or five times a day. Yeah. Oh, yeah. my goodness. Yeah. When I get done at the end of the week, I can pull a Tiffany lamp out of my ass. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Really? What must happen at the other end, Howard? I know. That's what you're going to ask. Are you okay? <laughs> Am I okay? Oh, yeah. I'm fine. Damn. Can I ask? How do you discover that you're able to do yeah, something do like this? Um, well, right. you, I, I study um, medical books a lot and study what things are made out of, and you'd be surprised yeah, what the human happens. body is able to endure. Oh, I'm sure. If you take care of What happens when you digest afterwards. that? What, does the body break down the glass in your system? Mm -mm. What, do you, no. what do you have to pass I it? Have, I have to do stuff to myself afterwards. Like what? Like enemas? No, not an enema. I have What's a throw up? thing that I drink. That um, coats it all and brings it all out. Oh my God! So that, that it takes care of the, the. Can't you rip your insides? That's what he's saying. He's, he's hoping this stuff he drinks doesn't. Uh, yeah. he's still crunching the glass. Makes it uh, wraps it all nicely so he doesn't get cut <laughs> on the way out. Dude, you are major. Thank you, you are Thank very, you. very, very major. That's hardcore. I have a hardcore sideshow. I it's, just can't imagine. I mean, Fox wouldn't even put on one of the things that I do. So really, yeah, even one of the Fox piercing stunts that I do. Which, which I, he's prepared to do. It I now. have it. Here. What do you do? I put an eight gauge 
needle, freshly pierce it through my face, cheek to cheek, then connect 25 pounds of dumbbell weights to it and pick it up off oh, the ground. No. Oh, let's save that for the let's Broadway see. show. No, let's see it, Howard. <laughs> I don't Come know on. if I can handle it. Come on. It's, it, it's, it's, it's pretty hard. No, I don't want to see it. Let's see it. You go see it. All right. <laughs> Too much. Yes, Rose. Rose? Yes? What's up? What's up? My name is Rose, and please, take this guy off the air. I'm getting sick. I'm, I work on the... <laughs> I drive for a living in test control, and I cannot believe you have this idiot on the... Well, he no, ate right? a light bulb. Hey, you know what? At least I got paid to be to be the way I am. What do you do? Right. Oh. <laughs> so right now, is your stomach upset? Oh, no, not at all. Not yet. Wow. Not yet. Mm. Well, how fast do you drink this stuff to... When, I still, I still when hear I you, leave here. Yeah. I still hear you chewing the glass. I know. It's still stuck in his mouth. Yeah. yeah. Doesn't that just cut on the way Get down? Glass? No, no. He, he tries to chew fine. it up real fine. I'm sorry. What is it? You chew it up fine? And yeah. Well, glass is essentially made of sand and water. Right. If you chew it up, it becomes sand and water. But you didn't do that much chewing. No. no. But you I'm, still I'm able it. to endure a lot more than the average person. Because you've done it many times. Yeah, I mean, I've been doing this for a long time. Wow. Hey, so, Howard, this dude eats fire and eats the dry ice. He's got no taste buds left. Yeah, I don't taste dry food ice. or anything. Really? I can taste important things, you know, but... Yeah, like right. <laughs> like, you know what? <laughs> Sushi. <laughs> Damn, you are really spectacular. Thank you. I mean, Thank I don't you. know... Yeah, if... I see. The look on your face is spectacular. <laughs> I'm really disturbed by <laughs> you. Are you? Yeah, I really am. Oh, uh, you wouldn't be able to handle the rest of the show. <laughs> What's with the private parts, Chick? What, do you, what can you lift with your private... Uh, doesn't that sort of mutilate your private area? No. But, but don't you have a lot of stuff hanging? No, not really. What are you going to hang from there? It's pretty durable. Durable. Wow. Doesn't that hurt? Like, is it ever? Have you ever ripped? No, not at all. Oh. It's a large gauge. What is that thing? Uh, it's a stapler from your office. Oh. oh my goodness! You're going to hang the stapler. It's oh. one of those big, heavy metal staplers. Oh. Oh. No. <laughs> oh. Look at that. She's doing it. Oh. 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 Oh, oh, oh. If you look real close, you can see the little flap of skin, too. <laughs> that was her skin. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh yeah, it was. Oh. Oh. oh, man. What kind of shape are those labias in? Right. Oh, it's just the one. Wow, honey. Hey, we show yeah, a movie she's a little lopsided. Howard, does that change <laughs> sensation during sex? Like, can you feel nothing anymore? I gotta just say, if any kids are listening, don't do this at home. Right. No. Don't, don't hang. Do this anyway. Go to somebody else's house. Don't. Don't, do yeah, don't, don't even do that. <laughs> don't ever try eating a light bulb. Don't ever try, you know, bringing popcorn out of your eye. <laughs> Hanging things from your uh, yeah. Did that genitalia. Good lord. Right. I'm glad you've never seen. Like, you've seen a lot of weird stuff. So. Yeah, yeah. I'm so glad you, you're sending us off on Friday. With right. You. Now you yeah. guys go on vacation going, what a wacko oh, he was. Well, Good. fortunately, I've got a phone call with Jesse Jackson to follow that Ooh. up with. <laughs> <laughs> the grossest week ever. Oh, my God. Hosted by Johnny Knoxville. Howard 100. Howard 101. This is Johnny Knoxville, and you're listening to Howard Stern's Grossest Week Ever. The next gross moment begs the question, what would you do to win a date with a porn star? This is the best. Now, I've never had the pleasure of banging a porn star, Your Honor. Wow. But I don't think I'd go to the length these three guys had to go. It's really not about eating boogers, but you never know. If you never heard this clip before, you're in for a real treat. Let me tell you, you'll probably never look at a McGriddle sandwich the same way again. From 2003, here's Win a Date with Tabitha Stevens. Hey now. Hey now. Uh. <laughs> All right, we have a we have a we have some fun going on here right now. We have Tabitha Stevens, beautiful Tabitha Stevens. She's a porn star that everyone loves. You know, Tabitha Stevens hasn't made a movie in two years. A Is porn that movie? Right? No, I haven't shot a movie in two years. In two wow. years. The world of porn mourns the fact that you haven't been on camera. Do you camera. think I should do it? All right, I have a question for you. Good. Do you think I should do it, or should I just do it, Jeff? Jeff? You're not talking about you. You should do it. Talking about me? No. No. Do me. Oh my God. By it, so I mean I'm me. And right, Robin. I'm, I'm gonna make a movie about you. Same Jeff. goes for you, honey. <laughs> <laughs> you look more edible every time I see you. Wow. Oh. Wow. Oh. Nice. <laughs> he was what? checking her out. Did you see? What that? was your question? Um, do you think I should go yes. back to doing that? Do you think I should go uh, back? Yes. To Yes, I do. You I believe your talent. I think your talent is important. It's what yes. you do. You got a mm -hmm. kick-ass body. You never know how long that's all going to last. Some put some day. Could... me, honey. And you should go make porn. I will go make porn. Good. It's official. There it is. Why did she stop? Yay! I don't know. You know what? God I... bless you. 
<laughs> See, you, the Jeff. fans are happy. Yay! <laughs> and you know, what better way to get ready for porn to warm you up than to date one of our listeners? These are extreme listeners. These are people who will do anything to be with you. We have to call it a date, but we know what right. goes on on these dates. Crazy Fs. Right. <laughs> we have three judges. They will be the ones who will decide which guy wins you. Okay. Our first judge is very beautiful. Serena Vincent, who was hitting on KC during the commercial. Oh, was she? Yeah, yeah. she was. I was watching. Mike the intern, too. Mike the intern, too. She was on me before I left. Yeah, she was hitting on you. I saw that. Some of that. Arnold Schwarzenegger, you are one of our judges. You are running for governor, and thank you for being here. It's a different kind of life for you now. When you were a, a movie star, you would stay pretty much secluded. You do the show once in a while. Now that you're running for governor, you'll even judge a contest like this. That's right. And I wanted to say earlier that uh, uh, Tabitha was talking about how she's not done uh, any movies for a while. If I'm elected governor of California, I'll make sure that she does one every week. Right. I think that is important. No, I could vote for that. That is yeah, important. Yeah, you got to get that industry right. going. You have That's a great right. sense of humor, Arnold Schwarzenegger. You're willing to be a part of something wild like this. Absolutely. Even though you have a, you know, you're running for governor, you 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 have smoked pot. That's you, right. Yeah, you you're a, you're a liberal on a lot of social issues, aren't you? Well, I wanted to say that he's talking about smoking the pot. That's so, uh, all. Robin over here has lost a lot of weight, and she looks fantastic, but she looks familiar. Uh, were you in the uh, Gold's Gym in 1978? <laughs> that was not. Wait me. a minute. Can you turn around and bend? <laughs> Over maybe because uh, yeah, I it think said you was, had a yeah. gangbang with right. uh, a black woman. That's right, I and it was Robin. Robin. I think it was. <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> well, you've got such a great sense of humor about that, even. And uh, we thank you for being here. This is such you an honor. So Absolutely. Bit, I have yeah. to say, I have to say, of all the of all the talk shows that I've done, this is the most recent. Right. <laughs> right, and you now are getting more specific on the issues. You are for the children, is that That's correct? Right. Yeah. Of course, the children always uh, come first. Uh, in my new movie, uh, Terminator Three, of course, uh, I had a giant crane in the movie. There was a scene with a giant crane, and uh, I, we're going to replace all the school buses uh, in the education system with giant cranes. Well, you've got That's a great sense of humor, movie. and I know you're looking right. out for the kids. Right. All right. And you've exactly. always been involved in the Special Olympics. Exactly. <laughs> right. All right. And Jeff Caro, you're going to judge and also participate. You're going to um, help us out with the first stunt. Let's meet. Oh, yeah, buddy. Let's see who we got first. We're going to um, we're going to meet Howie Do It. Howie Do It. Howie, Howie Do It. Howie Do It. Howie agreed. Howie Do It. Dead. Where's Howie? Oh. Howie, how are you? You agreed to eat a McGriddle from High Pitch Eric's behind. Uh, High Pitch Eric did not show up. Yeah, Howie, y'all baited me, I think. Well, no, not baited you. High how, Pitch how Eric him? called us last night and said, I can't come and I have to work. <laughs> and we I said, well, forgot he had a job. Yeah, he's like an idiot, doesn't understand that, that you got to tell us and give us advance notice. So to tell you the truth... He did bomb out on us, but a great guy, Jeff Currow. Oh, Jeff yeah, he's have wonderful. A job. I spent Jeff, the morning with him in the lodge. Can we put him a griddle? Uh, w w would you eat a McGriddle from Jeff's behind? For Tabitha Stevens? Yeah. You would. All right. All right. So, Jeff. He gives good oral. Nice. Nice. Oh, that's good to hear. All right, Jeff. Nice. Why don't you. Thank you, Tabitha. You're welcome, Jeff. <laughs> Jeff, why don't you get down on the floor? And, you know uh, what? Jeff has his headphones on his hat. Can yes, he going in the thing? top of his ass crack. I ain't going near his asshole, man. Uh, for real. All right, let's see. We'll see. Yeah. Let's oh, see if you really ass, want Tabitha. Dude. We're going to place the McGriddle, and we'll see. You need to have a sip of that, Jack. Can I stick it in there? Yeah, because the top of his ass is a picnic. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's, let's first get Jeff on the ground. Help him down. Can we? Tabitha can stick it in there. Wait, calm down, Junior. Wait a second. <laughs> Wait a minute. Let me get down. <laughs> Before you apply the McGriddle to the top of my ass. All right, hold on a second. Let me explain to you what's going on. Oh, no. Oh, this is the funniest thing I've ever seen. Think what's going in his butt. Jeff Caro is passed out on the floor. Jeff, are you okay. all right? Jeff, Jeff, oh, Jeff, Jeff, look at me. Jeff, look at me. Roll over and pull your pants down. I don't think he can do that. He can do it. He can move his little arm. Doug, help him undress. Yeah, do his arm. Help him. Help I'm him out. Sensitive. He's like a bug that's fallen on its back. He can't right himself. Tabitha, go over there and apply okay. the McGriddle to Jeff's behind. Hey, Howard, I think there's something wrong back there. Oh, is there? What? Is there something wrong back there? No, there isn't. Just help him off with his pants. Oh, please. Dumbass. <laughs> oh, I got it. All right, help him off with his pants. 
That'll be the day when a you man can't me, take baby? his own pants off. You must see Jeff try to I've get on the floor. Twice. It is the best. All right. Jeff got down on the floor. Tabitha is taking off Jeff's pants. Tabitha will apply the McRiddle to Jeff's behind. You are? Yeah. Nice. I know. <laughs> <laughs> How far do you want it in? All oh, the way, baby. honey, honey, right. Tabitha. All the way. Let me handle baby. all the explicit stuff. <laughs> okay. All right. all right. So, Tabitha, you place okay. the McRiddle. Okay. For Jeff. Tabitha looking more beautiful than ever. Is that right, as just, far as Jeff can do go for getting down? Is on that the something floor? on his butt? That's nasty. Wait, there he What's on his there. butt? I don't. Oh, I don't yeah. know. It's all I want to see. I think what the is that? Twins, the twins have come out to play. No. Wait a minute. What's on there, Doug? What's I don't know, on? but it's discolored. Oh, no. Oh, it's just a little. I, don't know what, I can't look again. I don't know what that is. Yeah. Can I say holy crap? Can because that's what it is. Holy <laughs> fuck. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, I smell Jeff. it. Wait a second, Tabitha. <laughs> Did Jeff make in his pants? I think he had I gas tried. and something came out. Because it's not right. You can do it. You you didn't make any case, pants, did you? It's fucking... You no, but don't say the F word. <laughs> Wait a second. This is a oh, disaster. This is a nightmare. <laughs> this has gone horribly oh, no, wrong. No, no, no. What's going on? He's not it's, clean. It's definitely not clean. He, he had an He's accident. Yeah. He had an accident. Uh, it's it's not a car accident. Did you have an accident? Swear to God. He said it's no accident. No, it's okay. It smells so bad. And he doesn't bad call here. it an accident, Howard. You know what I think it is? <laughs> what is it? I'm looking on the monitor. I think that Jeff only has one hand, and I don't think he can clean himself properly. Uh, I am not cleaning him. Doug, clean him off. <laughs> I want my ass perfect. This is job. Fuck you, Hey, kid. wait a second. Oh, yeah. <laughs> microphone away from Jeff, 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 no F word. <laughs> Stop with the F word. F you Bitch. Jeff, you're making a mockery out of this, Jeff. I'll give you a mockery. A Would you give head. Jeff his McRiddle so this gentleman can eat it already? You want me to do it? For real? Go ahead, yes. Can I, I can hold it's my up nose, to this right? gentleman. Yeah, you can right. hold your nose. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh my goodness. I don't believe this. Howard, you, just, you have to look at this, man. You have to see what's going on. You should on come around and take a look. Oh, come on. Let me see what you're doing. I don't think you want to do it. My fucking knees are killing me. Take it easy, Jeff. Jeff, lay down My on the floor. My knees are killing me. No, Jeff, Howard, lay down Howard, on the floor. Get it's the not fuck up here. Have you seen what? Oh, there, there is me. no way. Come on, Howard. There is no For real, Howard. Come on, man. That's not even right. Come on. Come on. Nah. I'm not. Nah. Nah, nah Howard. I For mean, real. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Things well, have gotten worse. I'm going to give you a, cho a choice. Even though things are bad back there, oh, will God. you eat the McGriddle or not? I'll eat one bite out of it. You will, <laughs> even though that's bad. One bite. Wow, you really do want Tabitha, no, this, dude. If this How, guy, you does see that. what my fingers have nice. tattooed on them? Yes, that's for Tabitha. I'm what still voting for oh, the dude cute. that eats his shit. No, wait a second. Um, get the, Jeff is get the microphone. Like a get the microphone away from Jeff. Jeff, Jeff, roll over and apply the McGriddle. One bite. Roll over. <laughs> All over. This is disgusting. You have you seen? What's no, it do I have no show? idea. Oh my goodness! Yeah. <laughs> you do oh, not want to see this. It's oh, real. Look at that. <laughs> His underwear is that. brown. It is not one white. Bite. That's it. One bite. One. Bite. Okay, one. Bite. No. no. Hey. All right, hold. You, you know what? <laughs> Forget it. All right, Jeff. Jeff, <laughs> get Jeff out of here. Get the McGriddle bite. out of here for one second. Since you were willing to take a bite, I'm just going to... Uh, uh, you can't. I mean, it, it wasn't ever supposed to be that way. He, he was, yeah, was going to do it. He was going to do it. Thank you, Rob. He was brave. He was brave. Thank you. Look at him. He can't even stand up, Howard. Yeah, all right, all right, all right. Come on. We still have to lay there. We can't even get him out of the studio. All right, all right. He'll never get up again. All right, hold it a second. Hold it a second. Hold it a second. Hold it a second. <laughs> Right. Fuck you. No. Away from him. He's just Wait, we don't have any. Yeah. Oh, all right, all right, all right. oh, see, that's biased now. He's a judge. He's going to knock me out the contest. He ain't judging anything. He's in no condition. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. But, guys, get them all out of here because we're running out of delay. I can't hit the delay anymore. All right. All right. Everybody out. Everybody out. Let's all calm <laughs> The contest down. got out of hand. Let's all calm down. Let me recap what happened. All right. Wow. The first contestant was going to eat a McGriddle. Oh, wow. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, that was stop, unbelievable. Stop. 
All right. Oh my god. That is not right. That is not right. The first contestant was willing to eat a McGriddle from Jeff Curro's behind. Oh my god. Jeff started cursing when we pulled off his pants because it was a lot of there was a lot of activity back there. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was ongoing activity. Oh. Yeah. It's been going on for a while. Yes. I'll tell you that. <laughs> For weeks, Arnold, I'm so apologetic. <laughs> this is this is better than any debate I could have gone to. What do I, I mean, do with uh, the griddle? All right, Jeff. Oh, I'll take it. Casey, please ask Jeff to leave. Yeah, Adi will eat it. Oh. Yeah. Oh, leave. go away, Jeff. You're cursing. You're cursing. You're well, cursing too much. I don't have a delay. It's not her fault. Jeff, great appearance. Is he talking about me? No, I don't know who he's talking about. Oh, I'm going to take that McGriddle on. That was top no. notch. <laughs> that was top notch. <laughs> wow. Oh, no. Oh, oh, now he's spilling beer. <laughs> oh. oh, wow. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I lost control of the show. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I think he just threw a beer on Ronnie, I think. Oh. Oh. He's, he's really angry. Why is he angry? He's probably he goes, embarrassed. He goes, He's embarrassed. He's embarrassed. He's yeah. embarrassed. He goes, you guys are treating me like S. Well, well, he thinks it's what our fault. Well, he has to stop cursing. I would have him in here, but he just keeps cursing, and I don't have enough delay to cover it. But you know when it. he curses, he curses when we say what's going on. Yes. And we didn't do that. I know. Oh, this is great, Howard. Tom's back there. Tom's running after him. Oh. <laughs> He's got to oh, change boy. his pants. Have you guys? Did you guys see what was going on? Oh, that was, that was horrible. Dude. <laughs> All right, we're trying to have a nice contest for somebody to win a date with Tabitha. Yes. The McGriddle. You know what? I have the McGriddle. <laughs> you can put the McGriddle down now. Jeff is no replacement for High Pitch Eric. <laughs> the High Pitch Eric's a professional. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You can't ask an amateur to do that. <laughs> Could Jeff own one clean pair of underwear? Is it possible that any are clean in this position? Well, it had nothing to do with the underwear. They started out clean. They did? Yeah. Really? Once upon a time. <laughs> oh, thank yeah. you. In the store. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay. I think we have to rethink the whole contest. Was that Jeff's last appearance here? No. 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 No, he's like mm. our Bob Hope. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> he just that never just stays. Like, that was fantastic. All right. What happened in all the confusion and all the hitting of the button? A gentleman wanted a date with Tabitha so badly that he was willing to eat the McGriddle. He was. And even after the big mess in Jeff's pants and everything else, he was still going to <laughs> eat the McGriddle. He was going to try. Right. What a right. trooper. Exactly. <laughs> and that's a trooper. And that, that is. He was that's a pooper was, trooper. <laughs> that's a real, that's really unbelievable. That's but brave. frankly, you know what I think caused part of the problem was Jeff trying to get to the floor. Uh, I don't uh, think that he was prepared to do right. that. Yeah, Maybe absolutely. that's, I don't know. I have, I have one more development. Yes. <laughs> Let's do a full can of beer at our general manager. Oh, no. Is Tom okay? Oh. Yeah, Tom is fine, but I think he's very irritated. Mm -hmm. Well, let Jeff sit down and relax yes. a little bit. Let him sit in a room and calm down. I love how we're not throwing him out. Sit? You want him to sit? He can't Well, sit. stand in a room. <laughs> He's not allowed to sit on anything we own. I just need to sit. That's right. it, When bitch. we pulled down Jeff's pants, there was some questionable material back there. Tom's coming Howard, out. you know what? You couldn't even... It wasn't mm. even lit correctly. I walked... Because I showed him the monitor, and I was grossed out. When I walked by it live, it was unbelievable. You don't even... I don't even know what Tom, it is. Tom, did you get hit with the beer? No, he's walking out the hall, carrying the beer, spilling it. I grabbed the beer from his hand. As I went to grab it, he dropped it. He didn't throw it out. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh. Let him go, chill out. He, he threw it at me. Yeah. He's not a bad guy. He just misunderstood. Arnold, you're much bigger in real nice. life than you. Yeah, I appreciate that. And uh, be careful. Don't step in the doo-doo down there. <laughs> Watch your feet. Uh, I don't know exactly what just happened, but the show now is back. I'm not sure I know either, but it's I back can under control. Our, our digital capabilities. I, I understand. All right. <laughs> Everything's calm now. I had enough of an accident. Big whoop. <laughs> Our second contestant claims that he will eat dog duty. Now, what Why? happens with the first contestant? He has to be given a buy? I'm giving him a consideration. He was ready to eat that. All right. He was willing to do it. Even after what he saw was in Jeff's pants. All right. I need a drink. <laughs> so do I. I mean, it's crazy. <laughs> All right. Let's have a drink. Now, by the rules in the contest, this next guy... <laughs> he can pass on doing it. We just know that he was going to do it, or he can actually do it. Okay, that's the way the contest is going. Yes. <laughs> oh, wait, come on. They have to really do yeah, it. Yeah, well, he's prepared to. Okay. Jay says he will eat dog duty. But where's the, where did we get this from? There it is. There's the dog duty. He ain't kidding. Jay. Hi. Hi. Well, we just had an incredible experience. <laughs> yeah, we're still shaking up. What type of dog is that from? Um, black lab. A black, black lab? Yeah. That's the best kind. Oh, wow. That's the best kind. <laughs> you know that. You have a black yeah. lab? 
No, I have, oh. e- I have eaten that before. Is it? When I was working out, that's what we eat, the body balls. It's true. God. Is it kosher? Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Uh, I uh, just saw uh, it. Yeah. Okay, talk to me about oh. the... Uh, have, have you ever done this before, or is this the first time? Oh, this is my first time eating duty, yes. Wow. And uh, Don't you think this is a, a gross, gro- I mean, beyond yes. belief? I, will, I would do anything to uh, have a date with Tabitha, so... Oh. Have you seen her movies? Yes. Yeah. Some of them. Uh, have you, have you, are you a virgin? Oh, no, no. You had girls. Well, When's the last time you had sex? A year and a half ago. A year and a half ago. Yeah, All right. It's been well, too it's, long. It's been a year and a half since you've been moving, right? He's not a bad looking guy, though, right? I mean, he's a nice no, looking yeah. guy. No, I mean. I- well, if this doesn't work, I said I'd light myself on fire. If that was, that would be more outrageous. <laughs> All right, get out. Fantastic. That, 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 fantastic. Let me fantastic. see. Uh, eat well, your I think, dog duty or light yourself I think you should just eat the dog duty. Okay. Okay. I'd rather yeah. see him light himself on fire. So no. I would you. I would you, Adi. I'm on fire. No, you don't have to light yourself <laughs> on fire. I can't handle that. I can't even handle you oh eating dog God. duty. I don't this know. This is very extreme. Are you going to use a knife? Wow. Yeah. Isn't, that, is, isn't that unhealthy, though, oh. sir? I would think. Yes, it's... That's waste. Well, it's fresh. It's fresh. Oh! Yeah, it's really fresh. It's it good. stinks. Oh. Yeah. Can you smell it already? Well, yeah. I think Casey needs to smell it to make sure it's right. Casey, are you all right? <laughs> Poor Casey. No, d- just go, please. <laughs> go ahead. All right, go ahead. Do it real quick. and we get it over. It? He's, got much to eat. He's got a fork. He's got a Just a little bite. He's prepared. Oh, my He's prepared. Oh, my God. Oh, my oh. God. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, I'm going to throw up. Oh, my God. Oh, this is unbelievable. Oh, 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 oh that is sick. That's disgusting. Benji, Benji threw up. Disgusting. Benji threw up. That's the per- I think oh. he's going to throw up. Oh, all right. You don't have to swallow it. You don't have to swallow <laughs> That's it. That's disgusting. That's enough. Stop, stop, stop. Stop. Oh, stop. I've never wow. got this sick on this show. <laughs> oh. Dude, what was that like? I'm so impressed. Um, that was the worst thing I've ever done, so. Yeah. Oh. Wait, can I take off my shirt now? Because Wait. I think that's only fair. Yeah, take off that your shirt. It, right. Look, at least oh. you're playing Fantastic. for that. Oh, man, you deserve oh. that's oh. That's right. I actually you look good. Wow. had dry heaves my looking at that. <laughs> well, it shows you're human. Oh. Benji almost threw up. I, th- I thought he actually, I saw something come out. But <laughs> did you throw up, Benji? He almost did. Yeah, I, I felt, not, not, not all the way, but almost. It's a black lab, I no, <laughs> uh, I still. Uh, ooh. Uh, you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Are you wow. sure? Yeah. All right. Why don't we get you out of here, and then we'll bring in the next guy. What? What about kissing Tabitha? Just what about kiss. Artie? <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna be eating the rest of it left on that plate. Tabitha, you're topless. You're so yeah. comfortable with your nudity, yeah, aren't you? I am. Serena, how come you're not comfortable with your nudity? <laughs> well, I'm very comfortable with my nudity, but I don't. But just, you know, I don't need to take off my top because. Please, Serena. Come why not? On. What Serena. But well, cabin fever isn't exactly a pretty woman. I mean, come on. Why not? Right. Yeah, we can't see Tabitha's boobs anywhere. Do you ever go out with any girls, Serena? Does I ever, you know, I haven't. You haven't? Are I'm you not, attracted to Tabitha at all? Um, she's, she's hot. Yeah. No, you guys are And I'm not, um, I haven't been with a girl. You haven't. But I'm not opposed to it. I just haven't found the right one. Right. Well, Tabitha might be you. Tabitha could be the right one. But she doesn't have to do gross stuff to do that. No. Oh, hell no. <laughs> you girls want to get something going, feel free. Wow, this is some contest. This is a little too extreme for me, actually. Yes, YT. Yeah, I just had to pull over on the Garden State. I threw up all over my lap, all oh. over my steering wheel. Big fan, Howard. Big fan. Love you all. Let's go to David. Howard, man, I don't know how you did it, but that thing with Jeff Curl was the funniest thing you ever did. <laughs> I wish you. I wish we didn't have to bleep it so much. I know. Oh my God. We're just watching him get down on the floor is funny. That was funnier than anything I've ever seen. But really, when we pulled off his pants, we didn't expect that big a surprise. <laughs> yeah, I, I he heard got Robin us. Robin lost it when he <laughs> fell down. I mean, you know, why, why wouldn't we expect that, though? <laughs> think about it. I wasn't expecting that. I, just I thought that... after the last time he'd be fine this time. He's a grown man. Hey, Howard, you know what he's claiming now? He's claiming that in his pants it was blood and not what we thought it was. Oh, oh. no, it was better. That, that's no, that makes it fine. That makes it fine. It was only blood. <laughs> no, but Howard, I saw it and I know what it was. All right. <laughs> Whatever it is, uh, yeah. I don't want to know. It was brown was... blood. <laughs> Where would blood be coming from? Oh boy! He sat on a sacrifice last <laughs> night at his coven. <laughs> my bleeding heart. Exactly. I don't know exactly. Arnold, you've got to be shocked by this. I just want to say, Maria, if you're listening, Tabitha's on the other side of the couch. I'm not near her. I mean, right, uh, right. But I, not... I would say I am not opposed to getting naked myself. Oh, we have one more contestant. Wow. This is. <laughs> gotta um, rush this right on. This is another guy named Jay. He is going to eat his friend's pubes. Oh. His black friend is oh, Carlton. He's cute. There he is. Hi. Carlton. Hi, how you doing? How you doing? Now, right, what are you, you're going to now... Shave my pubes so that uh, Jay can eat it. A, a sandwich. All yeah. right, go ahead. You start shaving, and uh, let me speak to uh, Jay. Jay, you must really want a date 
Wow. Absolutely. Nice. With uh, Tabitha Stevens. That's why I'm here. When's the last time you had a woman? Oh, Thursday, probably. Yeah, hey, this is a good looking guy. This really guy's is Thursday. You had, you had, but you want Tabitha. Your friend, you're, you're clipping, oh, right? Yeah. Well, make sure you get him on the sandwich. Or get him on the plate. Get him on the bread. <laughs> this is the first one that doesn't smell. <laughs> Yeah. Carlton. Yeah. Uh, good. You're doing a good job. I say, keep going. All right. Wow. All right. You're using a scissor. Yep. And you got plenty of uh, pubes. Yep. And you're gonna put it on that. We're gonna put it on that white like bread. Pepper. Looks like pepper. Yep. Should we put mayonnaise or mustard on it? That's too? nasty. All right. Now um, let's talk to Jay. Jay, this is very extreme to eat a pube sandwich. I never even heard of such well, a thing. I, I think I'm gonna pretend it's Robin's pubes. All right. <laughs> well, you certainly have enough there. I would say you have a good. A yeah, good that's amount. a good, good sandwich. Mm, wow. All right. Is yeah. it plain, or does it have anything on it? No, nothing on it. It's two pieces of white bread. Right. Why don't you make a sandwich there? Yeah. Oh, my, oh my God. <laughs> have you ever done anything like this? No, I got some on my fingers here. Oh, yeah. uh. <laughs> no, I just, you know, you know when you're giving oral sex to a woman and you get one in there, you're hacking up for right. a half hour, so. Go ahead. That's <laughs> a dude, though, bro. Wait, how much does yeah, he have well, to I'm eat of it? it's Robin's. So. He's going to eat the whole sandwich. He's, he's eat the whole sandwich? He'll eat it. He'll eat it. Okay. There he goes. Oh, there he goes. Oh. oh he's he's a nice big bite. We came oh. here early. I didn't even oh, shower God. this morning. This is so gross. <laughs> came here early. I didn't even shower this morning. How, how old a man are you, Carlton? I'm 30 years old. 30 years old? 30 years old. You've just clipped off your pubes and put it on a sandwich? I did. How is that? Casey, what's going on? It just asked me for some water. This is gross. <laughs> How you doing over there? Uh, do you watch Tabitha Stevens movies? Oh wait, you can't even. Sorry, try. I'm just. I'm just trying to. <laughs> She's focusing. I'm just trying to focus here, right? This is way more extreme than Fear Factor. Oh my god! Hey, dude, completely. stay on the plastic. <laughs> I like this. It's very you... dry. I just need some water just to get it down. All right, here's some water. Mm. Okay. Casey's wearing rubber right, gloves. <laughs> <laughs> would you like uh. some? Would you like some of his back sweat? <laughs> Serena, you're a judge. What do you think of this? <coughs> wow! Oh, 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 wait a minute! Oh. Wait a minute! Wait a minute. Oh, oh, Jay, Jay. Do it. <laughs> I'll be so impressed oh. if you throw up. <laughs> no, you can't throw up. The guy ate. Sh <laughs> Eat your pube sandwich. For you. Oh, he's taking now oh, four bites. If he throws that, does oh, he have to eat that? He's eating fast now. <laughs> he's gonna eat it. He's doing it. Uh, I'm, I guess I'm getting busy today. <laughs> oh. Carlton, how long have you been friends with Jay? Oh, I've been friends with Jay for about three years. Jay, how's it going now? Talk to us a little bit. Wait. Oh, 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 God, no. No, is he? No, he didn't throw up. He's a real man. He can handle it. Yeah. This guy's really hanging in there. I'm really disgusted more by the oh. fact that it's white bread. And Did he eat the bread. whole thing? <laughs> Sick. Look at that. Sick. I think he's got a bite or two more. You ate it. You ate it? <laughs> yeah, I did. I think, yeah. Did he eat the crust? Any pubes Stuff in your mouth? Good? Howard, it, it's fine. He ate the whole part with all the pubes. Oh. It. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> this was gross. How did you get that down your throat? <laughs> They're going to be sick. That's what I think. Yeah. I was, I was picturing Robin. That's all, you know. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. So <laughs> was I. I was too. Well, you certainly too. want her. <sighs> wow. <laughs> Can you feel this? Yeah. Yeah. Come on, hang in there. Like Jay, where there. are you from? Toronto. Toronto, and you drove all the way down here just to meet Tabitha Stevens? Yeah, absolutely. Went yeah. to Yankee game, too, and... Uh, She's sitting there topless. Yeah. How does she yeah. look to you? Oh, she's gorgeous. Thank you. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. yeah. How many women have you had in your life? He's probably like 10 million. No. <laughs> Enough. A few. Enough. You've had a few. Yeah. You have no problem getting girls. No, no. But this would be an experience. You think Tabitha Absolutely. can rock your world? Oh, yeah. I mean, I, to be honest, I'd probably get in there for about 60 seconds. I'd be done. You know what I'm saying? But that's just the way it is. I mean, you, know, you know the way it is, Howard, right? We yeah. chose the she's winner. Like, no, I'm joking. She's, she's like good looking. That might, that might work. <laughs> well, she's beautiful. Stand up and model for him a little bit so he sees what he's okay. struggling here for. Okay. If you don't show, mind. Show him a little of the ass. She's got an extraordinary ass, I uh, hate guys. My ass. Oh, stop it. You hate your ass. You have to love your ass. Let me see your ass. <laughs> Is it really bad? It's beautiful. What do you hate about it? She's perfect. Yeah. Awesome. That's good stuff. Awesome. She's, awesome. <laughs> she's gorgeous. You have a beautiful ass. Thank you. What about Tabitha? Arnold, what do you think of that ass? Exactly. Uh, I'm speechless, I tell you. Once again, Maria, I, I'm not doing anything. <laughs> it's bad to beat Jeff Curro's ass, I'll tell you that. Right, right. <laughs> Don't you think in a way, Thank guys, you. that this is a lot easier to go through this than what, what, what most women do? Uh, with you in order to win them over. I mean, <laughs> absolutely. I mean, don't you sometimes feel like you have to jump through hoops just yeah, to get yeah. laid? It's oh, ridiculous. Yeah. If is it easier? In a way, just to eat a pube sandwich is a lot easier <laughs> than all the crap you have to go through just I, to get well, laid. It's a lot quicker. It's a lot quicker. Yeah. <laughs> all right, we've heard from three guys. Heard. <laughs> we had the guy who really was going to eat the McGriddle no matter what was back there. We had to stop him for health reasons. 
And we we didn't ever get to really meet him if so many things were going on here. Well, he was also cursing up a storm. Oh, was he? I didn't hear him. Yeah, try not to curse, there dude. He, he kind of reminds me of Kid Rock. Yeah, yeah. you look right. a little like Kid exactly. Rock. Has anyone exactly. ever told you that? Contestant number one? Can somebody get a mic Nobody's on him? Ever told yeah, you yeah right. Never. No. Yeah, never oh, not me. Really. Sure. Well, He's you lying. were willing to eat the McGriddle, and I thought that was pretty bold. Yes, sir. If, uh, if I was going to vote, I'd say it. It was the same as you almost doing it, but that's going to be up to our judges. Not Thank me. you, sir. All right. Good, good, good attempt. Good you, were you. Game, you were game, and that's what You were game, and that's what counts. Uh, our second contestant ate actual dog duty. Oh, yes. Okay, I, did, I did the most outrageous thing, and I won. Definitely. <laughs> it's up to our judges. <laughs> you well, I'm just saying, that's, I, it, what, what else could be worse than that, though? You know? That's a tough argument. I, you I didn't agree see with Jeff's it. pants. <laughs> bring him in. Bring him in. I'll do I'm No, don't. Thank no, you. No, no, don't worry. Right. Oh. Third, that was blood. That wasn't even. All right. Okay. Our third contestant ate a pube sandwich, which was unbelievable. I mean, unbelievable. <laughs> still, uh, I got a few still in here, Howard. <laughs> Stuck in my wow. teeth. Wow. Well, you certainly love your friend. Practicing yeah, before they came in. They went in the bathroom together. He was taking samples, man. He cheated. <laughs> That's not cheating. That's practicing. No, well, what do we got to do? Man? You want to go eat some McGriddle from some guy? Go ahead. You, <laughs> practice. you can practice all you want, brother. All right, I'm going to go to Serena Vincent. Who's it going to be, the dog duty guy, the pubes guy, or the uh, Jeff Currow guy, guy, the McGriddle guy? I have to say, McGriddle. Um, he didn't even actually go through with it, yeah, though. Yeah, you didn't. No, no, that's not my answer. Mm -hmm. No. Um, you, you would have, and you know, you got points for that, but not enough. Um, dog so I got duty cheated. Guy. No, 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 just no, take no. it easy. <laughs> Vote you. I appreciate. Stop being a sore loser if you don't get picked. All right, I'm, all right um, dog duty. <laughs> that was the most foul thing I've ever ever. Right, that, so I won the contest, right? I mean, I did the most outrageous thing. Hold things. on, oh. stop lobbying. Okay. And, no, um, I'm just bragger. I'm so psyched. Thank you. Relax. 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 Take a deep breath. It's okay. Okay. The guy hasn't gotten laid in a year and a half. You don't know what that's you like. Tell. You can tell. <laughs> right. um, yes, you can. Pub sandwich? I, you know, wow. I give you major props for that. But um, he ate dog crap. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, I, I should have done something with poo, obviously. So, yes. um... You're the winner. Dog poo. Even if the guy had eaten the McGriddle. Or you're, my vote. Okay. You're my saying vote. the dog poo takes dog the poo cake. Dog poo takes the cake. Okay. All right. Dog poo. All right. But she she chose the dog poo. I, I got to fight for my right, at I, least. I, <laughs> argue with the, the judges. Over, you don't want to whine. The judges now. All right. Let's go to Arnold Schwarzenegger. You saw three guys, each of them brave in their own right, but only one can get the date with Tabitha Stevens. Well, I'll tell you, these guys are really, first of all, these guys are champions. All three of these guys, right? right. I mean, I have worked out. I've been in bodybuilding. I've won a lot of competitions, but I have never seen anything this unbelievable. You guys should all be applauded. Now, first of all, the guy over here that ate the pubes, I mean, that is unbelievable, right? Eating right. another man's uh, hair from downstairs, right? <laughs> right. That's not right. That's it, not right. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, I should say. Uh, I'm all for it. Right. right. I'm all for it. But Well, you're uh, a politician. You don't want to come out right. against any if group. If you want to eat another man's pubes, go ahead. I mean, it's fine. <laughs> hey. I will support it. Just not here. Uh, I would say the second guy there who ate the dog poo, uh, that's really brave. I mean, that is unbelievable. Unbelievable. I have eaten, I have eaten a lot of crap myself during this campaign, but this guy, <laughs> unbelievable. Right. And the third guy, uh, I would say he really tried his best, but uh, I'm going to have to go uh, with the dog poo. <gasps> dog poo guy. Thank right. Thank you, Arnold. He really well, does know, deserve it. I got screwed. Right. Well, I want to you say lost. also. You didn't get screwed. You would have won. Yeah, you would have do a stunt. Well, what can I tell you, man? Right, Your right. man, I mean, who that drunk like fool would have stayed still long enough, I'd have won the contest. The dog perhaps. poo was going to take Stop it anyway. Perhaps, I think Howard, the, come I think, on. I think what the judges are saying, the dog poo would have taken it anyway. Nah. Yeah. Dog poo would have taken it. It did. It. Well, it no, I would have given it to the pubes guy, but he was eating white bread and not wheat. And <laughs> See, you know what? You know what, though, man? Really. You were going to eat poo indirectly. This was a direct... Yeah, yeah, a direct he, shot into the mouth. Exactly. You tell you what I'm going to do, though. God only knows how long that poo on his underwear has been there, though. That yeah. shit could have been from... Oh, oh no, that brother, was fresh. Brother, easy, easy, easy. easy. Yeah, All right, fresh. listen, listen. Listen to me. Be a sore winner, not a sore loser. You guys uh, both deserve a big round of applause yeah. for your, yeah. for, for your yeah. extreme stunts. Wonderful, Howard. Stunt. Can we see what we, we at least what we missed? Tabitha, would you, would you at least model for this guy nude so he can see what he missed? Okay. If you promise not to curse. I won't curse. All right. Do you want to touch me? Yeah. Okay. You go over and hug kiss. this guy. Once a kiss, that's all. <laughs> but the dog poo guy won you. How you feeling? You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. 
All right. It'll make the losers yeah. feel any better. No one in this room is a winner. <laughs> <laughs> right. Exactly. Go over and give the guys a hug, Tabitha. Oh, do you want me to just take this off too? Yeah. Why don't you take it off for me? Go ahead. All right. Wow, Tabitha's oh, so you're generous. You're a winner. <laughs> this is, yeah, this is what the loser does. Right. Yeah, this is perfect. Well, he, was, he was like, mm. what a gentleman. Okay. Uh, Tabitha's naked and and hugging the guys. Are you ready to take them take them along with me at least. Um, no, I need this. Oh no, you don't. All right, Tabitha. Aww. Very nice. Well, she's so okay. sweet. Right. She's very nice. Hug the other guy. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I see you. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, her price is going down. <laughs> she hugged the black guy. She hugged the black guy. How about a hug for the dog duty guy, even though he's going to be with you on the date? He gets everything. So he gets it all. Okay. I'll, I'll give you it, but don't breathe on me. Oh. <laughs> Go like this. Oh. <laughs> what a nice girl. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, I'm going back now. Wow. Okay. Very nice. Well, Very Tabitha, nice. you're going to have a date with a guy who ate duty. Oh. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> but right. just think of the stories you'll be able to tell. Fantastic. Sometimes life just works out well. You're sitting on Arnold's lap. Are you okay with that? No, that's not true. Stop that, Howard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's not true. Um, dog duty guy. Yes. Congratulations thank on you. winning Tabitha. You're going to have some date with her. You're you're the best guy to ever live. Well, you're, thank you. Thank you're, you. You're my Jesus, and I'm not kidding. <laughs> and thank you, Jeff, wherever you are. <laughs> to Howie, J and J. Good job, boys. And uh, we'll be back right after these words. All right. Oh, oh. Something's coming out. And by the way, if you're a woman who smells, that's called vaginosis. And here's a woman who suffered from it, and she says she cured it. How did you cure your vaginosis, honey? Um, I went to the gynecologist, and I told her about the How did you know you stunk? Did your boyfriend tell you? I've known since I was... Since I had puberty. I'm always amazed that women don't know they stink when they have this. They well, should. this woman says she did know. Yeah, but very few know. I'm telling you. Some of them, you'll be kissing them, and you could yeah. smell them from when you're kissing them. But can I ask people true. with bad breath don't necessarily know it either. Yeah, but you could, you, but you know, with bad breath, you know, it's that's true. It's right under your nose. Mm. Can I ask her a question? Yes. Did, you, you knew you stunk, but you decided to go ahead with guys anyway just to see how it went? There was nothing I could do. So when, I mean, so, you, so Watching you, does not help. It comes from inside. Washing does not help. So when you were the guy for the first time or the first couple of times, were you prepared that he might say you stink? Hey, can I say something? Yeah. Uh, I heard that if a woman sits like, you know, takes a bath every day and really soaps up down there and stuff, that it's it will get... But it's the bacteria inside. Really? So you might not smell at the beginning, but boy, do you smell at the end. That is absolutely true. So how do you get rid of it? It's called acidophilus, and it's an over-the-counter, like, vitamin or mineral... And it's like four dollars a bottle, and it really, really works. Right. And my life has changed since I've been taking that. Oh, I bet. With my now husband, and um. Was your husband complaining before? You have no idea. Really? <laughs> yes. What did he say, honey? You smell? Yes. Oh. Wow. I knew myself. I mean, I would get out of the shower. And he probably wouldn't perform oral on you because you stunk so bad. That's true. You know what? No guy wants to perform moral on a chick that stinks. But he married her when she stunk, right? Well, we put a ceiling, <laughs> we put a ceiling fan in the bedroom. A what? A oh, ceiling, a ceiling fan. fan. Ah. Did that help? It sucked up. Wow. No, 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 no. What would have done? That spreads it around. You should oh, put an man. exhaust fan. That's right. You got to get it out of there. Yeah. You don't want to just waft that around. But he married you. Know you want to know something? People think she's joking. Listen, there are women that smell so bad. Seriously. You, they stink up the whole room. Yep. You you could be kissing them, and then you open their pants, and you know, Jackie. You know, if they walk, if you walk in, and they say, you know, you really stink up a room. They mean it. Jackie, the only remember? time in my life I was lying in my dormitory bed mm -hmm. with this girl, wow. and undid her pants, and started pulling down her pants and her panties, and I pulled them back up. Wow. Ooh, wow. Wow. Lofted up. It was like hit, while he was, was like kissing hit, her. It was wow. like getting hit with a brick. So so you use that acidophilus stuff. That's right. Now, did a do doctor tell you about that? A doc my gynecologist told me. And what do you, and what is it? A knew, right, I told her. What is it, a pill? Very bad. Capsules, they come. It's capsules? a little capsule. I and said it's very, very bad. And she said, I know what you mean. All you do is take acidophilus, two little pills a day. That's all there is to it. And it totally Where do you eliminates. take the pills? Do you swallow them in your mouth or with your, uh, <laughs> with your privates? <laughs> With your mouth, right? Yeah. You take them orally. Yes, and it eliminates. How long did it take for the stench to go away? Oh, a day. A day. A day. Really? A day. Wow. A long day. 
Hey, Robert, one is, long day. Is there any such thing as a vaginal suppository? Sure. It, what would you? But the, they don't. I don't know that it treats mm. this. Uh, what is it, dude? Yo, Howard, I was in college one time. <clears throat> yeah. And I was going downtown. You know what I mean? Right. With this broad. Down south. Yeah. Yeah. So as I'm getting down there, I'm getting a little closer. You know what I mean? Right. Then all of a sudden, like Jack said, you hit it. Like you, it, you smell it. And it's nothing I mean? faint. It's it's ne- nothing good. So you know you just kept. Kind I'm of out like, of there. You gotta pretend like you kiss the stomach a little bit. That's what you meant to to do when you went down. There, right, you know? right, right, and you go right. And you go back up. Back up. Yeah, right. Yeah, if, if, if a guy's kissing your stomach and he goes back up, you right. know there's a problem. Yeah, right. my, my, my answer. You need a little acidophilus, honey. Please, please step, yeah. Get out, get out. Get and you know what? I, and seriously, most women don't know they stink, which is odd to me because you can't, you cannot miss the odor. Right. I knew. My, Howard, my incident that I had was I was with this girl and then I got, I stayed at her place and I got up the next morning. I was very drunk. So I didn't realize. And then you was, start to smell. No, well, I was on the I was on the subway. <laughs> right. no I was on the subway and I'm holding on to the thing, and I start to smell something. So I start looking around right. to see who on the subway smells, and it leads to my hand. Right. And then I realized what it was, and I went home and I showered and I scrubbed my hands like and a I, skunk. And I sh- I shampooed my hair, you know, right. rubbed my hands through it, and I went to work and and I I went to work and I told our program director and he smelled my hand and it was still there. Wow. Oh, oh that's a real bad case. You might need four of those acidophilus pills. <laughs> Wait a minute! Did, you didn't wash up at all after you left this guy, right? Oh. Honey, is that like a you get that in a health food store? Or is that a prescription drug? No, it's over the counter. Yeah. Any I get it at my local supermarket. Honey, good thing. It's four dollars a bottle. It's very reasonable. Lasts about a month. And you have to keep taking this, or does it ever? Yeah, you a lifer? She wears a supply on her belt. <laughs> <laughs> She's like Batman. She's got a utility belt. <laughs> what is it, Doug? So, I- how do you get this from being like a dirty girl? Or, or no. Yeah, yeah, no, mostly no, no, dirty. No, girl. no it, it has nothing to do with that. So it's chicks just stink. I always thought it was like hippie chicks who don't know how to like. The one I was with, I'm sure, was a hippie chick. Yeah, don't know how to wash properly. Absolutely. And also, some of it I think is their ass. See, some my, 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 I don't think they're even cleaning up. Yeah, there's a little. I don't think they're cleaning up because sometimes I could, if I don't like wipe thoroughly, I could smell like I have vaginosis. Yeah. <laughs> right? A That's what it happens. smells like. A little, bit of a a little combo. combo. Yeah, but that vaginosis smell is worse than crap. <gasps> yeah, it is. Ooh. <laughs> Howard, have, speak for yourself. Have, have you ever been? I'm trying to think of the, the best way to say this, but you know, you're having sex with. Uh, can, which way can you say it? You know, the the uh, the, the, the proper way. What's that? The proper. Oh, way you, are you talking about when, when, when a woman's on all fours? Right. That's well, okay, woman's on all fours. Yeah. And have you ever caught a whiff? Yeah. That's a that's a tough. Scene. A, a butt. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 How about I was at a strip club once. <laughs> and the stripper's giving me like a lap dance. Oh, I remember you telling me. Yeah, I don't want to say who it was. Uh, uh, you know who it was, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. So the girl turned around and was like, you know how they shake your, their ass in your right. face? No. I caught such a whiff oh. of butt. Oh, my God. And I was like, oh, man. She must have just, you know what? You're right. She, she right before she went on duty, she must have moved her bowels. <laughs> oh, duty. <laughs> Double duty. Before she went on duty, <laughs> She's, and I knew it was ass. <laughs> yep, I was smelling. Oh, that's unmistakable. Yeah, there's no confusing that. Really and, 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 and it was tidy. right in my face, and I was like, "God damn, take a shower." She should be tidy. Yo, how did you ever kind of go? I don't know how to say it. Either. Go in there, you know what I mean? Did you? Uh, how would I say this? What? Um, go put your face in a dirty place. Yeah. No, done I that? don't do that. That's not my thing. Wait, did, did Gary? Did you do it? Yeah, sure. Did you, Gary loves doing that. I, I, that I, I look at it this way. I didn't. It's a lot of grit. I didn't do it a lot. I, play, I, I didn't do it a lot. I played roulette and I never lost. You know what right. I mean? You spin the wheel because you don't know what you're going to get, and I never lost. I was right. lucky. And you put your face in there? Yeah, but I never lost. I never got. I never got that. You do that to your wife? No. <laughs> mother, my That's children. You not do to the not mother anymore. Children. Right. You used to. Chicks must dig that though. That means you really like them. Yeah. I, I've never liked a chick that much. I don't think it means Gary. Gary just likes sex. Yeah. Hmm. It didn't have anything to do with the girl. Oh. No, he tongues like. He, he puts his tongue where no man up, should. Flip her right oh, over and keep going. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I, I'm invested in the night. I'm not gonna give it up now. So what is it, Doug? I got a friend of mine who has a hot. He had a horror story. He picked up this hot chick in a bar, went home, did his thing, went downtown, and it was so bad he threw up <laughs> downtown. <laughs> He threw up on her? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> While he was going downtown. He wasn't so psyched after that. Mm. Oh, my goodness. Have you ever? Oh, man. No wonder you love chocolate, man. You love chocolate and everything. Oh. <laughs> All right, this guy Joe Jenkins, uh, I think he's a farmer or something. He put out his own book about how you could take your own duty. That's how he fertilizes? Yeah, and he fertilizes. Hey, Joe. Joe? Yeah. How you doing, man? Good. Where are you living? Barkeyville, PA. Markyville? Barkeyville, PA. Nobody's ever heard of it. Barkeyville, PA? Yeah. Yeah. I heard of that. 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's up in the Amish country, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. Are you Amish? No. Oh. Anyway, um, Joe, you're saying that I could, like, take my own duty and turn it into manure? Yeah, humanure. Yeah. Human, humanure. Did you ever hear a humanure? Yeah, but it hasn't, hasn't it been a fact for years, in all seriousness, that they've told us that human excrement is bad? Yeah, that's, that's true. That's 100% true. That's what they've been saying, and uh, that, the root of that is what I call fecophobia, which is a new phobia nobody's ever it. thought of before. I have fecophobia. Yeah, most people do. But the fact is uh, there's a certain element in the recycling process that gets rid of disease organisms, and that's called composting. Most people have heard of that. Well, you know, I'm no farmer, but the thing that concerns me here is how do you get your duty into the garden? I mean, do you fish it out of the toilet? Wait, with a, like with a fishing net or something? No, I, I, sir, oh. in all seriousness, well, I had to consider that. How do you that. collect? How do you, how do you collect? Well, you, you collect it with a composting toilet. Uh, oh. a, a composting toilet is a collection toilet versus a, a disposal toilet. Which, Wait, where am I going to get that? Well, probably nowhere in the middle of New York City right now. But right. I'm thinking of switching to a compost toilet. But I saw that in a catalog once, I think. Yeah. Well, why? where do you get a compost toilet? Well, uh, you can buy them. They're commercially, there's uh, all dozens of companies around the world that make them, or you can build your own. Uh, my book uh, explains all that information. All right, so, so you tell in the book. Yeah, but explain it to me because I really want to say. Are you a married man with a family? Yeah, between my wife and myself, we have six kids. All right, so all the kids, you and your wife, collect your your stuff, <laughs> and then you put it in the garden or you put it on the farm now in our case we have what's called a sawdust toilet where you don't use any water at all it's uh, strictly uh, sawdust medium in the toilet and uh, that goes to a compost bin where it's composted all right so when you move your bowels you don't flush. You don't flush. No, in fact, I was holding I, I was holding it for you guys all morning, but uh, you were a little late calling, so I had to let it out. So I wanted, I wanted to do it live on on the air, but uh, and you feel good after you go because you know your waste is going to be used to help you raise your crops. That's right. That uh, that that turd that I uh, let out this morning is going to be a tomato sandwich in about two years. Wow! How exciting! Yeah. Well, now, th is this sawdust thing in your house? Oh yeah. Now you so so does it smell seriously in the house uh, or or it goes into like a big does it, is there a ditch underneath the toilet? No, there's there's no odor uh, whatsoever. But what is it? You dig a hole underneath the toilet and that's where it collects? No, in the case of a sawdust toilet, it's simply a receptacle, a collection device that's uh, situated underneath the toilet. The toilet looks just like a regular toilet. But it's a metal. What is it? A metal holding bin underneath the toilet? It's plastic. And you, you empty it how often? How often, yeah. Well, in our case, it's about once a week. And doesn't the human, doesn't the human, uh, well, and then when you take it and you put it out there, it's got to smell, right? No, it doesn't smell out there either because you cover it. Uh, you, it's always covered with uh, with a organic material. Uh, that's how it composts. If you don't do that, it won't compost. Uh, you have to... You have to add a, a carbon-based cellulose material like sawdust or... I see. And uh, hey, wait, let me take this call. Mike, yeah, what is it? Yeah, um, this, that's a really bad idea because um, humans are the final... They're the final host of parasites like tapeworms, and the eggs are shed in human feces. What about that, uh, Joe? Isn't it true that human feces has a lot of parasites? Well, if the uh, humans uh, excreting it have parasites, then yes, the uh, the bare human or. But how do you know your kids aren't collecting parasites or anything? I mean, they can get sick. Because we we compost it. That, that's one thing people don't realize is when you comp composting. Yeah, what does that mean? Compost? Is that like you you? Uh... Compost means you're feeding. Anytime you feed organic material to microorganisms, it's called composting. You see, one in nature, one. Organism's excrement is another organism's food. Right. So, in other words, one man's 
man's chicken. One man's chicken is another man's. One man's ceiling is another man's. What is it, Jaggy? One man's ceiling is another man's floor. Right. One man's ceiling is another man's floor. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, well, 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 Jeremy, what is it? Yeah. This this guy's a wacko. All right. Listen, I'm a dairy farmer up here in Central New York, and I don't want people to think that that's how we we uh, grow our food or, or feed our cattle or anything like that with our with our human feces. That's a disgusting thing to do, man. I mean, there are all kinds of bacteria and, and diseases that can get taken up into the plants, and then when your animals eat it, and then you eat the meat from the animals, it's in the animals, and then you can get it from the meat, and you get it from the vegetables if you eat the vegetables. Man. That's a disgusting thing, man. There's all kinds of diseases in human feces. All kinds. Where do they come from? They come from you naturally. I mean, there's all so, kinds uh, of you're full of diseases body yourself that then, or? excreted with your feces. You're full of diseases yourself then, or what? Well, everybody is. Everybody's got some kind of bacteria in their body, some kind of virus all the time. That's just how humans are. Yeah, you know, well, everybody has and bacteria. It's really disgusting that you would put human feces on something that you would then put in your mouth. That is disgusting, man. Even pigs have better sense than that. Pigs crap in one corner and eat in another, man. Well, what about that? Man, a pig's got better sense than you do, man. You're putting your own crap on your food. That's disgusting. What about that, Joe? Listen, folks. Real farmers use cow crap, okay? It's Why is cow... Natural. We've been doing it for hundreds of years. Nobody died. Why, yeah, why died, change okay? this? Hey, let's ask Joe this. Why, why change the system, Joe? Why not just use cow manure? That's what I'm saying. Keep using cow manure. There's nothing yeah, wrong with it. Like it's for hundreds of years. Hey, Joe, why the movement to uh, use... Excuse <laughs> the expression, but... Why the movement to use a... Uh, <laughs> Uh, human uh, human uh, excrement. Well, uh, uh, two obvious reasons. You're crazy. You're uh, a wacko. Well, let him talk. Yeah, the guy, the guy on the on the phone there now is definitely full of shit. Hey, don't say that. Don't use the S word. <laughs> you can't use the S word. Yeah. You should never. Oh, there this morning, if you got to know. You should never use uh, human manure, human manure, uh, directly on food crops or directly on the soil. You oh. should always, always. Be composted before you. Shouldn't use it at all, man. It's disgusting. It's vile. Why bother with it if you've got cow manure, which is That's cheap right. enough? Right. That's what I'm asking, man, Joe. Let me tell you something. Anybody who owns a dairy farm knows you got plenty of cow manure. Plenty. Uh, all these people who are fecophobic uh, and and ignorant about the the facts of the issue every day. Who wants to get sick? Every day defecate in our drinking water. Hmm. Which, well, which, I just don't which, know why you have to. I'm not sure why, why you switching, somebody wants to switch. Is it to save money? To switch? Uh, to switch from cow manure? Yeah. Uh, like, what's the point? Is cow manure is free, man. Like, yeah, why not just use cow manure? Well, yeah. where, where would I, see, I don't have to haul any manure in. I don't have to buy any fertilizer at all. It's, uh, you know, How much why money? would I want to go find cow manure? How much money do you figure you save Well, uh, not using cow manure? It's more than just money. It's environmental pollution. I don't have to worry about my water being. Uh, right, you're you know. recycling, in other words. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, you guys in in New York City probably don't realize <clears throat> that there is a billion, a billion with a B, billion gallons of sewage water flowing into Long Island Sound every single day. I know. I swim in it. <laughs> and, and in that billion gallons. Every single day, there are 4,000 pounds of nitrogen. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. And that, uh, you know, that... I don't know what the point is, though. I, I want to go. Where's the point? Where, the, the nitrogen's there and what? So why should we have to use human extra? Nitrogen is a, is a nasty environmental pollutant. So what you're saying is if we took all of that and recycled it, then we wouldn't have it in the water. It wouldn't be in the water right now. Right, according to the, we wouldn't move to composting toilets even in the city. Well, in some cities, they have collection toilets where the municipality comes and collects them for you. Uh-huh. Takes and, them. And, and what about, like, guys with AIDS and stuff using their feces? Yeah, tell me about it. For for a uh, fertilizer. You guys ever hear of a thermophilic microorganism? No. It's the oldest living creature on the planet. They uh, theoretically evolved from the beginning of the Earth's time. They're too small to be seen. <clears throat> and they've only recently been discovered, you know, recently in human history. Hmm. They are resident in uh, humanure and in all organic material. 
And the funny part about him is... Howard, has this guy been smoking dope this morning? I don't know. Joe, Joe have about? you been smoking any dope this morning? Yeah, the dairy farmer there should uh, listen up a little. He might learn something. Maybe he could learn something. Mario, go ahead. You're on the air. What's going on? I want. I got to know how this dirt bag cleans his ass. Does he recycle the toilet paper? Am I eating Well, don't call the man. Just because the man has a new idea. You know, when Christopher Columbus had a new idea, people uh, laughed at crazy. him. This isn't working. This is insanitary. Uh, Mario, what about... Uh, uh, excuse me. Mario's asking the question, what about, like, toilet paper? Doesn't that yeah, get... That, for, what do you do with that? That all compost. You can compost file folders. You can compost junk mail. You can compost dead animals. You can compost uh, uh, toxic chemicals. It's you incredible. can't recycle Scotties. You can't recycle that stuff. Mm -hmm. Well, he says you can. Let me ask you something. Who eats your food that you grow? Do you sell it or do? No, you? we don't sell it. Okay. Oh, you just eat it. We eat it, and and uh, anybody else who wants to eats it. Which is, it's, it's just. It's, it's in fact. Not only is it just food, it's better food than you can buy in a, in a grocery store. Hmm. Well, there you go. Uh, if you want to learn about the guy to... Is like a hippie or something? You're a hippie, right, Joe? What's a hippie? You know, guy with long hair and a beard. Oh, well, my hair's not very long, but I have a little bit of a beard. You have a beard. Uh -huh. But you've dropped out, right? You just, you know, you grow your own food. And yeah, all like, like where do you, like, do you live on a farm, like, like... Uh, I have 17 acres. Yeah. Do you 17 grow... acres, uh, but I have a, I just have a big garden. I don't really have a farm. Do you grow pot? No. No? You got electricity? Yes. Hey, How did you, you make a living? No, he's a hippie. Didn't you live in a teepee for like six months or something? Yeah, I did live in a teepee for a while. Yeah, and didn't you like to take the whole family and you didn't have electricity for a long time? Yeah, I did. Uh, when I first started this homestead, that's what I did. I... Yeah, I figured, a homesteader. Okay. Yeah. Right, there you go. Didn't you, didn't you do like homeschooling and stuff? Yeah, we do now. My uh, my nine year old's homeschooled. In yeah. fact, she's well, she was right here, but she's gone now. I don't know where she went. Yeah, he he lived in a teepee yeah, for six months. Yeah, but he just took over some property. He didn't like buy it. Or... Yeah, right. Yeah, I buy it. I pay taxes. Uh, you know, I wrote Uncle Sam a check for ten thousand bucks a couple weeks ago. Uh, I have two businesses. I'm uh, uh, I do slate roof restoration. You know, I'm. No, the guy's no slouch. Okay. Yeah, all right. He's like, he's he's in the world. Okay. He's in so the he's world. Not like uh, he doesn't make his living by farming. Uh, no. No. And you think toilets are going to stop working uh, in the year 2000? Well, that's that's the indication I've been getting from uh, municipal planners. Why would a toilet be affected by a, a computer not being able to uh, tell that it's the year 2000? Well, because if the electricity stops running or the water stops flowing, you oh. can't flush your toilet. Right. Uh, and, and if the wastewater treatment plants can't run their pumps, they can't deal with the stuff you're flushing down, and so you're kind of, you, you know, you're going to have uh, like 50 million people holding it. I can't believe computers are affecting that. Like oh, yeah, waste, 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 wastewater treatment plants have dozens of computers. All right, well, listen, thanks for the uh, information, Joe, and uh, good luck with your book. Okay, well, thanks a lot. Right, there's Joe Jenkins and his humanure handbook. <laughs> Well, there you have it. I hope you were able to stomach all of Howard Stern's grossest week ever. I swear to God, my stomach is swirling. Really? You can start eating again. It is safe. You're all a bunch of sickos. I'm Johnny Knoxville. Thanks for listening. This has been a Howard Stern production. The Tapes. Truck on man! It's history!